Hello, everybody. I'm kind of here. Still setting things up, but you know how that works. When it comes to video suggestions, I highly recommend adding me in the link spam channel, my discord server, because by the time I'm done streaming for six to eight hours, I will have forgotten your suggestion. And it sounds like a good suggestion. I just won't be able to follow through with it right now. That's the sad reality of life and having the memory of a goldfish. Hey, John, good to see you. Let me uh, hit some buttons. We're almost ready. I'm just finishing uh, all this. There we go. Hello, everybody. Uh, that's a little bit high up. Bring that down a smidgen. There we go. That, that's better. Yeah. Ahem. Morrowind, everybody. Give me a minute to uh, get everything else in order. Everything is kind of off and wrong. Let me uh, reduce. That, that isn't working either. Ah, uh, right. If I sit up, I can see exactly how high it goes and then kind of drag it down to be appropriate, I suppose. There we go. The, I had to like uninstall and reinstall the camera, so... And it's not exact, but who cares? Let me uh, make sure Streamlabs is running properly. Yep, Streamlabs is up. The very top. All right. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. We're playing Elder Scrolls Three Morrowind. Let's hit some buttons. So we've been at this playthrough for six days, 12 hours. That's that's a while. That's, uh, that's a lot of playtime. But uh, we're going to get back into it. You work for 14 hours again? Yeah. Like, yeah, you told me last time. Ac actually, based on what you said, 14 hours is uh, not as bad as what uh, you said last time. So, <clears throat> it sounds like uh, things are going on, going on. Uh, but I, I hope things work out for you. Holy crap. All right. Uh, hello, everybody. So, this is... Uh, uh, Drekna, we are, uh, as you can see, capped out on blunt weapon and medium armor at this point. Restoration, uh, Conjuration, and Illusion are working their way up. And uh, the, the, what do you call it, uh, Alchemy is what we're going to use to break the game later. But right now we've got Mercantile kind of busted at 93. That's because we have a Ring of the Haggler and a Necklace uh, of the Merchant. And both of those raise mercantile skill. That's why our mercantile is effectively 93. Um, anyway, this particular character is the Archmaster of House Redoran, and we've been focused almost exclusively on uh, House Redoran. We took a break and went to the mainland to do some uh, Tribunal Temple quests. That was a good thing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this said, why do people call it Morrowind as in M-A? Uh, because bone marrow is pronounced that way very often, and so it makes sense. Uh, this is Fargoth, by the way. He is a legendary hero. If we check his stats, you can see he is level 60, and he has 196 short blades, 195 light armor. He also has almost twice, um, twice the health we do. So, um, in that regard, he's, uh, He's kind of a big deal, right? So uh, we, we can hear his dialogue line here. Ahem. Thanks again for returning my family ring. Yes, so uh, F Fargoth is uh, quite fearsome. Anyway, uh, yeah, we we are uh, we're shepherding this uh, uh, the, the the possible reincarnation of Nerevar uh, through through uh, his trials. Yes. 
Uh, anyway, we, we don't know yet. Realms Grace. Greetings, Outlander. Mm -hmm. These are my services. Yes, exactly. Thank Come you, Fargoth. Okay, so our goal is to get back to old Ebonheart. Unfortunately, we've got a ways to go from that. Uh, we could donate, uh, I think it's Frost Salt. Uh, if we uh, use Amalexia's Fury Shrine, yeah, we could donate Frost Salts. That'd be pretty cool. You said uh, YouTube changed the formats of live stream. Oh, the best part about YouTube is that any updates they do are, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, they're they're done like in a rollout, uh, like where they, they give it to a few users, then they give it to a few more users. So when you say, oh, hey, there's been a change, and other people go, what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, that That's how YouTube's been doing it for years. They don't roll it out to all users in case they break something. Rather, they um, they torture you with um, uh, with some users um, uh, getting the changes and some don't. And inevitably, if it's a good change, uh, you'll you'll get it for uh, some, sorry someone else will get it first, and uh, you'll be like, why? It's it's great, yeah. <laughs> Unlucky early tester. Uh, anyway, uh, I actually need to go back in the temple and sleep for the night. Uh, we don't want to go out on the road at night. Uh, we want to cross the overworld during the day. So, back to the temple. Take one of the beds, assuming there are beds. I, so far, I see a lot of services, but not a whole lot of beds. Uh, this is the kitchen. This is where they feed the hungry. How I may wonderful. have to go get a Welcome proper in room. I mean, it's only like ten gold for an in room, but still, that's just kind of nuts. Like, yeah, the, the the top of the temple here. I don't think there are any. Um, I don't think there are any beds here. I'm checking the downstairs, but um, ah, here we go. Is that uh, full glass armor on Fargoth? Yes, Fargoth is the legendary hero. He's uh, got full glass armor, and he's way, way stronger than anything uh, we have uh, witnessed before. We're in a rest for 10 hours. And May now... You find me worthy of your attention. Damn, that guy is a little uh, little puffy there. But yeah, Fargoth is uh, far beyond uh, most people. We need to eat something. Looks like we got some cooked fish. Have a uh, quick drink, and we're good to go. Let's uh, head on out. So, uh, wait, before we go, uh, three gods, one true faith. We need to pray to the Alm CV. So let's go do that. This should be the shrine here. Uh, Lady's Grace, Solasothasil, Vivek's Mystery. We've prayed to the Alm CV and received their blessings. Now we can go over here and get some saintly blessings from realms. And Alador. Greetings, Outlander. Oh. Do you seek my son? Okay. Very good. So it is uh, 5 a.m. It's not nighttime. It's morning. We're going to really quick grab some water by here and head on out. Yes. Far Fargoth's ring is uh, absolutely... Spectacular. It is, uh, th this isn't the Fellowship of the Ring, unfortunately. We aren't playing a wizard. But, uh, that was a fun playthrough I did when my main computer was busted. You know, I was like, I, I got an old computer I can stream with. What am I going to stream? The answer was Morrowind. And that, that's when we did the Fellowship of the Ring run. We, we did that as, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, when my main computer was down for a while. Let me uh, look around here. Do, 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 do. Uh, the engraved ring of healing is the real moon and star. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm looking for the silt strider, but I don't see it around here. I guess we'll just take the roads because um, it is our destiny. Actually, an imperial cult's um, intervention would probably work, I suppose. Yes. Exactly. Mm hmm. You say Azora's pawn for you, but my health is 217. 
Uh, Fargoth, what's your health at, by chance? Uh, 429. What's my, uh, blunt weapon and armor skills? 100? What's, what's his? Uh, 196, 195. Well, it seems like Fargoth is more suited to be the legendary hero than I am. That's for sure. It is what it is. Okay. So, what else we got? Uh, that's north. Okay, that's a problem. We're, we're not going north. We're going, uh, we need to go to old Ebenhart. So, uh, <clears throat> what's with my headphones? These are my streaming headphones. We've got, um, we've got our headphones for Zoom calls, you know, like, and, and serious business. And then we got our, uh, our streaming headphones, yes. What about it? Okay, let's get going. <clears throat> now, um, it, yeah, it looks like I have to go to the other side of town because it's south. That explains everything. Uh. You can assume the Navarine is a, a set person, <laughs> not a mantle. I mean, it's funny because, in theory, as long as they don't die to the ring, um, anyone could, uh, anyone could, in theory, be the Navarine. And, you know, you might not be until you put on that ring and confirm by not dying. That's why I always thought it was really funny. In Legacy of the Dragonborn mod for Skyrim, getting the Moon and Star Ring, putting it on, and falling over dead instantly. You are not the Navarine. Dead. I always thought that was amusing. <clears throat> yes. The footsteps sound like you're on a horse. Uh, it's 115 speed. That's, uh, that, that, that's why. Yeah, we're, we're actually quite fast. Our skirt, by the way. This skirt is very important. So, um... Da -da 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 -da. Why was your health so crappy at that endurance? I, I, my endurance hasn't always been that way. It It's defined on level up. There's a stilt strider. We found it. <clears throat> Wait, this is the guard tower. The guard tower isn't... Okay, whatever. Let's go up. Fuck it. Uh, I want to see what's up here. Staying safe, I hope. Yes. The extravagant skirt gives us one fatigue per second. It's actually very useful. Whoop. Take me to Almasthir. We're going to Almasthir. Oh. Great. Come on, Fargoth. The Silt Strayer dumped me in the river, apparently. I'm being reborn again. Holy crap. Alright, so we're, we're back at Almasthir, the giant bridge. We've got quests to do there, but I kind of really, really, really want to get the Tribunal Temple done. Since that's been a, a thing for a while now. So, um, let's head on up and around. Hmm. This way. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Without exploits. I mean, depends on what you consider exploiting. But as long as you have a steady supply of potions and, uh... Uh, what do you call it? You built your character properly. You should be a god in Morrowind as far as magic goes. So, uh, Shrine of Vivex Fury, please do. We are blessed with Vivex Fury. We're gonna be heading north to Old Ebonheart as soon as we cross the bridge. That is Amalexia's Mercy, yes. Very good. Hmm. Oh, I'm on the lower end. I'm not even where the bridge is. Ah, ah, that's a problem. Yep, yep. Yep. 
They're all scum, aren't they? We must watch them closely, the ordinator said. Okay, this gets us to the uh, top of the bridge. Yeah, this whole thing is uh, two bridges leading into a canton in the middle. But uh, we're just going to be heading north. People uh, donate their worn shoes at this... Uh, at this spot here. The, Veloth walked this road long ago. And you can see how uh, they have a mantle uh, of Veloth on the ground. And then they donate their uh, their common shoes to him. Worn down by walking his road. That's great. Oh, me? I'm lawful stupid. Anyway, let's get going. We're heading past a, uh, a chaotic good <laughs> something. A chaotic sounds about right. Um, ah, that's uh, what do you call it? That's an Indoril settlement. Pretty sure. Do -do 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 -do. <clears throat> Yeah, chaotic something for sure. Mm-hmm. Temple domes, let's grab those. Cork bulb, sure. The shrines are set to cast spells on you. I mean, that's what they do, provided you match their donation. Yes. Okay. If you want to be a millionaire, you got to be lawful evil, though. All right. Hmm. It's a pretty cool place so far. All right. Let me see here. Well, I mean, you say you could call anybody a god, but you have to remember that... Uh, the shrines themselves uh, also cast blessings on you for the saints. It's not just the gods. So, um, like, having a shrine doesn't immediately say you are a god. Rather, having a shrine means you are revered and you have history. So, uh, like, all the saints have their own shrines as well. By the way, anyone who is following along with my Daggerfall run, I believe that um, I've discovered what was causing the crashes. It was the dynamic music mod. <clears throat> if you are using a um, facsimile of my mod list, please remove the dynamic music mod. I will confirm no it can challenge me. and update the mod list myself uh, pr probably on Friday. Probably. Yes. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we. Uh, there's no confirmation of whether it draws power from the tribunal or it's just the faith of the people or it's, uh, you know, like a specially designed shrine artifact. Nobody, nobody really knows. The main, the primary assumption everyone makes in the uh, Elder Scrolls community, though, is that um, oh, this is too it's easy. your faith that uh, triggers the Shrine Blessing. And that through faith, you can call forth uh, power. Yes. They use mods for the graphics. Uh, not not a whole lot. Just some, just some shaders. Small shaders, I might add. Hmm. If it keeps working and they're dead and you don't assume gameplay story segregation, then it's quote-unquote confirmed. Yes. Show depth of field? No. That sounds terrible. Depth of field and motion blur can go both die. 
All right. The depth of field is good for cinematic uh, sequences, like cutscenes and shit. Also good for movies. But a dynamic video game where you're controlling the mouse, um, yeah, depth of field is just bad. <clears throat> All right. Let's go. We, we've got to get our way to Old Ebonheart. And we'll travel from Old Ebonheart up to, uh, what do you call it, uh, Vivek City. And then uh, begin heading over to Ghost Gate, which is where we're needed as far as Tribunal Temple quests go. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Uh, but, but you were playing Mario, uh, sorry, Morrowind as a kid with a very slow PC. Yeah. Um, I think Morrowind ran just fine for me when I played it when it was new, but I didn't have any fancy graphics mods back then. At, at default graphics, it runs pretty well pretty much all the time. What, what are default graphics? Uh, well, the, fo the fog looks like this. And it doesn't have to load a whole lot. <clears throat> but, um, you know, we're running at like five times the normal distance for now. All right. <laughs> you, oh, you played on the Xbox. Well... Yeah, congratulations for inconsistent uh, frame rates. That's uh, that's just a bad time. Mm-hmm. Let's go. We're gonna hunt this velk. Velk now hunting is technically <laughs> poaching, but uh, you know, if a forest falls in as uh, a forest, oh jeez, if a tree falls in a forest. And nobody's here no to, uh, nobody's around to hear the sound, then it still makes that sound. It's just nobody can charge you with illegal logging, you know? That's the idea. Mm hmm. I've never played Parasite Eve 2, I've only played the original. Liked it very much. Okay. Do, 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 do. Let's go. You're sure in real life logging companies have made a legal uh, argument? Possibly, lol. But uh, the idea is that if you're not caught, then, uh, y you know, you're, you're not charged. And that's how uh, many, many people get away with things for years and years and years until they finally are caught and they are charged. We're gonna go over to the Ebon Tower for funsies, but uh, for now, let's head on into old Ebonheart. Yes, indeed. Oh, it's playing Dragonfly, the theme song for Tamriel Rebuilt. That's cool. Let's see here. Yes, but it, it kind of breaks the illusion of Ardenfell being uh, much smaller than it is. Did they cut Telvani elements out of ESO? Uh, they don't have Port Telvanis, if that's what you're asking. But uh, they have a lot of content um, that involves Telvani. Okay, so we go over here. I'd like you, you all to see an Imperial shit post, okay? I'm going to... This is this is the Hall of Justice Pleasure for the Empires. Right? So it's got all the Imperial symbol uh, uh, symbol and such. But I'm going to TCL up here. I'm going to show you the Imperial shit post. Okay. <clears throat> the heathen god Vivek surrenders to Tiber Septum. Okay? There, there, there you go. This is... Uh, this is an imperial shitpost. 
right there. Okay. Let me have a cup of coffee real quick. Now, what was I going to do today? Hmm. Yep. Okay. Just just one cup. Yes. Yes, we have we have just one cup right over here. See? Just one cup. Hmm. But yeah, yeah. That uh, the Dunmer allowed such a depiction. Well, that's the impressive part. Is that um, bu 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 you didn't notice when my uh, web webcam was so small? Yes, I, I blew it up a little bit. People were asking for that, and you know, whatever. Um. <clears throat> anyway, let's see. So, back here. Well, in addition to coffee, we j we've we also got these little red cans that um, uh, shall remain unnamed. And uh, then we have water. We have many, many bottles of water. We'll probably have water in between the red can and more coffee, but that's a different matter. Uh, let me double check a couple more things. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Okay. But, <clears throat> yes, yes. Uh, can you get, uh, 70 stable FPS? Uh, yes, by reducing your graphical options. Your, your view distance, bring it down to less than 1.0, and you should be good to go. It's, it's, like, your water shaders are probably contributing, so, you know, re reduce those. You know, turn off your water shaders... Uh, set your shaders compatibility to legacy and uh, make sure your view distance is like 1.0 and old Ebonheart should be faster. Depends on your PC specs. You might have a, um, a CPU bottleneck that's causing issues. My goodness. Give me a sec. Hmm... Do, 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 do. Okay. Anyway, I just Keep wanted to show off mind. the. I just wanted to show off the uh, shit post there, the Imperial shit post. So, we're heading on over to the Mages Guild now. Uh, do, 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 do. Yes, antique graphics on a modern piece. Yeah, there, it's a pipeline problem. It's. Um, Showing all of old Ebonheart is going to cause you uh, performance drops on, um, uh, what do you call it, on basically any uh, setup. The headphones, how much? I can't tell you. They were a Christmas gift. However, uh, I can show you the brand. So if you are interested in getting them, you could look at their website or something. It's the, uh, <clears throat> the Yo Woo... Uh, Selkirk. Yes, that y Yo Woo is what they're called, so. But they were a Christmas gift, so I can't tell you how much they were. Yeah. Three G is like the model number. That means they cost zero, something like that. For me, they did anyway. Hello? You're in good company, friend. Welcome. Uh, best OpenMW mod list for a new player. We've got one of those. 
We actually have one of those. I'll link it to you in just a moment. It's the um, the new player guide. I don't have a bot command for it, oddly enough. So uh, there we go. That link should get you to the video, and there's a mod list linked in the pinned comment. I'm going to lower this down a bit so I can relax more. There we go. Good. Ahem. Yes. Okay. Uh, bum. Okay, so she sells spells. She doesn't transport me places. I need to go find the guild guide. Are you the guild guide? Greetings to you. A pleasure to meet you. Yes. Uh, oh, only guild make it rank of conjurer. What about you? Can you transport me to Vivek? You can only transport me to Androthan and Akamora. That's a problem. I see we share the same company. What can I do for you? So we're going to have well to take met. a boat to Ebonheart then. Yes. Actual faction requirements. Yes, we did not uh, we do not meet the requirements to take you uh, make use of their services. So we can't just uh, pop back to Vivek that way. Uh, we have to go to regular Ebonheart. Gonna take just a moment. We gotta use the docks. Now you may ask how uh, the Dunmer would allow such a depiction. It's because this area is ruled by humans and uh what are the dunmer gonna do go, go and like storm the castle across that bridge i mean uh like they, they got a pretty good fortress there the answer is the dunmer don't go into the hall of justice so they don't find out about it welcome friend hail Take me to Ebonheart. Oh, the foreign quarter of Vivek. And yeah, yeah, the Vivek foreign quarter. Thank you. And I'm in the water again. You guys suck. <laughs> the transport. Uh, don't you have a rescue system to get me out of the water? No, no, you don't. God damn it. Okay, we're going to the far shore and uh, taking the bridge then. Unless I can... No, I can't hop up there. No, wait, wait, wait. I see the way up. I see the way up. I just need to go over here. I thought the docks were going to permanently ground me, but no, this is fine. We've arrived just in time. This is the holy city of Vivek. Count your blessings. Yes. Yeah, the Celt Strider dumped us in the water. Let's just hear it. Greetings. I am at your service. Just levitate. It's the Telvani way. It's true. It is the Telvani way. But we've arrived in Vivek. Um, we're hungry and thirsty. Go figure. There's some water we can have over here. We don't need to use our own reserves. Let's see. We're going up to the foreign quarter. And I'm trying to remember. Yeah, we got to work our way to Ghost Gate. That's going to be up north. I say we participate in an arena tournament first. That sounds Greetings. stupid enough. I am at your service. Uh, yes, yes. We're going to. I gonna... don't know where to begin. It is such an honor to meet you. It is an honor, yes. I'm going to have food. What else? Uh, I don't have anything to sell. Fargoth, do you have anything to sell by chance? You do. You have a fair amount of uh, uh, weapons and armor. So we're going to go down here uh, and talk to the lady. Yes. Very good. Don't bother me. How may I help well, you, if a tel If a Telvani really wants to have a visitor show up who can't levitate, they just give him a potion or a scroll or something and say, use this and... Uh, Y you know that that's it right easy peasy they can control entry the, like once they kick the person out that person can't come back because they can't levitate back up that is actually a pretty good gatekeeping mechanism only people worthy of their attention can come uninvited everyone else has to be given an item that'll let them come up all right let me see here 
if you can't at least levitate on your own, then does a Telvanni wizard really want to waste time on you? My favorite thing, though, my in general, when it comes to um, when it comes to Telvanni, is just the the depiction of um, I don't care who the census and excise office sends. I am not paying taxes. That's um, that's Telvanni in a nutshell. Okay, we're gonna just go here and sell a bunch of items that gold dagger looks great i'm gonna sell it Indoril spear same deal we're selling most of this junk i think um uh, yeah we have all the unenchanted stuff so we're gonna go ahead and sell this uh, after we repair we need to make sure our stuff is in perfect condition yep not that big a deal. Okay. Anyway, first things first, we're going to tell her we have a spell called It Just Works. It's a charm, 1 to 100. So we tell her that it just works. And then she buys into the hype, and then we sell her things for overpriced amounts. See, she, her, uh, her disposition's at 100 of 100. So now that it's there, uh, we can defraud her by selling her things for you know, uh, more than she'd usually pay. And, uh, that, that's basically it. We just sold her all that junk. It's, uh, she says she wants to pay 5500 for it, but what if she paid 8000 instead? Mercantile skill increase. That's what I'm talking about. See what I mean? So, uh, we got her to pay quite a bit. Yep. Use a fortify uh, personality and restoration. Uh, uh, sorry, you use restoration to fortify personality. Makes sense. Um, to but what yeah. Do I owe this pleasure. I, I mean, it, it's funny to do Listen it anyway. Up, it's... Even natives get confused in Wait. Cantons. What are you looking for? Uh, nothing. Nothing. I'm not. I'm gonna go to the arena. What time is it? I, I realize it's 8 p.m. right now. We gotta go to sleep. We could go take a nap. Yep, it's nap time. There, sh if we go to the top, we should be able to sleep in the um, what do you call it, uh, Mage's Guild? There. You can't believe I apologized to Lawrence Schick. Well, I did. I absolutely did. Yep. Okay. Mm hmm. My goodness. It's so quaint seeing somebody play this game the right way and have, you know, 115 speed and 123 willpower. Yes. Mm hmm. Yep. Okay. Um, yes, you're rich. Uh, my creeper only has a thousand gold and only buys specific items. So, you know, an issue there. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Okay, first things first. We uh, nap for eight hours. That's important. And then, it's 4 a.m. We're going to run over... Actually, hold on. Uh... Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm only using the uh, the primary module for Rebirth and not the other ones. Rebirth comes in a variety of modules, and you can choose to enable the parts of it you like or don't like. Yep, yep. Okay, we ate, and we'll have a sip of your water. We're still thirsty, go figure, no problem. Mm -hmm. What was it I asked you to do? Oh, yes. Find out about the disappearance of the dwarves. Why not talk to Edwina in our Aldrun branch? The two of you should get along famously. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Nothing in the this supply chest. This is the chest. sacred city of Vivek. Count your blessings. Count your blessings. 
Okay. We gotta move. We gotta move. Going to the arena. We're gonna get some of that done, then we're gonna go up in, to Ghost Gate and do some Tribunal Temple questing. As I understand it, Ghost Gate is kind of the uh, the big deal there. Oh boy. Um, let's see. I'm trying to remember where the hell that was. It was um over here, over there. Okay, I see where it is. I just need to get to the arena. Good people of Vivex City. Welcome to the arena. You'd say Oblivion's harder than this game? Uh, yes. It's also it's obtuse in weird ways. Mostly due to its level scaling system. Okay. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have a sip of water. You're a lot more refined than most tourists I've met. <laughs> I like that. Mm-hmm. Be being very refined. Very, very important. Uh, hold on a second. Do we have a lore book? I don't think we have a lore book, but it'd be cool. No, we don't. Unfortunate. Uh, okay, let's go upstairs. I think this is the blue team. We joined the red team, so we got to go to the other side. Yeah, we joined the arena red team. We're going to do some arena matches while we're here, then we're going to head up to Ghost Gate. I am at your side. Yep. Okay. Uh, hello, sir. That, that, you see, that's some high-quality motion he's doing right there. Look at that. See, see that uh, that top-quality animation? Mm-hmm. That's right. Mm. Delicious. Okay. Welcome, citizen. Hello. Oh, may I, I see this citizens. land suits you. We it's welcome early. you early, Outlander. M when do the fights happen? And go take a nap. That's right. Pounding that mortar, indeed. Okay. Arena time. Listen, Outlander. Even natives get confused One hour. in the camp. One hour. Eight o'clock should do it. If it's not eight, it'll be nine. Oh boy. Nine it is. This is the sacred stuff. I'm just taking a nap each time until uh, I know we're ready. Oop, here we go. And this should do it. Arena time. Safe. Hello, sir. Ready for a fight? Oh god, May it's you ten. Find me. Fine, fine. You need to waste freaking half the day. So I'm completely refreshed now. Come on. All right. Your opponent is an orc heavily armored with a nasty maul. Go Listen, get him, Drekna. Even native. Okay. Confused and uh, Fargoth, what hang out here. For? Yeah. Thanks again for returning my family ring. Right. Let's get going. We've got uh, Golden Saint we're going to summon right off the bat. That's going to be our first uh, thing to do, is sum summoning a golden saint, I think. Uh, yeah. And then we'll summon the Daedra afterward. Hello there. Damn. Oh, this guy is tanky. Oh. All right, Dramora time. And uh, a... Uh, Greater Bonewalker to sap his uh, strength. Let's do it. This is the honor of House Redrin, lol. Yeah, he's screwed. I may have hit my Bonewalker several times by accident. Yes. Okay. And we need to heal ourselves. Baron Bounced Arena Match, that's right. Perfectly balanced, like all things should be. Fatigue potion time! Okay, now immediately resummon that golden saint. See, he's downing my Dramora, which is irritating. 
almost down we did it damn right okay how vanilla is it not very I recommend checking out uh, the mod list let me, let me look at the page actually uh, all right so so, it is the one, two, three. It's the third article down on the page. Third article. This way. All right. Hello, sir. Good fight. Here's your gold. 250. Good. A warm welcome to Thanks you. again for returning my family ring. Yes. I'm just going to go sleep for an hour. Uh, here we go. Ba -ba. Thanks again for returning my family ring. Argos gonna keep saying that. I'm gonna do one more arena fight, then we're leaving, this is and we're the heading to Ghost Gate. City of Vivek. Yep. Count your blessing. Next one's a Breton. He's a hunter for Fort Frostmoth. He has hunted down many dangerous creatures and defeated them with ease. So don't rush at him. Got it. Uh, okay. Be reduced to dust. Yeah, Golden Saint first. Oh, jeez. Good. Damn. He's uh, kicking my Golden Saints ass. Bonewalker, get out here. And we need a Dramora as well. Okay. Good. This guy is tanky. Aye. I may have hit my golden saint by accident. Well, but the bone walker needs to continue to be summoned so that it saps his strength. Bone walkers damage his strength, I should say. That's what they do. Next up, we got another golden saint. Hopefully this time not smacked by me by accident. There we go. And uh, with any luck, we can hit him without too much trouble. Yes. I'm out of stamina, but I'm not gonna pop any stamina potions until he turns toward me. Actually, never mind. Never mind. This is bad. There we go. I was running out of uh, juice. Dude, this guy's strength is very sapped. You can see how he's uh, facing me now. The guy is a uh, tanky tank. He's uh, pretty bad, actually. Good. Is Pauldron broke? Yes. Yes, it did. All right. We got him. Hell yeah. I'm destroying his armor? Yes. That's right. Okay, that's that's it for the arena for today. So, uh, <clears throat> the Breton uh, may have beaten many opponents, but wasn't able to put you down, take your gold, and get prepared for the next fight. Well, I'm not welcome to you. I'm not doing any more fights today. I'm uh, gonna rest an hour and then we're gonna head on out. So, uh, yeah. Hello. Thanks again for returning my family ring. Let's go, Fargoth. We're traveling. Okay. <clears throat> so, we are heading north. We are leaving Greetings. Vivek City. You're a lot more refined than most tourists I've met. <laughs> I know. I like that. I'm definitely very refined. Speaking of refined, let's go ahead and uh, repair our stuff. That's pretty important, actually. Our, our items get damaged due to the arena fights. There we go. Easy peasy. Have you tried the Star Wars mod? Let me go ahead and link you the playlist for that. Uh, okay, channel. Uh, uh, playlist. And let's see see here Pokemon Crystal Clear, Baldur's Gate, Half-Life Jays so many let's see Path of Exile and Mandalorian got it okay here's uh, I here's the link to my Mandalorian run so you can go check that out at uh, your leisure 
Yes. Double checking that the link is good and the link works. Yes. All right. Yeah, that's that's a uh, link to my Mandalorian run. Okay. We are going out. We are leaving. Going north. Oh boy, uh, it's that way. I'll cross the bridge. Keep getting distracted. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, next time I play Starwind, I'm going to do it as a Dark Side Jawa, using Force Lightning. Not, not even, uh, uh, not even a joke. That that's my goal for next time, is uh, summoning droids and using Force Lightning as a Jawa. Screaming uh, Utini while I'm doing that. Yes. <clears throat> but that'll be next run. I've got other things to do in the meantime. Gonna finish this Marwind run off before I do Starwind again. And that, that's gonna be a little while. All right. We go north. Our goal is Ghost Gate. Along the way, we will hunt many creatures, but none of these because these are owned Netches. They belong to the Netch farm. Don't kill them. Yes. Yep. Okay. Let me see here. But yeah, I've got uh, got two more videos to do. Like in in the uh, I have recorded them, but haven't um, haven't edited or put them up yet. So uh, we'll uh, start on newer topics after I finish addressing adjacent topics to old things. Some of which will piss people off going to be great. Let me see here. Do, 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 do. Nice. Uh, test lore video. Not right now. I don't I don't have anything planned for that right now, but uh, I would like to see about potentially uh, doing another quote unquote rewrite video where I talk about, um, you, you know, potential uh, variations on Elder Scrolls Online or Skyrim. I'm definitely not going to tackle the whole of Elder Scrolls Online like I tried before. Uh, that project crashed and burned because uh, like when I started uh, looking to other games and other spaces for inspiration, I'm like, wow. Storytelling in those games are so much better. <laughs> Elder Scrolls is not great when it comes to overt storytelling and how it's implemented. Elder Scrolls is great when it comes to the lore as it's written in books, not implemented in game. That's the best way to explain it. We just killed the butterfly and got two butterfly wings. Levitation feather. Okay, let's go uh, clunk that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, I think that's an enemy. I think he's going to go bash. He's going he's gonna to say bash or kill. Hello. Now you're going to get it. Fast Argonian. Yeah, I'm not saying a lore video is never going to happen. I'm just saying it's not on, not in the uh, plans for the the near future. I've got a lot of other things I want to work on. By the way, that Bone Walker is Fargoth's. Fargoth summoned that Bone Walker with his amulets of Bone Walker summoning. It's crazy. Mm hmm. Do, 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 do. I, I do have uh, video plans. But right now, the two uh, the two that I've uh, recorded but haven't edited yet are discussion videos. Um, one is Elder Scrolls adjacent. The other is uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the, the Mega Man's because I remember when I played all the Mega Man X games and then I uh, I played the X Dive. Oh boy! I like. Uh, 
finally going to do one of those. It's going to get like 3,000 views across its lifespan because it's not Elder Scrolls. But, uh, you know, uh, g generally, uh, generally, A, I'd make what I want when I want. All right. Let's see here. Give me a second. Hmm. Someone's putting up a thread about Yuzu. So, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. all right, I, I, I'm, I'm reading someone's information. This is not an authoritative source. Keep that in mind. Uh, <clears throat> the Yuzu emulator that allowed people to play um, Ninten like Nintendo Switch games on their PC. Uh, Yuzu had a Patreon that was bringing in $30,000 a month. It was determined that Sony versus Bleem, uh, that, another lawsuit, that selling an emulator commercially is completely legal. Yuzu was open source, so anyone could compile the builds they wanted. Uh, next up, Yuzu lets you play builds for uh, before Tears of the Kingdom release. Um, let's see here. You needed... Uh, an unofficial plugin called TikTok Yuzu Fix to play it. Uh, okay. Yuzu was stealing source code from emulators. No, they they weren't. Um, Ryu Jinx. They used some of Ryu Jinx source code, but Ryu Jinx was also open source. So you know, that's um, not true. Let me. I'm still. I'm still reading this. Hold on. Hold on. Um, but yeah, it's, it's enshrined in legal doctrine that emulators are legal and emulators can even be sold. So, uh, that's, that's true. I, I, I know about the Bleem case. So let me see here. Hold, hold on a second. We're almost, we're almost back to Morrowind, but give me a sec. Hmm. All right. Yeah. The speculation is the reason they chose not to fight in court, even though they could win, is that winning would be a costly legal battle over the course of close to 10 years because Nintendo would drag it out at every step. Then um, they also had a problem with the fact that they were pirating ROMs on their Discord server. So uh, they would have been guilty of other shit even though their emulator was in the clear. Uh, as, as far as what I've been able to read. Uh, not not legal advice, not even a bit. But uh, that's what it appears, yes. Uh, that That's what it appears to be, based on what I read. Hmm, it's interesting. Okay. Du, 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 du. Yep. But no, um, their Discord server was uh, pirating shit. Yep. And that's why they, they chose not to fight it. Yep. <clears throat> anyway, um, Yuzu and Setra are both open source emulators, so you can do whatever you want. Um... Uh, you can compile the uh, the code yourself, and if you, you're a Linux user, the flat packs are still up, meaning that you can have the latest version of Yuzu or Setra without having to like search for it. Just go to the Discover Store, and it'll uh, un, under under flat pack, and it'll be there. Yep, yep. Okay, we're going. Three gods, one true faith. We're heading to Ghost Gate now. We're gonna have to fight a few things along the way, but that's neither here nor there. Restore health. Restore health. Okay. We're gonna walk for a second. Yep, yep. Thankfully, Citra is still around, and people are still contributing to, like, private forks and stuff. We're going to see custom versions of Citra pretty soon with just different names. Marwin feels small after playing Daggerfall. Correct. 
But I mean, Dagger Falls its own thing. Uh, we got three bandits, I think. You won't escape me that easily. Damn, one of them's a vampire. Uh, Dramora, get out here. And Golden Saint, get out here. What about Sweet Baby? I have nothing to say about Sweet Baby themselves. I mean, shit games are shit, and they were probably going to be shit regardless. However, um, I will say this. Regardless of, um, regardless of what consulting firms or cartels are involved, you should not use a, cur a Steam curator to list things not to buy. It's the Steam algorithm is going to look at the things that the curator is tracking and go, oh, you like these tags. You you should get, uh, we should recommend more games to you in these tags you like to look at. That's a problem. It, it, getting a curator, a Steam curator that follows things that you don't want to buy is exactly the opposite of how a curator works. You are inviting Steam to recommend to you more shit that the curators track. Like, that, that's like what the curators track. It's, it's going to start compiling those tags and start recommending you more games like it. I'm not saying you shouldn't boycott, okay? Like, you should vote with your wallet, always. Just don't use the curator. How is that the curator's fault? It's how Steam wor works. Correct. That's what I'm saying is, I'm not t I'm not denouncing the curator. I'm telling you, the individual, to um, not use it. I'm not saying curator bad. I'm saying for your own self-interest, don't use curator. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying cu curator bad. I'm. It, like, if you want to get recommended shit, like weird shit, then, um, you know, that's up to you. But uh, you can always be vocal on social media and you can always vote with your wallet. Like, I, I'm, I'm telling you to, you know, I'm not telling you to go against your conscience as far as what you purchase. That's, that's stupid talk. But, um, like, just don't use a curator like the, the people who were recommended yeah exactly cure exactly curators who warn you about games with de novo and uh asset flips especially like people who uh got curators that said don't buy this asset flip actually get recommended more asset flips yes exactly i don't know if there are internal tags that track drm or de novo services but uh um, I know that people were recommended asset flips after joining asset flip, uh, quote unquote, anti-asset flip curators. See what I'm saying? I, I, all I'm telling you is don't rely on Steam curators to tell you not what to buy. Because that's the opposite effect. Like, it, it's going to have the opposite effect, basically. Yes. Following the curated lists will make um, those games more likely to be recommended to you. Exactly. Precisely. When will I get a French-made headset? Uh, this headset was uh, given to me for Christmas, so I would probably have to be given such a headset. Um, no one pays me enough to wear a French-made outfit on stream. That, that, that's all I got to say on that point. Most of my principles are for sale. Their price is just beyond what a reasonable person would pay. That's all. Mm. Anyway, let me see here. Uh, um, what else we got? Uh, do, 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 do. Steam being Steam, no ideal platform to do that. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Let me see here. Why do you have to be paid? Ha! <laughs> Alrighty then. Because I like wearing what I'm wearing, obviously. Now. 
Uh, the strobe, yeah, well, the, the, uh, the green screen doesn't understand how to deal with altered coloration, right? That, like, there are a lot of people who thought that I had dyed my hair pink because of the saturation of color. It was really funny. There are also a lot of people who, um, uh, what do you call it, um, it's like, you're trans? And it's like, no. No, I'm not. What about it? But th then again, I do confuse the fuck out of people with the Ikea shark, right? So, I don't know. That was a gift, too. I get, I get given so many things. Uh, yeah, exactly. People said I dyed my hair because, uh, you know, like the, the, the saturation from the purple light. Yeah, exactly. Make an ugly girl. Lol. Pretty much. I'm a manly man who hate uh, sorry who likes weird shit that's what it comes down to <laughs> yes i was given the ikea shark yeah watching in 360p a lot of people watching 360p they're watching low definition it's true hold on before we go um do, 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 do. I'm I'm still skimming the like there there's so much so much uh Okay, uh to answer your question, uh it doesn't look like Steam has a Denuvo tag. Uh so it doesn't track internally. Like it, it doesn't recommend you more or less based on uh, digital rights management. That seems to be it it's more going to recommend to you types of games. Uh, and things like that. All right. As a self-respecting man, you have the anime tag blocked on Steam. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't know anything, a anything at all about uh, about a anime and related shenanigans. Not not even a bit, man. N not not even a bit. Okay. Uh, let's see here. What else? What else we got? Do, 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 do. Hmm. Yes. Obviously. Uh, my favorite. If I had to, if I had to pick a favorite, I'd go with Barrow Key Tear. Right. I, I'd probably go with Barrow Key Tear. The wait is over, Tenno. Barrow Key Tear has arrived. I only accept one currency, Oricon ducats. Was that Alstolfo? No, we have us. We have Alstolfo wallpapers, but um. Like, uh, no, no, nothing like that. If you want to see the best wallpaper, though, the best wallpaper of all time would be uh, Jonathan Frakes. Yes. N indeed. That, that, that would ha that'd have to be uh, Jonathan Frakes. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, other standout examples would be... Uh, Ulfric Stormquack, uh, as you can see. Ulfric Stormquack uh, has a place up here next to the Dova Duck. The Dova Duck is kind of uh, a little dusty right now. I'll, I'll dust him off later. I don't want to get my hands dirty. But, uh, yeah. <clears throat> yep, yep. Ooh. Let me see. What else? Just one cup? Yes. Give me a sec. I have a recycling uh, can underneath my um, desk here, but I have to go grab something. Give me a sec. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Right. Uh, icons for scrolls. Ah, yes, yes. Give me a sec, though. I'm, I'm uh, I accidentally tipped my cup a little and uh, spilled some uh, kavafi. You can see the uh, the stain. The stain. Huh. Even a little spill from this cup is, uh, you know. Kind of big. Mm. 
You said Pippa socks. We were talking about that earlier. How, uh, uh, how would you call it? Uh, that 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 gun-toting uh, Canadian rabbit, uh, Pippa, was uh, selling uh, unique socks, and uh, the the thing about the socks she was selling. Um, if we pull this up, is as as you can see, they are universal men's fit. That's right. Her, her knee high socks, the the, the the Pippa knee high socks specifically, are men's fit. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> And uh, people people asked if that was a mistake. Um, and a a as you can see, she confirmed it there. Yeah, she confirmed it was intentional. The s cynical gun-toting um, Canadian rabbit. Okay, we gotta fight these bandits now. We're actually gonna do it. Uh, Dramora, we need a uh, bone walker in here. Okay. That's a vampire. Okay. Right. Oh God, it hurts. This guy's hitting me with his magic. This is too easy. He failed. I'm over encumbered though. How how over encumbered? Oh gee, strength strength leech. I need to uh, dispel. I need the dispel power disp. Uh dispel. Here we go. Bye. I, I broke out of the paralysis. Where's Fargoth? Oh geez, she, she's running away. She uh, that that lady was running away. That's hilarious. Okay. This lady's almost down. Run while you can. That one's dead. Okay. <laughs> you can see Fargoth there paralyzing people. Glorious. I'm gonna turn down the game sound slightly. There we go. That's better. That's much better. I'm out of stamina, but it doesn't matter a whole lot. Fargoth is paralyzing it. You can see that right there, that paralysis. People don't know about Fargoth's paralysis powers, but let me share it, this uh, enchanted sword. So it's not the Dagger of Wisdom, it's the um, the Fargothic short sword you can see right there. Uh, it, it was a Daedric blade that we enchanted with Paralyze, and uh, you can see just how much enchantment it has on it. It uses five points per uh, strike. And that means it's got, got quite a few charges in it. It'll also recharge itself over time. The Fargothic short sword, yes. D Daedric quality blade. It's pro. He's a uh, top quality Fargoth. Let's see, this Wood Elf Sorcerer has quite a bit of potions. Uh, so, uh, a, pul a glass pauldron, my goodness, okay. I'm over encumbered. Uh, due to shenanigans, so we're gonna give Fargoth a bunch of the junk we've been picking up. Shouldn't be a big deal, actually. Let's uh, take a moment, take these back, and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna repair everything before I start giving stuff to Fargoth. Yeah, everything should get repaired. Better. Okay, now we'll trade things to Fargoth. Yes, Fargoth has one three three seven. Uh, carry capacity. True. Anyway, uh, what else? This is glorious. Um, what else we got? Okay. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, once lost games. Uh, according to this, I'm, I I just re retwittered it. Uh, um, uh, ho hold on a second. Hold on a second. Here we go. 
Hey at once lost games if I am roaming around the huge open world of wayward realms and hear a crow asking me to come closer and it has a quest for me. Can that and will that be at Zarek? And once lost games says... We have had a few thoughts on how to add Zarek in. Okie dokie. So, uh, yeah, yeah, Wayward Realms, it's a Daggerfall spiritual successor by Once Lost Games. I am generally not at liberty to talk about the project at the moment, other than to say that I am excited for it. Um, and we'll definitely have things to say in the future. Jeez, what is weighing us down then? It's got to be potions. We're, we, we've just been picking up too many potions. That's the answer. I'm, I'm looking at this whole situation going, yeah, I'm just, just over encumbered in general. It's nuts. Okay, let's... Uh, we, we have to continue. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, yeah, Fargoth, about that. I keep getting over encumbered by everything. So give me a second here. I'm going to... Just very carefully figure out. I guess, yeah, I don't want him using all the scrolls. The Elder Scrolls, yes. Yep. There's a lot of conflicting information that people have between, uh, you know, my, my general outfits, plus uh, the cat ears, plus the uh, fact that I like video games in which I could wear French made outfits, lol. And then of course the VTuber avatar. You you take all those things. They don't really mesh together so well. Um not even a bit. Yeah, all the conflicting things, exactly. It's because I'm consistently inconsistent. And I like degenerate stuff for the most part. With the exception of, of course, a handful of uh, FBI open-up things that tend to be adjacent to the spaces I'm in that I do not condone. And people get very disappointed when I don't buy into the whole of their uh, shenanigans. But, uh, yeah, you know, that is unfortunately just the, um, the world we live in where, uh, I, I, you, we are adjacent to so many other things. Like, if I talk about the Japanese cartoons, inevitably we get into uncomfortable topics. If you do X, you must believe Y. Yeah. It's, uh, irritating, to say the least. Okay. Iron. I probably shouldn't even pick up the iron. It's probably not even worth it. And yet, here we are. Yes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, I used to have the Tuturu as my um, donation sound, believe it or not. But I've since replaced it with uh, Release the Sadukar from uh, Dune 2000. You know, where the Padishah Emperor uh, Shaddam shouts, Release the Sadukar! Uh, that, that's my Twitch donation sound. I will eventually kind of fix... Um, fix that up so it works for YouTube donations as well. It's just going to require I create a second module, which I'm not ready to do right now. At least today. I've been so busy with other things. Okay. Let me see here. You learned German with Marwind? Uh, I mean... Wait, what language was uh, Arctwind in? Could uh, could do one of those, I guess. Let me see here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, whoops, delete that. Okay. I'm clicking a uh, reply shenanigan there. Um... Hold on. I'm put I'm putting something in on the on the Discord's there. Good. Good. We're good. Disco Elysium was best in German. I see. We're gonna hunt that rat. 
I was waiting for my stamina to go back up, and the mouse is dead. The mouse meat is mine. It's a paralyzed uh, thing there. You learned uh, English with Marwin? That's funny. Yep, yep. Marwin is a game uh, whoop, with a ton to read. Yeah, I agree. Okay. That was an elder rat. Fourth tier, added from Marwin Advanced. Cure poison, resist poison, that's fine. Yeah, the Elder Scribs exist as well, which is comedy. Because uh, Scrib is a, you know, um, a baby Kawama. So it's like, hey, the babies, the the, ba the Elder Babies? Yes. Alright, double checking a couple more things before we continue. Ah, uh, say. Let's, let's go. Up, 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 um. <laughs> Got some spoiled people? Yeah, mostly. Gonna see if we can get some netch leather off that. I don't think we can. Pretty sure it won't let us. No, no netch leather off that. Unfortunate. Mm-hmm. Good, 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 good. There's jam in the button. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh, that's who I kill. Thanks. Yes. You are the one Todd was talking about. Uh, they were all this brilliant stuff. Oh, There's an Elder Script. Yeah, Black Flag is, uh, it is good. Two Scrib Jellies. Mm-hmm. Try playing the Pathfinder games? Yeah. I own all the Pathfinder games because I felt it was important to support the studio. Lefebvre Bros did a video on it. Did you know Lefebvre Bros is actually, um, um, like, they shut down a lot of their adjacent social medias and are basically saying that they're after the next few uh, skits, they're kind of done because uh, like YouTube do doesn't reward high investment anymore. Like it, it's basically uh, uh, what I call it. They're, they're basically done. Yep. Now you're going to get it. Whether or not they still feel that way, they uh, posted that about a month ago and then deleted like a, a few of their adjacent social medias. I think the main Lafave Bros social media is still up, but like the uh, the side ones are um, um, are gone now. Yep. Do, 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 do. Let me see. Are they stopping their Let's Plays? I, I don't know. Let's Plays on their own, I imagine, wouldn't make for a um, uh, a sustainable job, at least for most people. But, uh, like, the, the incredible setups they used with, you know, full-on sets and actors, I don't, I don't think they can, like, keep that up anymore. Okay. Let's go. We're heading to Balmora. And then we'll head on up through um, through the Ghost Gate. We're gonna take a quick dip at the temple and get some blessings. Blessings are good. We're gonna have some uh, what do you call them? Uh, implings to fight first. Mhm. Mm the only Let's Play channel you know of that seems to make money is Oni Place. Man, I remember uh, Oni cartoons. The the it. it is Oni Cartoons and Oni Plays the same, like, uh, Wingardium Leviosa? Because that was, uh, that was what I would refer to as edgy humor. I enjoyed it very much. It, uh, 
De definitely, uh, definitely wasn't very sensible, but, uh, you know, when it comes to liking bad shit, that was, uh, that, that rated pretty high up there. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Welding, yes. Uh, I, actually, welding is one of those trades that um, is still, like, really in demand. Because every, even if you had a... Um, even if you had... Oh, jeez, my agility got damaged. Okay, uh, what was I saying? Even if you had everything, like, mass-produced... Like in other countries and shipped to the United States, and the United States was like a hundred percent, um, uh, a 100 percent a service economy with nothing produced here locally. Stuff would still need to be repaired, and like maintenance would still have to be done, and a lot of that requires welding. So, um, like as far and uh, of course assembling things locally because you can't ship everything overseas, right? Uh, I said machines can't do it well yet. The issue is machines can't get into every location, right? You can't put everything on an assembly line. Some things have to be done in place, on location. So um, no, like that. Imagine getting around a train car and um, getting into the nooks and crannies to weld a part back on that had become loose or broken off. Um, like, a, a general machine can't do that very easily. And yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, we're, we're definitely not advocating for child labor here, lol. But uh, someone who's, you know... Uh, five foot tall is probably going to be able to uh, fit into a space. Yes. No, this guy, you make more if you can weld underwater. Yes. My point is that even if we shifted over to a pure service economy, welding uh, would uh, still be one of the things that would need to get done. So it's um, an evergreen trade. Yep. Do, 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 do. Okay. Hazardous material. Yeah. Um, electricians, plumbers. Yes. Yeah. The, the, the meme was that uh, children were... Um, children were taken out of the mines and then Minecraft became the most popular game. Therefore, the children yearn for the mines. That's the, uh, the meme. All right, let's see. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Get out of here. What are you trying to do? Make me sick? Uh, sick? Oh, no. I got the rock joint. I'll be back, sir. I'll be back. Welcome to. I'm going to um, pray at the temple to get my rock joint cured. I got it from one of those nasty creatures. Probably the elder rat. Get that rock joint cured. Explains why my stat was damaged then. A little weird on that point. Yep, yep. Mm hmm. Okay. Mobile robots that are dexterous enough? Yes. But their operator, like, they would still need to be operated for the uh, place they're in. Okay, cure disease. Good, we're cured. Let's go back and let's talk to that guy. That guy hates us, by the way, because we've ripped him off so many times. We're about to rip him off again. It's it's fine, really. Greetings. Is there something I can do for you? Yeah, that's that's the idea. Is we're 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 try we're kind of like a paladin. Um. Warrior priest is a good way to put it. Yes. Why did I choose uh, that, that name? Uh, had uh, two, two separate. Uh, Talk with you. Two separate names combined. Something them. tells me I might regret it. Hear that? He's gonna regret talking to us. 
But he, he's looking at Fargoth like, wait, what? <laughs> I don't know why this looks so funny. Okay. Okay, give me a sec here. This is hilarious. We, we got to pick things up. Um, I had two separate names that I combined. That was it. Yep. The, 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 that, that's it. Why? Because I did. The, the, there was... People uh, attribute some kind of machinations to what is ultimately whimsy. Oh, boy. Machinations? Yes. But, but machinations and cheese. Exactly. Okay. This way. Give me a second. We're grabbing all this stuff to sell to him. We're, we're selling him all the junk. Not all the junk, but uh, definitely the stuff we don't we're never going to use. Okay, that pauldron's probably going to cap out his uh, inventory there. So... Repair. That's how our armor skill goes up. Damn right. Now, more importantly, we have to now start selling to him. So, if you notice, he has 37 out of 100. That's not good enough, so we're going to tell him that it just works. Uh, he will buy into the hype. And when he does, we'll defraud him. 71, it's almost there. 96, that's good enough. Okay. So he has 3,000 gold. We're going to sell him all the trash we can uh, possibly sell. Should be a okay. Give me a sec while I poke at something else. Oh, oh. <laughs> Poorly aged things uh, po posts a uh, re Reddit po thread titled Yuzu will fight against Nintendo in court. That is indeed a poorly aged thing. Uh, <clears throat> okay, Hard Drive News says, Scientists fear Starfield may spread across multiple console generations. A as you can see, uh that when, when they say that they're treating it like uh like an infectious disease you, you can see how that works that's uh pretty damn funny so uh yeah yeah <clears throat> there you go <clears throat> you said nah i'd win type stuff well the real issue is that um at least as far as I've been able to tell, you know, again, this is speculation, but uh, based on uh, Discord leaks, it looks like they were uh, pirating ROMs and shit on their Discord server. And if um, if the court case had kept on going, they would have, uh, like, Discord would have been subpoenaed for the, um, for the records to prove that they were pirating ROMs on their on their discord server and uh yeah that's uh like th they would have been on the hook for more than just emulation which emulation isn't illegal like we have we have uh actual um we have actual uh like legal doctrine that says emulation legal not a problem it's uh the bleem versus sony case let me say here. Mm hmm. You hate Starfield? I believe it. I mean, uh, here's the thing, though. Like, unlike any other Bethesda game, I had no desire to play Starfield after I was done with it. Like, that that's something that a lot of people, like, kind of gloss over when they say I liked Starfield is... Actually, Starfield is like the first Bethesda game in a long time where I don't feel like doing a second run. Like, I finished it. It's done now. Uh, but what about New Game Plus? What about it? Doesn't sound fun to me. I finished everything. <laughs> and, uh, they're, like, they're, I don't feel inspired to make a new character. 
I don't feel inspired to uh, continue my old character. Um, it, I, I finished everything. It's done. You know, and that that uh, like I can I could replay uh, Fallout Four. I could replay Skyrim. I could replay um, uh, what do you call it? So many other things. Um. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let me see here. Well, that's just it. it you don't want to um, explore thousands of uh, uh, bland, uh, procedurally generated planets. But I mean, I've. I've got No Man's Sky for that, and I like No Man's Sky. Like, the planetary exploration No Man's Sky is just way better than Starfield, so... Why, why would I, uh... Why would I continue playing for that? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Nah, he, he, ain't, he ain't paying that. Fuck. Uh, extra thousand. Good. This mm -hmm. town is Balmora. This town is Balmora, yes. All right, we sold all the weapons and uh, most of the armors. We're basically ready to go. Let's go back to the temple. Let's get our blessings. Actually, we've so already got our blessings from the tribunal, so let's go. We're going to go north through Caldera now. Yep, yep. Yeah, they're not actually calling it the Creation Club anymore. They're just calling it Creations, and it's just going to be, uh... Like, they're just lumping their paid mods and regular mods together as, like, one menu in order to get people to, you know, purchase things. Mm-hmm. Do, 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 do. Okay, let me uh, drink the water. In No Man's Sky, drinking the water is analogous to death. To never going home. We drank the water. Means we will never come home. Okay. Going through Caldera. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. You are a Bethesda modder being asked to... Uh, Fill out Starfield's empty plants is insulting. Yes, but I mean, you could make a dedicated planet just for um, particular sci-fi stories. Like, their universe is bland enough that you can inject whatever the hell you want and nobody would bat an eye. A anything, Basically, anything would be an improvement. So, you know. Tis what it is. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Give me a moment. Yeah, we're, we're, we're fine. I just have weird uh, things I had to poke at. Okay. We are good to go. Mm -hmm. Why should you have passion for something that shows none? Well, it depends. Do you have passion for science fiction? And you want to do a Bethesda-like? See, what what happens is you co-opt their game and mold it into the shape you want. And if you don't have any passion for that, you know, for telling your own stories using their platform, then, uh, well, run. there you go. Like, you've already answered your own question. Alrighty then. Oh, oh, oh. A science fiction fan is going to have a, a lot of uh, fun nonsense to tell in that engine. But uh, it's going to be nonsense. It's probably not going to be expanding on what Starfield had. It's going to be people telling their own stories. Yeah. It's a pain to mod these games. 
Well, that's a different matter altogether. See, it's for people who are going to have fun. You're kind of the mindset that uh, science fiction is inherently bland? <laughs> More or less, yes. But, um, I mean, space is boring. Space is empty. So, you have to decide to do with it as you see fit. It's why, uh, hold on, let me, let me pull up, uh, let me pull up, uh, Trainwiz's last post, because he's, he's doing a space game. And he had, uh, he had a post that I, uh, um, that I had here, hold on, uh, do, 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 do. Um, so ch check this shit out, okay? Ahem. This is a normal space station, nothing weird, right? Okay? See? Nothing weird about this space station, right? Ahem. Uh, next post is, I lied, the space station's a mimic. Yeah, so, uh, ahem. anyway, let me see here. Do, 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 do. Mm. <laughs> he said the surprise was ruined, perhaps. Perhaps. All right, let's get going. We got to go in this direction. Uh, how's my own stuff going? Uh, personal stuff has not gone anywhere for a while. Professional stuff um, that you shall never know. Um, that's going well. It's been keeping me uh, busy on uh, Mondays through Wednesdays, usually. This, this, uh, yeah. I've been uh, popping in at inconsistent times to stream now. Because of uh, professional shenanigans. Alrighty then, we're going north. We're gonna stop by our stronghold. Actually, hold on a second. I'm wondering we should probably see about putting down potions. We'll we'll do that when we get to our stronghold. Yeah. When we reach our stronghold, yes. As long as the times are convenient for you, yes. No, my, my streaming has been very inconsistent due to, uh, um, real life stuff, which has been good. Like, I'm, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Damn. Elf Mage just attacked me randomly. She had Dwemer coins and money, though. I'll take it. Fargoth. Her dagger over-encumbered me because it is too, uh, strong. I'm gonna repair my stuff. Release the Sadukar! Mad, good to see you. Thank you, uh, for subscribing once again. For, for two years. But, uh, seriously. Uh, m more than two years. Um... Uh, Da, 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 da. Uh, still looking. People saying me things. Being a Linux user, how does that affect how you see copyright and DRM? I ultimately, what I do professionally. Nice. It's uh, there's a second display somewhere. Anyway, I was I saying? Um, as far as um, professional stuff goes. Copyright is an inevitability, and it's required. Um, do I want to do a kind of... Um, do I want to do a kind of... Um, a, like an SCP or back rooms type situation? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... Absolutely. You said, uh, I said sci-fi is boring. Yeah, I said space is boring. It's what you fill the space with that's important. 
Arrakis isn't boring. Shai Halud isn't boring. I was also reading someone's post. You need to keep up. Um, but uh, you'll notice that the majority of Dune isn't uh, doesn't take place uh, in space, right? I mean, sure, they talk about the Spacing Guild and uh, Shaddam's uh, uh, shenanigans, but uh, it's, um, yeah. Um, what I'm trying to say is that uh, folks are, um, you said uh, Dune is dry? <laughs> Something like that. My goodness. If space wasn't boring, we uh, wouldn't bother with uh, faster than light travel. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Oh God, that's that's what Starfield really missed is the idea of uh, uh, star systems should have been a skybox instead of a planet being a skybox. You know what I mean? And like, we we should have used pulse jumps or frame shift or whatever the hell you want to call it to move from planet to planet in a star system and get ambushed along the way as opposed to just warping in. Like, it, I think that's one of the major things Starfield was missing from its space stuff, I think. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Let me see what else we got here. But no, um, what do you call it? Uh, the reason I brought up the train whiz thing is because, um, like, Under Space is a really fun game that basically says, Space is boring. We're going to take Freelancer, and we're going to put Eldritch Terrors in it. And that's awesome. Just saying. Okay. It, 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 space is boring. It's what you fill it with that's important. That's why I'm, what I meant to say before getting, you know, derailed a bunch. Okay. Uh, bu 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 um, I think we're good. Yes. People do need to stop blaming consultation firms and blame the studios that hire them. I'm just saying, like, the consultation firms couldn't exist if, P if companies didn't hire them. It's that simple. Being someone who has consulted multiple times, I know this is true. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> what do we get? Uh, On, oh, Battletech, yes. Ba Battletech was fun. I always get the desire to shitpost the, um, the Battletech cartoon, though. When it, whenever I hear about it. I, I actually enjoyed Battletech. I, I used to use a, uh, a pod. Um, there, there, you know how there are PC cafes? Uh... There was, uh, yeah, there, there's a really bad uh, Battletech cartoon. Hold on. I'm pulling it up right now. The, the, the Battletech cartoon. Uh, here we go. It, it's awful. Under the Star Lake, but by savage wars, they appeared. Mysterious invaders known as the Clans. Okay, hold on a second. But they made one big mistake. They attacked my home planet. <laughs> yeah, it's so cheesy. Okay, uh, my home planet. Oh, it's such a good shit post right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you never heard of this? It's uh, it's bad. That's why. No, nobody wants to talk about it. Anyone who's a BattleTech fan likes to pretend that doesn't exist uh let me let me pull this up here so um there were these battletech pods 
like you can see them right here right and the idea is you go inside the pod and there's a mech cockpit and instead of just playing the computer game um with a keyboard and mouse you got like a full uh control panel and stuff um, let me try to pull this one up uh here we go this is a good screenshot so someone someone's got a, a screenshot here eh uh, yeah like this is what it looks like on the inside and so uh when i used to play battletech i used to play it um it, with, with these pods and all the but all the buttons work they all have like an in-game function. None of them are just flavor. Like your heads-up display is uh, down here. You can see it right there. Yeah. I, I used to rent those. Um, actually, one year, I um, I invited uh, one of my uh, childhood friends along with a bunch of other people. Uh, what do you call it? Um, to do like a big battle royale. Uh, and, uh, that particular childhood friend I ended up marrying, so, you know, uh, she's my wife. And so, I'm just saying, she, she's played in the pods, too. Expensive? No, it was like, it was like, at, at the time, at least, it was like $8, um, $8 per person, you know, something like that, for, for an hour. I, I know $8 an hour doesn't, like, it, 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 that's kind of expensive, but... It pays for the person who's uh, maintaining them, you know? Yeah. Anyway. Because you, you get enough people to do it at once, and uh, $8 per person per hour. You know, it worked. Yep. We gotta go north. Yep, yep. But no, ba battle tech pods. We definitely did that. Um... We, um, had a lot of fun, yeah. Is that $8 an hour? Yeah, but adjust that for inflation, Roderick. That was like 20-ish 20, 20, uh, years ago, so, yeah, you know. Uh, adjust that for inflation. Okay. Do, do, do. And uh, figure how much you'd want to play uh, Battletech matches. Do, 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 do. Let's go. We're traveling. Mm -hmm. Onwards and sideways. I think that was in the 90s. Let's see. When did Battletech come out? Let's find out. Because that was the original version. Battletech PC game. Not that... Uh, they're, they're listing 2018. I don't... No, it's got to be earlier than that. Come on. Okay, there's a Sega Genesis game called Mac Warrior. No. Like it, it it had to have been a variant of Mac Warrior. But it was definitely branded as BattleTech. Oh, this is going to drive me fucking nuts. I yeah, I, I can't bother with this right now. I'm I'm going up. I'm going up to my stronghold. Then back down to Cal, uh, not Caldera, Aldrun. Yep. One of us will die here, and it won't be me. What color lightsaber would you all use? I mean, not to, uh, not to try to put a theme on anything, but I, I did like, uh, the purple saber. Um, also the yellow sabers are cool too. Anything but red and blue. Please, anything but red and blue. Green is also nice. Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. This way. Whoop. Up down here. Richity Crunch. 
Fargoth will get here eventually. Ooh. I'm sure there are white ones. I'm sure there's a, a any color of saber you can think of. Goodness knows the dark saber existed. All right. Howdy, Strat. Uh, by the way, did, did everyone here see uh, Strat's ESO video? Because he actually just posted a, um, a DLC update for that, which covers, like, everything up to, I think, Mer uh, Merkmeyer? So, or, no, no, El Elsewhere. It was Elsewhere. Um... My goodness. You cover it mechanically, but you you seem to be uh a very very light on the details on the on the story, which is fine. You know, people can experience the story for themselves, I suppose. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, but um that's what I, I like to focus on. My goodness. Uh do, 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 do. Okay. Uh-huh. Anyway, uh, <laughs> beige saber, <laughs> a beige lightsaber. Yeah, so we're going to drop a bunch of stuff off in our Redoran stronghold. Then we're going to go back to Aldrun. And after that, we got to go to Ghostgate. Our, our goal ultimately is Ghostgate. We finally got back from uh, the uh, endless stuff we're doing there. Oh, interesting watching the Lauren, Lauren Schick thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I've been talking about Lawrence Schick on streams for months now. Uh, it, it was just about time that I commit that to video form. Plus, uh, with with people crying at me to apologize to uh, Emil Pagli Rulo, it was the perfect uh, storm for me to, you know, make a video about that. Okay, that's my manor house. This thing of I, I am the master of House Redrin. Uh, by the way, I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go over to this, yes. Yeah, e everyone assumes that I apologized to uh, Emil Pagliarulo, it's funny. Okay, there's so much good stuff here, but what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna make a potion pile uh, of, like, random potions that I haven't picked up yet. Okay. You're on a boat in Iceland? Awesome. Uh, Iceland is green and Greenland is icy, right? I, I think it's like the, the opposite. Uh, never, never been, so you know it's kind of an issue there. Uh, geez, that's way too many potions. I actually want to put these away properly. So let's put them on the dresser drawers. So like the Magicka restores. I don't need that many. I only need a couple. So there we go. Jeez, it's a huge potion. We need smaller bottles. Holy crap. Like, I, I'm trying to do some interior decorating here, and the, the potion bottle is gigantic. Can you imagine, like, drink... Okay, this one's a little more reasonable. Can you imagine drinking these? That's awful. Yes. That Iceland is actually ice and hot springs, while Greenland uh, has the color of the CO2 in the air. Wow. Uh, that's just fucking funny. Anyway... Yeah, we got a lot of junk here we got to deal with, so... I'm just looking at these potions going. We have way too many of them. And they are weighing down heavy on me. All right. You're drinking the whole potion each time you use one. <laughs> you drink a little bit and just throw the bottle away, shatter it on the ground. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay... Uh, alcohol. We're gonna pick all this crap up, and we're clearing off our table, and then we're gonna specifically stock alcohol here. Maste. Let's see. Fire wine. Uh, no Nagoro wine. That 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 looks awesome. That bottle. I like. Like you can see the the people there doing their. Yeah, it's the same bottle. Uh, no. No, it's not. <laughs> Non-disposable society. That, that I mean, that would be awesome if you could recycle bottles. I freaking love... Oh, God, it's a barrel pickled slaughterfish! I didn't realize it was just like a whole bottle. 
Let's, uh, sorry, a whole barrel. Let's just put it right here. A ba barrel of pickled slaughterfish right next to my, uh, right next to my bed. I think it's gonna stink. Anyway, let me see. Mm-hmm. What else? What else? Uh, let's see. <laughs> you paying for internet from a boat on Iceland? Oh, jeez. Well, thank you for the $6, Ray. I appreciate that. You have eight hours left. Like, uh, that's uh, kind of nuts, but uh, uh, thank you much. I mean, isn't it great we live in a cellular world now? When, when I grew up, uh, I had the, the most connected thing I had was a pager where um, I, I had I had to call. Uh, when, when someone called me, I had to then find a physical phone to go call them back. It was uh, uh, Sheen. That's a lot of alcohol, all things considered. Sterling Brothers Wine. Rich. Holy crap, Wickweedale. Sujama. That that's like half our inventory weight. I'm I'm impressed. Like it was it I was just carrying too much alcohol. That's what it comes down to. Yep. Absinthe. Okay. Going to assume that's everything? And see about putting things down? Uh Yes, a lot of people had pages. Okay. Let's grab that. Is there anything else I need to put away for now? Too many bottles of everything is the answer. We're, we're set, we're set. So... Mm-hmm. Yar. Okay. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I um, I used to use a mod for Fallout 4 that would uh, let me refill the bottles, and um, you know that that made a lot more sense to me, because you know when you have survival mechanics, like you should be able to refill your bottles. It's kind of silly. Yep. Um, Runescape requires vials. Yes. Okay, so we put away most everything in our um, in our stronghold. I think we're good to go. Let's go back to Aldrune, see if there's anything that needs to be done there, and then we'll head off to Ghostgate and continue the amazing adventures of um, of the Tribunal Temple. I've been, I'm playing this for two hours, and it's mostly been traveling, traveling and talking about that freaking Nintendo lawsuit, but. Uh, Honestly, uh, based on what I've heard, they really had it coming, and they wouldn't have survived dis the discovery phase of the lawsuit. It would have probably uh, kicked their ass. Emulation's legal, but uh, uh, according to what I've heard, they did a bunch of illegal shit on the side, which would have uh, caught them in the end. Yuzu, yes. Okay. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Onwards and sideways. Mm-hmm. Bum. You should run. Um, they were taking money for for that, but uh. It turns out that, uh, according to the Bleem loss, Sony versus Bleem, that um, we have the right to sell emulators. That's not that's not a, what was really getting them. Uh, they were actually, at least according to what I've heard, pirating um, ROMs on their Discord server, all hush-hush style, you know, and using, uh, what do you call it, Discord roles to obfuscate it. That's what I've been told anyway. And um, if true, it means that the discovery phase of the lawsuit would have, um, what do you call it, Nintendo subpoenaing the um, uh, Discord for the logs. And uh, keep in mind, Discord keeps logs for years after they're deleted. 
You said Yuzu was selling updates for unreleased games. Yeah, exactly. They they were literally facilitating piracy. Like, making an emulator is legal, but, you know, when you can actually prove this was designed for piracy exclusively, that's a problem. I love emulators. I emulate all the time. Yeah. Yeah. People just get stupid when they're on Discord. Oh, well, I like. There's a lawsuit against uh, Midjourney, the AI people, and uh, the like. Three developers of Midjourney and one Stable Diffusion developer were in a Discord chat where they basically said, um, "All, all, all you have to do is forget what contributions you did, and uh, uh, like all your legal troubles are uh, solved forever." And they ended up. Um, they ended up actually, uh, like, submitting that uh, that Discord log as evidence to the uh, lawsuit. Yeah. My goodness. The other guys in the boat are asking what you're watching on your phone. It's an Elder Scrolls expert with robotic cat ears. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Let, let's uh, we we can always pull up the uh, the 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 wall of nerdiness there. So you can kind of see a little more what we got here. Just one cup, by the way. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, yeah. Let me see here. Okay. Um. Uh, um. They cut corners for profits. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. The emulator, like I love emulators because basically it lets you play really old games or even newer games on your pc you know and that, that that's great like even like your cell phone you can you can play uh newer games on your cell phone and um yeah it's um it's great in concept the problem is that people use it to pirate i own all of the games that i uh, emulate uh, so you know i can just like pull up the case and show you you know like here's hyrule warriors right because because I played Hyrule Warriors, anything that I I emulate I own, um, unless it's one of those absolutely absurd games where it hasn't been in print for ten years and people on the internet want like you know several hundred dollars for it. I'm like no, nope. um, but that's mostly because you don't want to sell it. You know, it's like why don't you want my money? Is is one of the weirdest things to ask. You know, and, and you have to ask to, it to Nintendo every once in a while. Like, why don't you want my money? I am willing to buy the thing. And, uh... And yet, uh... Usually the answer is Nintendo wants to rent it to you. Uh, through their online services. And that is... that That's where I call it unethical. J just sell it to us like you did before. Okay, we're gonna crunch this. But yeah, you said upscaling old games, but Nintendo Switch content honestly runs at unacceptably low frame rates and uh, resolutions when you could just uh, run it on your PC. I'm not saying don't buy Nintendo Switch games. I, I think you should, you know? But um, the fact that you... Um, like, you don't have to run them on their hardware if you don't want to. M Mr. Super Chatty? Uh, let's see. You said, uh, the other guys in the boat are asking what you're watching. Elder Scrolls Expert. Yeah, no, no, we, we talked about that one. We talked about that one. Uh, I gave it a heart. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, as long as you buy the game... You should uh, have the right to do with it as you please. Unfortunately, Nintendo wants to undermine that. And it's really irritating. I don't believe it. Off. But yeah, I, I seem to be in the minority when it comes to um, insisting on buying the games I emulate. That's just the reality. Okay, we're going to go over to the House Redoran compound real quick and uh, see about... I, I guess we don't really have anything we need to sell right now. No, we have a glass pauldron and some natural... Yeah, let's, let's go over to the Redoran compound and sell some stuff real quick.
pretty sure we can sell the armor in the back area. That should be good. We're going to be going to Ghost Gate really quick uh, after this. But for now, she should have something to say to me. How may I serve you, Archmaster? Damn right. Okay. Where to? Staying safe, I hope. Yep. Yeah, there's only a handful of things I've ever emulated that I don't own. And that is the, um, what do you call it? Um, um, that's like some really, really old games that aren't being sold today. Yes. Why is Redoran the most depressing house? Well, your rewards are very small. That Redoran is all about honor and duty and piety, you know. Um, Staying safe, I hope. But hello. You have done everything I would ask and more. Hello again. What can I do for you? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I would like to sell you this junk. What's this? Bracer of Curing. Cure poison and paralysis on self. That is an amazing bracer. Holy crap. I'm going to hold on to that. I am going to sell most of the other junk, though. Yep. Okay, that should be a plenty. Let's go ahead and ask her for the rest of her money. Uh, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to cancel that because I thought about it just for a second. And instead of asking her for the rest of her money right away, I'm actually going to do something different. I'm going to go over and I'm going to ask for her master's armor or hammers. And then we're going to ask for the rest of her money. Damn right. We did it. I needed to do that in the right order so it uh, didn't bug out. Wish I could have sold that glass war axe, but that's expensive. Uh, hello there. How wonderful. Another tourist. I am a tourist, but I'm going to tell you that it just works. It's this spell we have. We cast that, and he buys into the hype. Uh... You heard, uh, you like Linux, so you, w <laughs> you wiped your windows. What? I have, um, I have both. I, I, I have window, I have Linux and Windows, although I'm not upgrading to Windows 11 anytime soon, which is going to irritate a lot of people. Um, I'm using Windows 10 at the moment. Uh, not right now. I'm, I'm right now. I'm using uh, KD Neon, but um, I have a Windows drive which I can boot from if I need to. Uh, Windows 10. Yes, it just works. See, 100 out of 100. He just bought into the hype, and that means we can uh, sell him things for more than they're normally worth. So, for example, the Dagger of Righteous Fire, and. Uh, yeah, we're just going to ask him for the rest of what he's got, assuming he doesn't have any hammers. We yeah, we'll grab more master hammers. And now we're going to ask him for the rest of his money. Perfect. We did it. Mm -hmm. um, Dark Tide, to my knowledge, Dark Tide runs. Vermintide does not, unfortunately. Yeah. All right. Hello. This is the blessing of... Amalexia, Vivek, and Sothasil. Next, we need... Uh, we need to go over here. And Spirit of Nerevar. Awesome. You said that uh, you're thinking about trying Linux. Get a live boot um, installer and go ahead and test it out on a USB stick. There's no reason to install Linux. Just uh, put it on a flash drive, boot from the flash drive, and play around with it. And once you're convinced that you uh, enjoy it, that's when you can uh, install it. But uh, just run it off a USB stick for a little bit. Play around with it. I, I could make uh, jokes about, you know, playing with the stick, but instead we're going to go uh, to the north. We're going to Ghost Gate. Yep. Do, 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 do. 
Onwards and sideways. Yep, we're uh, heading to go Ghost Gates down that way, so we gotta go kind of down and around. Actually, you know what? It's getting light, so let's sleep for the night in the Mage's Guild. Yes. I shouldn't have pushed so hard. How about sharing the wealth? I've lots to show you. No, of course. Mm -hmm. My goodness. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. What do I think of Arsinium being added for free? Well, it's not really being added for free. It's being uh, leveraged as a login bonus uh, for people who've logged in twice this month. I mean, it's a, it's a good thing. It, it It's still good. It's just it's not really being added for free. It's not like, uh, it's not permanent like uh, Vardenfell is. Hmm. Okay. I shouldn't have pushed so hard. How about sharing the wealth? It's true. What's so important that you would interrupt my studies? Mm hmm. Uh, you want more duties? In a bit. Not right now. Yep, yep. You have to log in twice this week to get it for free. And if you happen to log in next, uh, uh, not this week, this month. Um, and if you, like, a few months down the line go, Oh, I heard they had it for free. Um, uh, and, uh, then you, you don't get the login bonus, so you don't get it. <laughs> it's, it's one of those, uh, FOMO, fear of missing out gonna get people to log in to bump up their player numbers i mean don't get me wrong like it's still better to have it than not have it so you if like you are inclined to log in you should just not that uh, big a deal is gaming on linux a viable thing uh no if you if you're a fan of like league of legends or valorant or anything else that uses anti-cheat uh, those games don't run on uh, on Linux. If, however, you are not one of those people, then yes, Linux is very viable, and you should definitely uh, use it. Yep, D depends. Uh, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Keep a, a Windows drive just in case. But yes... 99% of my gaming happens on Linux. Absolutely. Give me a second here. Okay. People asking me about a thing. Hmm. Yep. You have a Steam Deck and you can confirm it's viable? Yes. No, no. When I said no, I meant to, you know, the normal people. All right. We're in a rest for eight hours. We are completely refreshed. It's 4 a.m. We're going to wait an additional hour before going out. We need to eat and drink. I'm going to go buy some food rather than cooking it myself. Let's go do that. They don't sell food here. Mm -hmm. Your honor, League of Legends. Yeah, the higher rank you get in League of Legends, the worse, uh, w the worse of a person you become. It actually degrades your mental state. And yeah, we have serious hunger. Might as well eat the food we've got. It's serious, so we're gonna have to eat uh, two things instead of one. I could have sworn I had it already. Uh, looks like we got two cooked eggs. That's probably not enough to stave off. Oh, it is. We can drink now. Drink some water. Uh, that's under miscellaneous. Water. Good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just listen to someone who's very high-ranked play in League of Legends. And it's very possible that they will revert back to a normal person once they stop playing. But, uh... And, like, just listen to a high rank during a game, and you'll hear what a bad person it makes them while they're playing. Hello. Uh, barter. She only sells lockpicks. Oh, well, what the hell? Please don't be shy. 
I'm listening. I don't okay. know where to begin. We're in the wrong location. The rat and pot uh, sells lock picks. <laughs> I'm looking for food. Maybe the council club will sell me something. I am a freaking Redoran uh, Archmaster. Yes, sell me food, you bastards. Okay, good. Cooked meat, mushrooms, roots. Uh, also buy your crab meat. Um, I guess that's about it. I don't need to. Oh, uh, and the ashams, of course. And so that's 98. I wish to pay 58. Damn right. I see this land suits you. Good. Mm hmm. Overwatch. Um, man, I, I enjoyed Overwatch 1 during the first month it was out. They added Ana. Ana was a good update. And every update after that made the game worse until I quit. Like, I, I think Sombra really, like, I, it complicated how the game was played compared to uh, vanilla. All right. We're going to drop off this and jump down here. Yes. Today is flower day. In High Rock, children pick uh, flowers of spring. While older Bretons come out to welcome the season with dancing and singing. Well, I mean, that's in High Rock. This is Vardenfell, and it's not very pleasant. You enjoyed Paladins more than Overwatch? Yes. You were a big fan of Tracer, but you never uh, played Overwatch. Yes. I understand that. I, uh, I, I for one, do appreciate uh, both Mercy and D.Va. And, uh, you know, some Hanzo fan art as well. But uh, that's a different matter. Okay, we're heading to Ghost Gate. Let me say here. I'll, I'll look to see if there are any, um, any shenanigans here on the quick list. All right, so looking at my quick list, I don't actually see a uh, anything for Mercy, believe it or not. Um, I, I see a Pharah. I mean, I, mean, I, I see a Pharah. Right. Uh, let's see. Yep. My not not seeing anything mercy on the quick list. Um. Also, a lot of Christmas related stuff, but yeah. No, not even. Okay. Let me check one more place. If it's not on the quick list, it might be in the uh, uh thing here. I have to type M. Okay. Do, do. I'm looking at everything here. Okay. So it looks like as far as uh, Mercy goes, um, I can see three uh, three posts. I can see uh, th this, uh, what do you call it? This Mercy, uh, Witch Mercy, and uh, pink mercy, but that—that's about it, really. So, um, yeah, not not a whole lot else going on there. Okay. I ha I had to go digging though. It wasn't on the quick list. Nah. But as far as like general Overwatch goes, no, I I probably wouldn't play it. Not anymore, anyway. Unfortunate. It is what it is. Whoop. Oh, Rat time. What? Fargoth, kill it. Fargoth killed it there. Yes. Sometimes you get reported for a bad pick. I've seen that. I saw that uh, an attack Torbjorn, who had like an overwhelming win rate, um, got like actually banned for refusing to switch off of attack Torbjorn. Again, despite the fact he had an overwhelming win rate. And he was good at what he did. People disagreed with his pick. He refused to change and he got banned from the game. Yeah. Not just kicked from the match, banned from the game. Yeah. 
Okay. Do, 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 do. We're going. We're gonna, yeah, walk right by that guar. No rue bush for us. Our goal now. Jeez. Coward? That rat was a coward. Should have known. Uh, what I used to use was the, uh, here, hold on. We gotta find a cliff racer first, I assume. Puffy racer. One of us will die here, and it won't be me. Damn. Careful with that, friend. Sorry, Fargoth. Careful with that, friend. Let me, uh, see. It should be called... I'm looking for it now. Da, 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 da. Okay. There, there was a really good picture that re represented this. I'm checking... I'm Googling it right now. Um... All right, so what I used specifically for Overwatch was, um, th this was on, uh, whoops. Uh, it was Oversalt, yes. That that's what I was using. Because even when I played back then, um, <clears throat> it still wasn't, um, um, Still wasn't that way. He said, you wondered if it's possible to play Test 3MP on OpenMW. Test 3MP is a fork of OpenMW. So, no. It's, uh... It's just, like, a different version of OpenMW. That, that's what it is. Uh... Bu -bu 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 -bu. My goodness. The PC port of Infinity Blade looks pretty good. We're traveling. Mm -hmm. Oh, the android? Yes. Fight, coward. Uh, give me a second. Give me a second. I'll I'll grab it for you. Uh, um. It's not open microwave. It's. Uh, here it is. Test three MP android. Bam. Yep. Let me uh, get you the link. That is a GitHub repository for Test 3MP Android. And uh, it's an APK. You're going to have to run your phone in debug mode to run it. But uh, otherwise, you're good. It's not officially on any app store. You have to... You have to put the phone into developer mode. Oh, this is too easy. I have no knowledge on how to set it up, John. That's that's your journey to go through. Okay. Ahem. I just know it exists. <laughs> We're almost to Ghost Gate. I just wanted to go around that Daedric Ruin. Velothi Ruin, whatever. Let's see here. My goodness. Mm-hmm. Whoop, well, watch out. Big rats and cliffy racers. I believe Fargoth is able to take this. Go, Fargoth. War's coming. Wild Guar attacks. Cliffy Racer had no plumes. The rat has nothing for us either. Two ghost gates. Okay. I'm gonna drop off this section. Watching Fargoth. Whoa! That was an amazing Fargoth maneuver. Dungeon AI. Interesting. 
I'm gonna cast Most Innovative. It's a spell to restore our stamina. For those who don't know, um, why? Like we have, you know, it just we it just works. Sixteen times the detail is a chameleon spell, and most innovative is our refresh spell if we need more stamina. The uh, the the meme for most innovative would be uh, this one right here. Yes. Starfield bags the most innovative gameplay award in 2023 Steam Awards. There you go. So uh, that's why we got that spell. jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Mm, you did what I said in uh, Final Fantasy XIV. You played the main story up to level up. And you outpaced the damn story by almost 10 levels. You gonna do blue stuff now? Strat, 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 go to Gradania's Inn. Go uh, pick up a blue quest called The House That Death Built. You, uh... You, you need to do it. It's, uh... It is, like, one of the best parts of the game. And it has to do with that lady who told you, you know, she's starting over as an adventurer. Remember, like, in, in the quicksand? She told you uh, she's starting over? Um, it has to do with her. It, that, that's her story. It's, uh, pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> this way. Onwards. Now, uh, we're almost to Ghost Gate. Oh, and uh, you should do guild all the guild tests available to you as well on the uh, on, on the group finder. Um, I think if you started in Ulda, you can find like the guild test quest um, near the Waking Sands area. Um, jeez, hold on, let me, let me find the actual location for, uh, guild test unlocked. Du -du -du. Um, here you go. Uh, I, uh, I linked an article for unlocking guild tests. These are, like, really small. Oh, you, you already did that? Cool. Cool. Then, then just ignore the, the post there. Um, yeah, guild tests are um, things that uh, what I call it. They're, they're fun little adventures with other players. Get get your get your toes. Whoop! Hold on. Someone said a thing. Uh, oh. well, that that's that's normal. Ignoring the shenanigan and moving on. Okay. We've arrived at Ghost Gate, finally. Uh, make a save here just in case. Ghost fence. And now we gotta go talk with the local temple person. Fargoth, can you hang out here for now? I just uh, don't wanna have to bump into someone through these tight halls, so. Yeah, hang out here. Uh, here we go. Tower of Dusk. We're looking for temple quests. This one honors us. Please, speak. Buoyant Armager, hello. You bring me good fortune, Outlander. How may mm. I be of service? Very good. Um, There are a lot of optional dungeons as well that you can unlock by talking to different people. In, in 14, I mean. Um, I do not remember the names of each one. But uh, as you level up, you'll get access to them via you know, like blue quests. The only blue quests I wouldn't recommend is uh, the levees of different locations, like the levees of Bent Branch or the the levees of uh, Western Thanalan. Like th those, you typically aren't worth doing. Um, it'll be a cold day in hell before I um, recognize um, 
Frank Herbert's son's work is being quote unquote canon. That said, if you imagine it to be a very different universe than the one his father wrote, tonally different and uh yeah, yeah, but they're they're pretty decent novels, I guess. It's just um it's very easy to get offended because you know, you've got incredible work his dad versus his work which is okay. And so uh, you, you need to kind of make that line of separation, okay? He, here, here's the good shit, and this is this is some you know, pulp sci-fi, decent, decent I guess. Of course, I also like the Westwood games. So House Ordos is basically pure fan fiction, right? You said it's canon. Well, thankfully, canon is a social contract that we enter into and requires two-way uh, two consent, right? In other words, it'll be a cold day in hell before I acknowledge it as such. Okay, Tell hello. Tell friends about this place. Yeah. Um, we'll buy some more food. That's fine. I'm going to ask for a 50% discount. Damn right. Compartmentalize the two authors? Correct. <laughs> yes, Canon shot out of. I'll uh, I'll have a video on Canon pretty soon, but uh, a lot of people act like it is a legal contract when it's not. Like, it... it, it it really does take two to acknowledge what is or isn't canon. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's right. All right, so we're two and a half hours in. Before I talk to the temple person, I'm going to take a quick break for like five minutes, stretch my legs, because I get into the habit of sitting down for four to eight hours, and... Uh, I need to really take a break every two, so I'll be right back. Do, do, do. See y'all in like five minutes.
Okay, I'm back. Just give me a sec. Sitting down here. I'm skimming a couple things to make sure I uh, didn't miss anything. Okay. I am actually back now. Let's go find the leader of the temple here in the Towers of Dawn and Dusk and figure out who we're going to chat with regarding duties for the temple. Never understood House Ordos. Yeah, it was... Uh, it's interesting because they tried to do like the trinity of... Uh, like, warrior, mage, and thief. <laughs> like, um, the Harkonnens were all about uh, brute force. Uh, the Atreides were uh, uh, using, you know, the, the mystical sonic tech that the, um, that the movie uh, created. So already, you know, very, very uh, sci-fi. Uh, sorry, not sci-fi. Very, very fan fiction-y. And then um, the, uh, whatchamacallit... Um, and then House Ordos was all about subterfuge and, uh, you know, uh, quote unquote cunning. And, uh, yeah, uh, that, that's about it, really, is, uh, oh, well, sneaky forbidden technologies. It's, uh, kind of funny, though, because their mentat is basically Cabal from, uh, I, uh, Tiberian Sun slash um, Firestorm. Yep. Does OpenMW run better on an Intel or AMD CPU? Couldn't tell you. I uh, I had an Intel CPU for a while. Ran OpenMW just fine on that. Have an AMD CPU now. And it still runs pretty fine. So, yeah, I, I couldn't tell you. <clears throat> Let me see here. This is the Tower of Dusk lower area. Hello. Blessing of arms of E, Master. I am master of the ha Oh, jeez. The, these discounts are huge. And then again, I don't really have many of these skills, so... I could just hang out here. I hadn't thought I about that. that Those Who's boots are I ruined. This land suits you. Mm -hmm. We welcome you freely, Atlas. Well, at least these are beds we can sleep in. Cool. Archmaster of Redoran, how may I serve you? Uh, just, just hang out I'd here for now. I serve you humbly, Master. Whatever your desire. I like how they all turn into sick offense the moment I uh, hit the Archmaster status. For, for the longest time, no one was able to... Um, no one was able to hit the top rank of House Redoran because... Like, all of the counselors disagreed on who should lead. But then we killed off the only guy who wouldn't uh, accept our help. Everyone else is like, oh boy, you helped us, so we, 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 we don't want you to be Archmaster. And uh, the, the one dude who wasn't, uh, we killed in the arena. So now they're all sick of fence. It's great. Redoran Warrior, Telvani Mage, Halalu Rogue. Yes. H Halalu is... Uh, a mix of social skills and uh, and thieviness. Yeah. Of course, when you realize that Halalu is inextricably bound to the uh, Kimona Tong, things start to make a lot more sense. Uh, th their politics, politicking shenanigans, because it's like, yeah, they're, they're quote-unquote progressive, bringing the Imperials in, but then they're also uh, funding the most racist organization in um, a, on Vardenfell. It's, uh, it's great. Just... Uh, um, really, uh, really sells the fact that, um, Vardenfell is politically complex, you know? Even though it's, 
uh, pretty simple compared to uh, a real life. It uh, it feels more complex, is how I should uh, uh, phrase it. From a video game standpoint, it, it's uh, more complex than anything Bethesda has made since. Uh, let me hit a few more buttons. Uh, here we go. Okay. Hello? It's so good to meet you. Yeah, these all seem to be House Redoran people. This one honors us. Please, speak. Okay, it looks like repair. Oh, get some master hammers here. Is that that's a wooden heater shield? That's actually pretty cool. Glass shield there, bug shields. No Arch master of Redoran. Mm -hmm. oh, what an so. unexpected surprise! Very good. Mm hmm. The ah, uh, the shady imperial. Yes, you you get uh, you get naked for him, and, and you kiss him. I um. I remember when people were screaming about the uh le the sexual harassment remover. Uh, uh it, it's funny because like the same people who were screaming about the sexual harassment remover in Morrowind were the same people getting irritated that the Nexus would censor like certain uh mods. Like, it just shows that they're so entrenched up their own asses that they can't see people um, uh, wanting to play the game their own way, you know, as being legitimate. Like, well, those people just can't handle it. It's like, maybe they don't want to. That's the whole point of modding. Let me see here. Anyway, um, my point is that uh, there's a, a whole mod where, um, uh, you know, like, uh, it, what is it called? Uh, it, it, it kind of uh, makes NPCs not whistle at your female character anymore, things like that. I, I don't have a need for it myself. You know, you, you look at, um, like, if you want a real juxtaposition, you, you know, you have you have this mod over here versus you know my wallpaper over there and you just kind of look at the screen for a second and go what but um now um <clears throat> let me see here mm -hmm. yeah well Roderick I don't really uh care so much about the real life implications of it I'm just talking about it as a mod that we get to enjoy. Yeah. Du, 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 du. You thought it was just random? Pretty sure they whistle at you, but, uh. Yeah. Like Mana Rape being changed to Mana Leech. Uh. Crassus Crow no longer asks for a kiss. No longer asks you to strip naked for him. You know. Uh, Nels no longer demands a kiss. Instead, you know, um, things like that. It's it's fine, in my opinion. I wouldn't use it because I think uh, Morrowind's fine the way it is, but what I'm trying to say is there are people out there who were offended that the mod existed. And though that's... Well, I'm like, but mods are for everybody. Everyone of every temperament and customize the game to their specifications, and that's fucking awesome. That's what I'm trying to say. I could kill that. Boy. We're going over to the Tower of Dawn. The Tower of Dusk sucks. Yeah. We're going upstairs here. Hello there. Welcome, friend. Are you the one I've heard talk about? Yes, you have. Mm hmm. That's the point to show you the personality of each house. Well, there are other ways to do that. They're still sneaky, conniving bastards who will have you do uh, different quests. And yeah, if it removes a little bit of flavor, that's the individual's choice. Let me see here. Okay. 
I, I saw a distraction that I'm going to ignore for now. Hello, sir! I see this land suits you. We welcome you freely, Outlander. Where the hell is the duties NPC? I'm looking for him. Uh, are you it? I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I mean, you sell spells and potions. That's pretty cool. But uh, I'm looking for someone in particular. No, you don't have that. Services. Yes. So, temple, healers, and the... T I'm in the Tower of Dawn. That's what I'm looking for. Hello. Uh, you barter. You don't have duties. Got it. So, I'm very happy to make I'm trying to find... Yeah, the Ordinator, yes, isn't it? Is it? I think he's in the temple. There's a temple in the middle. That just shows how little I know about this. It's great. Okay, so... Uh, the, in the middle is the way through the ghost fence. So, it's got, the temple's got to be up here, then. Yeah. Cool. Alrighty, then. Welcome, is this friend. the Buoyant Armatures? I have. I have. Oh, okay, this cool. Honors us. Please. These speak. are buoyant armagers. No, the, 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 those are buoyant armagers. Check the pilgrim shelter. Another buoyant armager. Hello there. Uh, nothing so far. Mm-hmm. Yes. Are, are you it? By chance? Hello, Welcome, sir. Citizen. How may I be of assistance? No. We got buoyant armagers everywhere. Hello there. Nothing this we need. Hmm. Fargoth. Lots of Fargoth. Oh, we can get a blessing here. Om CV. Let it be so. We get those blessings all the time. So, yeah, I'm not sure then. Hmm. Thanks again for returning my family ring. Yeah, the Three Daggers is a tavern up front here, which is pretty cool. Oh, nice. I can get an Ashiam, Salt Rice, uh, do, 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 Scuttle. These are all good items. Hell yeah. I'm going to ask for 10, though, not 15. Damn Impressive. right. These clothes suit you well. Mm -hmm. How wonderful. Welcome, Outlander. A lot of, uh,. Wasn't the temple at the top of the gate? Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna go down and around because we went through here already. Did not find what we were looking for. Oh, the t okay, the temple's in the middle. There, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Ooh, all of the shrines. St. Narivar, hell yeah. Let me see what else we got here. Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we got tons of blessings. Hell, yeah. Delon's oh, shield. Welcome, Alfred. Thelm's glory. Lothris. Vivex fury. I am Uvu Laren, the master of Ghostgate Temple. Cool. I'll be talking to you, Uvu Laren, in just a moment. Spirit Nerevar. Yeah, we got all the blessings. Hell yeah, you're not poisoned. Damn right I'm not. Those boots are ruined. The atmosphere is great. Temple supply chest, hell yeah. Uh, let's see. Interesting. Yes. Get, get, yeah, I just want all the blessings. Cool. Alright, let's take a save and uh, say... Uh, temple... Time. Temple time. Okay. Uh, duties. I have no duties for anyone under the rank of curate. Speak Spot. with Thara Rotholoth in Morlagmar, Tuls Valen at the Aldrun Temple, or Endrin Lethan at the High Fane in Vivek. I know Vivek is done. Um, let's go up to Molagmar then, I, I suppose. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, let me see. Ooh, yeah. Okay, I, th I think we're good Good to go. Yeah. My duties are too sacred for anyone under the rank of curate. How wonderful. Perform your duty. Yep, yep. I'm fine with that. I am A-okay. Fargoth, we're going to Molagmar. Thanks again for returning my family ring. Let's go. Come with me. 
Every Dunmer goes, where's that slave? Like, oh, wow. Okay. So, Molog Mar is down there. So, um, I was thinking about Margan. Let's just go check Aldrun one more time. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised no one at Margan. You know what? Let's, let's go up to Margan anyway, fight a bunch of monsters along the way. And see if Margan has anything for us that isn't listed. We'll, we'll skirt around the ghost gate, in, uh, ensuring we will run into a lot of ghost gate monsters. And uh, get some training, like this uh, cliffy racer. Oh, this is too easy. Yes, it is too easy. But we get racer plumes, which can grant us levitate. We combine a racer plume with a uh, butterfly wing, and then we can fly. Absolutely. Okay. Guar's attack. Corrupted wild guars. Every time we walk up here, we're immediately attacked again. No one can challenge me. Yep, wild guars. That guar meets good food though. Wait, what? I don't see anything. I'm going to pretend like I'm not getting attacked, even though I'm pretty sure I'm getting attacked. Ah, Cliffy Racer, of course. You should run now. Hold on a second. Let's let's go ahead and uh, soul trap this uh, Cliffy Racer. Yeah. You don't deserve to live. This is going that Cliffy Racer fun. doesn't deserve to live. Okay, so the Cliffy Racer's soul is... A blighted cliff racer still only fits in a petty gym. That sucks. That said, we got 22 more empty petty gyms to fill, so no big deal. They're all worth like 100. It's not great, but hey, is what it is. Grabbing all the alchemy ingredients from the plants as we go. I suppose we should repair our stuff before we go any further as well. Good. Make sure everything is nice and full. We haven't been by here recently, so uh, grabbing all the alchemy ingredients. It's good stuff. Eventually, we're going to have to go and do some... Um, what do you call it? Um, more alchemy. Yes. And that'll be great. Cliff Eraser's coming. No one can challenge me. Multiple Cliff Erasers. You'll be fine. Eesh. Sorry, Fargoth. That's the problem with, uh, like, you know, this doing attacks is, is you hold down fun. the attack for a second. The monster's already dead. You look at Fargoth and release. Like, should be a way to right-click to um, cancel a... Uh, Thing. We're going to rest for an hour because we're getting attacked by uh, Scamplings. Guaranteed. Uh, let's get ourselves a Dramora ready to go. Hungerlings, I mean. Doesn't matter. Point is we soul trap the Hungerlings. And uh, then we have some fun. Or Fargoth gets soul trapped, apparently. Yep. You can see Fargoth already destroying that one. We have chose the wrong Fuck. To mess with. I broke it. What a shame. Fargoth is now angry and will be angry forevermore. So what we do is we calm. We calm humanoid on the Fargoth. Oof. What? You don't deserve to live. Oh, this is too easy. This uh, able, yes. Oh, this is too really? easy. Really? Uh, jeez. Okay, we have to cast a new uh, Dramora. Uh, yeah, su summon Dramora. Now you're going to get it. And then, wow. Okay, my conjuration just went up. Should be uh, calm. Yeah, not clam. Uh, clam is not a uh, valid uh, option. Just so you guys know. We gotta go now. 
We're going we gotta go make an area transition real quick before the spell wears off. Fargoth will be angry. He he's full of rage, this little Bosmer. We're gonna ignore everything. The cliffy racer can Oh, never mind. It's too late. One of us will die here, and it won't yep. be me. It's too late. The, the, yes, the, the clam spell, exactly. We gotta go back to Ghost Gate really quick. Get something done. I'm looking at the whole Red Mountain area and uh, like I think we're high enough level to deal with it. These cliff racers come out of nowhere though. I like how uh, normal cliff racers are very tame in my game. You but the blighted run. ones have the vanilla uh, can, aggro distance. You don't deserve to live. Okay. Let's go ahead and rest here and see if Fargoth gets pissed. We're going to see in a second. No, he's not pissed. If we talk to him, his uh, disposition's 100 out of 100. So he's, he's, he's not pissed at us anymore. He was just pissed at the Dremora for some reason. That's fine. We can go. We got a lot of monsters to kill here, which is a-okay. Trying to see if there's anything else. Uh, if we go back to Aldrun, I suppose, oh, we got a, an angry cat man. Yep, round. He's a mangy mage. Damn. Fargoth paralyzed him. Okay, it was a Khajiit Raider. He's got an exquisite amulet. That's great. We can custom enchant that. He was using the Ring of Shockball. He didn't even know how to cast Shockball himself. He was relying on this ring to attack us. That's funny. Sucks to be you. Palma Forger Kirtle is mine. Are we infected? No, we're just hungry and thirsty because we've been uh, at this for so long. Okay. Grab a hooked root. That should be fine. Heal ourselves. We're going by a Daedric Ruin, so I uh Of course the that's after me. You should run now. You definitely should run now. The real concern is that Miol used to hunt cliff racers with her dad. And that happened um, long after Jube was supposed to be dead. So either Jube failed to eliminate every cliff racer. Or he's a dirty liar. One of the two. Yes, uh, Bethesda couldn't remain consistent in their own game. That's the crazy part. Like, the, the person who wrote the St. Jube quest for Dawnguard didn't know about those voice lines in the base game. It's true. All right. Yep, yep. Let's go... Okay, we're back at Aldrin. We're going to check out the temple. Checking out the temple. Uh, not this way. This way. Down and around. Fishing around. Oh. Are you here to serve the temple by performing duty? Speak with me again when you have proven yourself in the temple. I have one more thing to ask of you, but you are not ready. Until then, speak with Uvu Laren in Ghostgate, or Endrin Lethan in Vivek. I don't know. I don't think Endrin Le Yeah, Uvu doesn't have any quests for us, and Endrin doesn't either. So... Like, we're running out of people to get quests from. We may have to go to the mainland and pick up some other uh, things there. Yeah, we're going to go past our stronghold to Margan. Uwu Laren. Mm hmm. Yep. You can't escape me. 
Kill it. Right. Kill that there. No issues. What's next? Kill it. No. This way. You chose the wrong wrong Bosmer to, to mess with. with. Mhm. Mm Almost there. Ghost of Tsushima is getting a PC yes, release on May 16th. Interesting. I ignore most games because, you know, I will never own the console that, that they're on. Well, but, um... Uh, uh, yes. Looks interesting. Emulate Demon Souls on... Don't bother with the remake. Yes. Let's see... Shin Megami Tensei, eh? The, the Goddess Resurrection Saga. Always kind of a weird name for uh, the series in general. I don't know. Someone linked me the uh, classic Fallout meme. Ahem. I need to find the water chip. I need to find the Gek. I need to find my dad. I need to find my son. And Fallout New Vegas. Who shot me in the head? Okay. <laughs> trying to think of uh I think a game that I would be interested in playing again uh would be Persona 1 and 2. Though those are two games that are uh nothing like their respective series. It's kind of funny. Some people uh, played uh, Shin Megami Tensei. They they played the uh, the five, and then they they wrote articles like SMT Five is Persona without the heart. <laughs> In other words, they're um, uh, they're they're people who've never played a uh, SMT game ever, and they've only played. Um, what is it called? Uh, uh, a Persona 5. Yeah. Oh, this is too easy. I'll here we go. One of us will die here, and it won't be me. Yeah. <laughs> What it really comes down to is there are certain people who are um, very attached to the dating simulator elements of Persona 3 and up. And, uh, you know, can't imagine the monster collecting game. Like, they, they, they feel the similarities in style with Persona and otherwise outside of that that very basic status can't comprehend the game. Oh God, dead. Fargo's pulling cliff racers. No one can challenge me. This is going to be fun. Am I getting a game that I've never heard the name of before? Probably not. All right. Let me see here. Oh, jeez. 
Let me see. Uh, b -b 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 do a search. Okay, search says... Uh, it's an Atlas uh, published game. Interesting. <clears throat> you know what game I need to play? I need to play the sequel to, uh, not Reketeer, um, Rhapsody Musical Adventure. Like, uh, it has a sequel where you play as their daughter. And, uh, I'm, like, super interested in that. Uh, do, 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 Hmm. Okay. Looking at, uh, uh, hmm. The hell too. Oh, speaking of, uh, I I played the hell too quite a bit, but uh, guess what? Coming, coming in twenty twenty five. Diablo the Hell Three. Yes, the Hell Two is finished. But the Hell 3 is being worked on. That's right. Get excited. Mm-hmm. Yep. Ahem. Another thing, if you are interested... Uh... Hold on. Um... If you are interested in Diablo... Um one modding there is actually a multiplayer shenanigan it's uh let me see here hold on it's it's very like it's been updated recently i'm trying to find it uh, ba -ba -ba. i know it's around here somewhere well it's gonna drive me crazy Ah, here it is. I found it. Okay. So, um... Th this here, uh, Technorbog, ha has been updated January 1st. And, uh, there's all kinds of new stuff you can do now. It's It's got a lot of Diablo 2-isms in Diablo 1, if you're interested in playing with friends. I'll go ahead and ha uh, link that right now. Um... If you are so interested in uh, playing Diablo 1, but uh, uh, what is it called? With Diablo 2 uh, elements, yes. They have a uh, Beelzebub single player if you want to. Uh, um, yeah, they refer to it as the Diablo 1 HD mod, which is not just HD. Um, you can see right here, Diablo 1 HD mod for single player, and for multiplayer, it's, uh, you see, that this this one, uh, was 2014, whereas this one's 2024. Bit of a difference. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Gonna rest an hour and keep going. Yes. But Beelzebub's out of date. Hasn't been updated in a long time. Holy crap. Cliffy Racers. There are more of you. Paralysis in air is the most amazing thing ever. I've uh, contracted Ash Chance. Oh boy. I certainly like... Uh, having my diseases. Okay. That bottle did not cure it. I think it's a blight disease. I'm gonna use panacea. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me see. Here, delete, delete... Delete. Delete, delete, delete. Panacea. There it is. That cured the disease. Hooray. Okay. 
Let's move on. Onwards and sideways. We're almost there. Gonna see if they have any temple uh, quests for us. Whoop. E indeed. Go, go, go. Personally, uh, I wouldn't know anything about uh, culture. Not, not even a bit. Not, not even a little bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. As I sang. This way. Crawl a lol lol. All right. You chose the wrong Bosmer to miss. Cliff racers don't have bizarre pathfinding. Well, yes, that's because of nav meshes gotcha. and they're programmed to just fly over shit. Yep. Gotcha. Fetcher! Open. Fargoth hates me now. I, ha I have aggroed him beyond. I must uh, calm the humanoid. He's using his Fargoth blade. There we go. See, we were never angry with each other to begin with. Ta-da! Yes. Stupid, exactly. That's how it works. As far as, um, <clears throat> as far as, like, a Fallout TV show goes, I don't expect it to be, like, I don't expect adaptations to basically ever be faithful to the source material. I just kind of uh, shrug and go, eh, whatever. Um, but as far as, um, like an Elder Scrolls show goes, I have no idea. It depends on how much money the Fallout one brings in. Okay. Do -do -do -do. Uh... Okay, I just need to delete something on Discord. There we go. That's good. All right. Yep. Mind control magic. Yes. Yes. We we, we employ mind control magic. Unethically. Accidentally hit that guy. We can cast calm to make him forget the fact that he was angry at us. We go and look at his disposition. It's 100 out of 100. He still loves us. All right. Mm-hmm. You upgrade your mods for Crusader Kings 3. I understand. I really do. Whoop. At some point, I need to go play Mountain Blade Warband again. Okay. What do we got here? We're gonna go to the temple. Mm -hmm. That's not the temple, the temple's up there. All right. Hello? Impressive. These clothes suit you well. Damn right they do. Shrine to the Tribunal. Amalexia, Sothasil, Vivek. Oh, be done. You have Gods. completed the pilgrimage to the shine of Margan. I have, I have, yes. Um, do you have any other... Uh, I heard you rescued the pilgrim. I guess the Ashlander that came here demanding ransom for a famous noble was confused. He was confused. The guy was not worth anything. So... It looks like... Unless I'm missing... They find me. Worthy of your attention. Unless I'm missing something, I think we've done, like, everything as far as the quests go. So I'm kind of looking at, yeah, sh show active. And then, um... We need to figure out the... Not the Fighter's Guild. Should be the Temple. And see if there's any Temple quests we have that we haven't done yet. Mage's Guild... 
Uh, t t troublesome orc. Disease. Yeah, we we've done all those. So, looks like we have finished all of those uh, quests. The only thing I can think of is to uh, go see the lady in... Um, hold on. Let's go check the side rooms. May uh, you find me worthy. There might be a lady we can escort as uh, one of the temple quests, but otherwise we should be advancing ourselves through the temple ranks. You have completed the pilgrimage to the shine of Margan. Yes, I know. I know I've done that, but I'm looking for advancement. Looks like I have to go to a different temple for that. What a shame. What a shame. Margan. We're out of here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to head back to Aldrune. And we're going to get a lady to... We're going to escort a lady to Ghost Gate Shrine, which is going to be some battle. And after that, we're going to ask the temple for a promotion. And if we can't get one yet, so be it. Grumble, grumble. But I'm pretty sure we... Um, we qualify both our skills, our uh, stats. We're basically ready to become a curate at this point. And so I might have to go to the mainland and uh, grind out a few more uh, quests there. You can't escape me. But I plan to do whatever I need to to get that curate rank. Because that's the bottleneck stopping us from uh, a skeletal corpse. Anyway. That's the bottleneck stopping us from progressing through the temple any further. And I've been looking around quite a bit. I've been in having fun, obviously, going around fighting enemies. And I'm willing to do that for many more hours. But um, I would like to get some advancement here. Because I'm going to be picking up the main quest as soon as I finish the... Um, what do you call it? Well, hello. Who are you? To the death. To the death? This is going to be fun. She said to the death and she started casting buffs on herself, so I immediately just kind of nuked her. I bonked her twice. Androthen, yeah, I've already done um I've already done a couple quests in Androthen, so hopefully that counts towards our tribunal temple progress. Ha <laughs> But uh we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Rat! Now you're going to get it. Good. Yeah, we're going to escort a lady to Ghost Gate, and she's going to, um, yeah, she, she, she's going to be ungrateful, but that should count as temple reputation. And afterward, we'll ask for a promotion. Mm-hmm. Mages should think twice about asking for battles to the death. Yes, that's a vampire. I like how Fargoth can just paralyze him as he's getting his buffs ready. Whoop, nope. I see I backed up. This is too easy. Nope. He's using on touch attacks, which are failing. The Dark Elf Battle Mage had a lot of gear. But in general he was being stupid. And the fact that he was being stupid gave me the perfect in to finish him off. I do have to rest for a couple hours though. I'm out of stamina. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Now you're going to get it. Yes, I'm not timing my attacks perfectly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Ghost Fence ain't letting us progress. Ahem. Imagine if the enemies you find on your travels are guild members. They may have been guild members in the past. Uh, have I ever played Final Fantasy XI? Uh, a bit. Uh, I played it back when it was really bad, though. Uh, back when uh, my Red Mage character was considered a uh, refresh bot don't deserve by the community. Here. Didn't appreciate that. All the mechanics have greatly shifted since I originally played. But uh, 14's my go-to game. Um at the moment, so the closest thing I get to 11 these days is Eureka the Forbidden Land, which is a place where you can level down. Um, but that's level 70 content. 
Uh, let's see. Oh. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Looks like uh, classic game post-mortem Elder Scrolls Chapter 1, The Arena, is going to be on... G uh, Ted Peterson uh, is apparently going to be uh, chatting at uh, Game Developers Conference, GDC. Let me go ahead and pull up his uh, Twitter tweet um, for that. He's going to be talking about Elder Scrolls 1. Yeah, that's really cool. All right, let's go. Okay. Hmm. Wait, what? I'll see you dead. Yeah, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Cliff Racer's gonna come over here. Uh close enough. Yep. One of us will die here. And it won't be me. I know. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. It'll be interesting to see what happens, uh, what what they have to say about uh, GDC. Yeah, that'll be on the, it's on the twenty twenty four schedule. So, uh, wasn't him? Interesting. Let me let me check this right now. Uh, Ted Peterson and Julian Lafay, both on the schedule, right there. Yep, right there. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Classic game postmortem. The Elder Scrolls. Chapter 1. Arena, Ted Peterson, CEO. Once Lost Games, Julian Lafay, Technical Director. Once Lost Games. There we go, hell yeah. Julian Lafay and Ted Peterson on the 30th anniversary of the first Elder Scrolls game. Arena. Discuss its origin. Development and publication from their perspective as creative leads on design and programming. Mm -hmm. Bethesda Softworks had previously only had success with sports games in its Terminator franchise. But Lafay and Peterson believed they could create a role-playing game based on an original property. A risky proposition. They delve into how the concept had to change radically because of technical hurdles during the course of development, resulting in missing their deadline and a less-than-stellar release as a flop became a cult hit, and a sequel was warranted. Lafay and Peterson reflect on lessons learned that led to the development of a series which has mm -hmm. sold billions of units and received critical acclaim. They conclude on what has brought them together decades later to continue their creative partnership. Uh, um, let's see. Uh, Strat, um, posted a Final Fantasy XIV, uh, screenshot there. Th those are some skills there. Pretty impressive. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. What else? Okay. Yeah, this will be interesting. Yeah, I I'm I'm looking forward to hearing uh, what uh, Julian LeFay and Ted Peterson have to say. GDC is definitely the place for it. Oh, oh. Okay. Hold on a second. Hmm. Almost done. I just need to close a couple things there. Okay, we're good.
Realm Reborn's quality content, yes. Manphilias. Alright, before we do anything else, let's go to the temple, ask for a promotion. And we'll go and escort the lady to Ghost Gate, because she wants the escort, and I can do it. Hello there. Are you here to serve the temple by performing duties, my child? I'd like... Or have you come for something else? I'd like advancement, please. Thanks. Uh, perform more duties. God damn it. Alright, um... Well, I suppose... Let's ask you. You have my blessings, Outlander. Uh, how about a potion today? No, not you. How wonderful. Welcome, Outlander. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, oh, Graha uh, is definitely a standout character. But he comes in uh, a little later on. Oh. I mean, yeah, you meet him, like, at level 50, but uh, he isn't relevant till level 70. <laughs> Okay. The gate is locked. We're going to go uh, take a nap. And then we'll uh, escort the lady to Ghost Gate afterward. Oh, oh. If there is anything I can do, I am humbly at your service. Nope, just need an eight hour nap. Be nice and fully rested. Today is the Festival of Blades. People in the Alakir Desert celebrate the victor of the first Red Guard over the race of giant goblins and their gar god, Maluk. Story is considered a myth by many scholars, but it's still a holiday in the desert. Got it. Oh, oh. Repair. Everything needed repair. It's worth it. Hell yeah. But yeah, the scholars are looking uh, to deny us a good holiday. That's for sure. Hmm. Give me a sec. Gotta fix something. My chat window is being uh, a bit uh, on the silly side. I think that'll more or less fix it. Hell yeah. Okay. Let's go. She should be right here. And she'll want an escort to Ghost Gate. Welcome, Dunmer. Let's set aside our differences and talk, shall we? Yes, let's set aside our differences. Uh, Welcome, Ghost Gate. Gate, angry lady. Yes. They're always trying to take away your holidays. You know, yeah, I mean, you should you should work, sleep, and die. That, that's your, uh, your function. You're a cog in the machine. Hmm, the lesser people in society mm, only have their roles to p fulfill. Mm, yes. Okay, let's see what else we got. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh huh. Yes. Hello there. You there. Yes, you. I'm in need of an escort. You'll do in a pinch. I need an escort to Ghostgate Shrine, and I need to be there in two days' time. I'll give you a tip when you get me there safely. I haven't got all day. Shall we go? Yes, I will get you there. Good, let's go. And be quick about it. Damn. He's not a nice lady. But we're going to Ghost Gate Shrine. Hopefully that gets us the uh, the reputation we need. Because otherwise we're going to have to go do other uh, stuff on the mainland. I wish there was an indicator like you're almost there. You've almost completed enough quests. Kinda. Sorta. Oh, oh, right. 
I think if there's anyone el any other temples we can do quests for. The answer's probably no, but uh, hello, Cliffy. You should no run. one can match me. I've trifled with you long enough. She's punching the cliff racer. She just screams and starts like giving it the palm. You said mainland quests count? I know they do. Pretty sure uh, almost all of them do. Mm hmm. Yep. This way. How much reputation do you need to speak to Vivek? Not sure. When I said reputation, I actually meant faction reputation, not uh, the overall reputation. Yep. Kill Vivek, advance the story. What? He's my god. Who the heck are you people? Is that what I think kill. it is? Kill. Kill, kill. Kill, die, kill. Die. Die. kill. You, the wall. you won't escape me that easily. Oh, you run. Run. I pissed off Fargoth again. My bad. What a shame. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, quit really quick. And uh, we're going to open things up now. was called... Uh, let me hit, hit a few more things. Uh, someone asked me a thing. That should be fine. Okay. So we uh need to just go over to here launch the game whoa boy i i did silly things yes it's fine really no problems oh oh we're okay It's the Festival of Blades. Ignore everything. Continue down the road. You run. Cliffy Racer, why are you fighting? You're not, even run. Trying. You're not even trying. That lady, uh, we have to escort her over anything else. Unfortunately, she we could get sidetracked and she could die, and we, we don't want that. We want her to finish and get to the shrine in time for us to get uh, advancement to cure it. Assuming we can't do that, we've got uh, other things to do. We can always go to the mainland and shenanigans, but uh, first things first, food. Nom noms are good. And sippy cup. Let's go. We got cliff racers to fight. Going past my stronghold again. Now you're, you're going to get it. That Wondering if there's anything we should put away in our stronghold. I hadn't thought about that. Here we go. Oh, this is too easy. Grr, 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 grr. Yes. We're okay. Kill it. My goodness. All right. Stretch. And uh, let's double check something else. Okay, I think we are good to go. Mm-hmm. Ashfall will never have open MW support. True. But as long as I, like, I have uh, hunger and thirst mods and fatigue, I, I, I'm fine with it. Um, mostly fatigue as a pacing mechanism. Yeah, we got a lit to fight. Rest an hour. Good. Now you're going to get it. My goodness. 
If I have to right. choose between uh, features and stability, I'm going to go with features. Uh, sorry, I'm going to go with stability. I go with stability over features, and I go with content over features. Um, I'd say the order would be stability, content, and then um, and then features in that order. St stability being king. You should run down here. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We're fine. We just need to continue our journey to Ghost Gate. Oh. Nice that uh, there are so many features, but uh, yeah. Hey, like, Open MW runs basic mods. You know, um, and it's got its own Lua mods as well. So, in another year or two, the uh, the more advanced Lua mods uh, will be usable on the stable build. For now, I'm doing, uh, what do you call it? Um, I'm doing the uh, development builds. Whoop, we're going to walk around the dragon. Yes. Walk around the dragon. No problem. We don't want to fight the dragon right now. That would be a pain. Okay. We're now up and around. Good. Uh, when she said go to Ghost Gate, I, I totally forgot that I was supposed to go down south. Like, I don't know why I thought Ghost Gate was up north, but geez, did I uh, go in all the wrong directions. This is fine. This is A-OK. -okay. So uh, we went the wrong way a bunch. We got a bunch of kills done. Got a bunch of uh, meat. All kinds of good stuff. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, too much coffee. Yes, yes, of course, too much coffee. Why not? We're killing it. I think Kogarun is up north. Which is like the sixth house stronghold. Don't be silly. It's, uh, yeah, it's just one cup. Exactly. Ju ju just one cup. Come on. Which way are we going? Up this way. Yeah, we have to go down and around. There, there's no way for us to climb that. What a shame. I see some Ashlanders down there, but I'm going to ignore it. There's a big fat cat that's staring at me. He, he's looking up at me like, let me out of the room. I want to go explore. How do you keep it hot? I don't. I mean, I could bring a hot plate in here. But, um... I'm fine with uh, cooler cold coffee. Starts hot, cools off. Oh, well. And it's always black coffee. I have, um... I only ask for cream and sugar in restaurants because I don't trust the, them to have good coffee. And cream and sugar can, um can mask disappointment. Yes. Give me a sec. Gotta help the cat out. Doing a couple more things. Hold on a second. Oh, ho. Okay. So... Almost done. Okay. So, give me a sec. I have to mess with something behind the screen. I'm still here. Just messing with things.
Trying to turn the fan on. It's getting too hot in here. Oof. Nice and cool outside, but, uh, alas, that, uh, that cool air ain't making it in here fast enough, so I just turned the, uh, Turn the fan, open the window, turn the fan on. That should do it. Okay, let's see if everything's good. Yeah, everything's great. Awesome. We got scamplings to fight. Here it comes. Grimora time. Oh, it, yeah, everyone's gonna get overwhelmed. This is unfortunate. Now you're going to oh, this is too yep. Damn it. You're not even trying. This is unfortunate. You should run. I'm gonna believe. Okay, which souls did we trap? Uh b -b 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 hungerlings. Ungerling. Wow. Holy crap. Yeah. Yeah. This is pretty good. We got one grand soul gem left, but the like the greater soul gems have been filled too. Uh-huh. Why not put an AC? I've got one. I just don't need it because it's really freaking cold outside. ACs only have so much use in them before they have to be uh, repaired or replaced. By not using one, um, by, by relying on a, a cheap, cheap fan when I really don't need AC is, um, what do you call it, uh, more economical. This house is not, uh, this house isn't suitable for, uh, central air. So, um, we have window, uh, AC units that we use in the, um, what do you call it, um, in the summer times. But during winter, or, uh, early spring, it's better to just stick a fan in the window. Die. One of us Scoundrel. will die here, and it won't be me. Do, do, do. The power bill isn't too much of a problem. It's uh, the idea that when you put wear on parts, those uh, parts will be due for replacement. So uh, use the cheapy stuff when the cheapy stuff is warranted and go for the more expensive stuff when it, um, you know, again, when it's warranted. Do, 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 do. Yeah, uh, like you said, the opposite is true for cars. Underuse them and the uh, seals dry out. Correct. Absolutely. They want to place window AC to central AC? I mean, the in laws have central AC. And I'm sure whatever the next place we live in will probably have central AC. Okay. Um. Mm, let me see here. Have I seen New California? I've seen it. Played around with it a little bit. Like, New California is old. Yep. Anyway. Point is that we have short-term solutions for all the problems. You know, fan not cutting it anymore because, like, it's, it's too hot in here, but it's really cold outside, so we're just pulling the cold air in. And, um, in the event it gets too hot outside, we put the air, run the air conditioner instead. Yep. Do, 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 do. Central, yeah, we, we have central heat. 
basically all the houses around here have furnaces because of, um, what do you call it? Um, and it, it gets really snowy in winter. So, you know, below freezing. Okay. We have to head down south now, which is what we were supposed to do to begin with and kind of didn't. Which way to Ghostgate? That's Aldrune. Margan. Hmm. I guess we'll go across this way then. Yes. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Yes, it is going to be a while before I uh, play any more Fallout 3 New Vegas. Correct. Mm hmm. We go down to South Park to get certain, um, what do you call it, uh, to go to certain shops on occasion. Will I be playing, yes, I'll be playing, Dra when Dragon's Dogma 2 comes out, eventually I'll be playing Dragon's Dogma 1, and everyone will be like, why are you playing 1 when 2 is out? That's what's going to happen. And then I'll get around to 2 afterward. But uh, I do not intend to be the first to try, first to buy. I'm not going to be a trendsetter. I'm not going to be uh, there on the cutting edge. When people want my opinion of whether or not to buy Dragon's Dogma 2, I just shrug and go, haven't played it yet. That's what's going to happen. That's that's the, the kind of quality content you can expect from this channel. All right, what do we got? Ba -ba -bum. Yep. This so uh, why play Fallout 4 when 76 is out? Why would you ask a question like that? <laughs> LOL. Holy fuck. You've lost now you're oh, my block just increased. Damn. Yes. Mm hmm. Yes. I play Fallout 76 when Starfield's out because Starfield and Fallout 76 aren't the same franchise, obviously. The real question is why play um, Star Citizen when Starfield is out? <laughs> oh, I couldn't say that one with a straight face. Holy fuck. Okay, we're going. What's my opinion on the Yuzu situation? Oof, oof, zoo. O, O, F, Z, O, O. Well, hold on a second. And let me, let me give you the linksies, because I know I got one of those. Uh, copy, copy. And here you go. Skip, skip the first uh, couple minutes, but uh, I'll have a, uh, a nice YouTube uh, link for ya. Cop copy link. Uh, there, there you go. Uh, th there you go. Enjoy. Okay. That, that should give you what you need. Skip the first minute or two. Also check the pinned comment. The pinned comment is important. But that YouTube link should give you what you need. Okay. Hmm. Give me a sec. Hmm. It's so weird. I'm just looking at uh, that setup there, going, oh boy. Not next to there. Yeah. Okay. Scrib go. Kaboom. Mm -hmm. It's looking more and more like they could have fought the lawsuit, but they were sharing ROMs illegally. But uh, that's a whole different matter. Okay. Mm Your mudded Marwin footage a few weeks back. 
No, no, you should, uh, if you have the opportunity, uh, put that in the link spam channel on my Discord server so I can get at it later. I will inevitably forget if it's uh, not somewhere that gives me a notification because I am, I, I have the, the memory of a goldfish. Yep, it linked back to this stream. Let me double check. Because uh, I am... That's unfortunate. Let me try to fix it. Hold on, hold on. Let me... Uh, okay. Copy link as... And I'm going to test it. I'm going to test it. Make sure it actually works. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, I, I, I can see it right there. Um, as you can see, uh, right here, random yapping about, uh, Yuzu Switch emulator lawsuit and things. So, as you can see, uh, it's, it's exactly right. Uh, there, there you go. No problem. So, that, there it is. Uh, skip the first couple minutes, it's pointless, but, uh, yeah. Let's go. Here we go. Crunch that. That should do it. What else? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, there it's a bunch of letters and sometimes I get them wrong. We're going to Ghost Gate. Cat, Cat Boy Inception. Yes, it's true. It's true. I mean, uh... Uh, t tis what it is when it comes to, um, it, it, yeah, it's basically the same. Uh, there, there's no difference. Mm. Not even a bit. Well, hold on. One of You're us not will even die. trying. And it won't be me. Now, what were we saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, This way. This is pointless. Give in. Give in. You're not even trying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? Oh, my uh, weapon is invisible. The bug. You won't escape me that easily. Yeah, my weapon was invisible. That was funny. It's back now. Occasionally, if you attack and draw your weapon simultaneously, it kind of uh, makes the weapon invisible. Little bug. Okay. Close that. Distractions aplenty. Right. Mm hmm. Okay. Marwind insults. You're not even trying. You, you should run now. No one can match me. It's true though. It does sound like uh, something a uh, elementary school kid would say while gaming. You've lost this round. You've lost this round. You should run now. <laughs> You don't deserve to live. <laughs> maybe not. Ma ma maybe not. Uh, all right. This way. I hear them. Now I will whip you long enough. The savagery of today's youth. 
Mm hmm. Okay. We're good. We're good. On Skyrim, they'll mount your head on a wall. Something like that, yes. Hmm. Man. Okay. Wait. Damn. You can run this round. Right. Rat! Right. The large mouse has been defeated. You must now walk to Ghost Gate Temple. Alas. Um. Yeah, we're fine. The rivers will turn red. What's taking so long? Uh, I need what's... to be there in the next day and a half. Hurry up, would you? Damn! What's taking so long? Okay, fine, fine. What's taking so long? He's so, uh... There's someone watching. I can okay. tell. Yeah, someone's watching you. Got it. Okay. What do we got next? Mm -hmm. Cool. Let me let me double you you relate you uh got it. I'll uh I will check that out properly after the stream today. For sure. Uh, all right, so time time for corp uh not chorp corp monster which is true it's time for corp monster gotta be careful We're gonna be fighting some big old uh corpus beasts mm, that button we're going through. That's it. I see an ascended sleeper and a shock beetle. That thing's fast. You won't escape me that Damn. A blighted shock. I'm going to rest for an hour before we fight that ascended sleeper. Oh, lovely. Red Mountain's starting to feel like Red Mountain, ain't it? Oh, before. If we can sneak by, that would be best. Is his favorite armor set? Probably glass. I like glass a lot. Cliffy Racer. This is too easy. Now you're going to get it. No one can match me. You should run. No one can match her. Now you're going to get it. Run while you can. Damn. Now you're going to get it. Death Mountain Zone is full of nonsense. Coward? One of us will die. And it won't be me. Mm hmm. Blighted Cliff Racer. Ooh, Blight Spores. Gonna make poisons out of that. Alright, young lady. Get to your shrine. Why are you being stupid? You've lost this round. Well, we've arrived. Surprisingly enough. Here's your tip. Now leave me. I see. Oh, this is you are of no easy. more use to me. Be on your way. You have no more use to me. Thank you for your pride, Lord Vivek. I shall not doubt myself or my people or the gods and shall insist upon them and my ancient rights. Very good. You are of no more use to me. Be on your way. Goodbye. Uh-huh. Let me see here. Ahem. 
Yep, what do we got next? No one can challenge me. No one can challenge me. Run Good. While you can. You should run. He is defeated. The cliff racer has been stopped. Let's get out of here. This here and uh, okay, uh, we got rid of the bot or the person role playing as the bot. I timed them out for 68,000 seconds, which is, is equivalent to 24 hours. So, uh, I don't have anything against bots, it's just, um, um, I'd rather have my chat be empty then uh, be fake. <laughs> uh, okay. Seriously, though. Let's uh, get going. Mm-hmm. This so uh, Hello. Uh, advance me. No, nope, we gotta go to the mainland. We are not My ready. Are too sacred for anyone under the rank of curate. How wonderful! Perform your duties Welcome, and practice Outlander. your skills. You yeah. Okay. So seriously, we need to figure out. I don't think there's a temple in Sadrith Mora. We should go to Vos and see if we can get anything up there. Uh, but first things first. Let's head over to Molag Mar. Yes. Good, good. That guy was sneezing. Okay, well, we got uh, 24 hours of protection from this, uh, with this magic shield here. But yeah, yeah, we're going down south. We're going to Molagmar. Gonna be fighting all the creatures along this uh, crater here. I can't wait. Uh, let's see. Rooster Teeth has been officially shut down by Warner Brothers. Okay. Yep. Remember when they made uh, the Ruby Japanese cartoon? That one was actually pretty good. It's a shame Ruby ne was never really um, was never really able to be a good show. It had a lot of good ideas, but they kind of uh, didn't work. Uh, let's see here. The, the guy who created them just wanted to do uh, fight scenes. And so he left the actual writing of the show in the hands of two people who've never written a show before. Or really written anything before. At all. And that's a problem. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. I just need to save something, and we can go. Yeah, he just wanted to write fight scenes. We're gonna rest for two hours now that there was no lady yelling at us. Did my reputation go up? Let's find out. No. Wait, uh, Warner Brothers shutting down Monolith as well? Oh, wow. Man, that's some nostalgia that's, uh, yeah. But Warner Brothers wants to make a Harry Potter, um, live service. And, uh, that's their current thing there. Uh, yeah. Repair everything. Okay, so that's not shut down? Got it. Mm-hmm. We need water. 
What did I say? We got it. I'm going down south. They they want to do like uh, the we call Hogwarts Legacy, now. but they want it to be a live service. That that's their um, that's what they want to do. Yeah, they said like they want to leverage the talent that made Hogwarts Legacy, and have them do a live service. Okay. The wild Gwar has been defeated. Continue to battle the next hounds in the next area. We're gonna kill him. One shot. Oh, it was just a diseased Nyx hound. He wasn't like blighted or a mastiff or anything. Okay, that makes more sense. A Mario and Harry Potter mod. I don't think so, but that'd be pretty funny. Just stick uh, Hogwarts into Tamriel. With. <laughs> That'd be really funny, actually. Create some small level of, uh... You should immersion. Now. Lol. Okay. We're continuing down. We need to get to Margan. Uh, Margan? No, uh, Molagmar. Mars. Oh, Sauron might have a temple for us, come to think of it. I hadn't thought about that. We might be able to check out the Sauron temple. Anything could happen. Lefrey, sir! You should run. Good work, Fargoth. Mm -hmm. The quadruple A game. Hey, remember uh, that pirate game that Ubisoft made because they didn't want to lose out on their tax credits? Uh, Jace. Mm hmm. Oh, this is too easy. Yeah, they would have had to pay back all of like the tax write-offs they had. No one can challenge me. Skull and bones or whatever. It's a quadruple A game. Promise. Okay. Oh, this is too easy. Do it, Fargoth. Yes, Fargoth destroyed the Kigaudi. As it should be. Meat. Forever. Funny how they believed uh, they should be taken seriously. Yeah. Obviously. Boop. Okay. No one can challenge me. Mm-hmm. The, the multi-billion dollar corporation hasn't lied to you before. <laughs> yes. Well, let me pull up the uh, the Nintendo fan thing. Keep in mind, I have a Nintendo Switch right here. I have a ton of Switch games. But, uh, like, currently Nintendo fans are uh, swarming all over the internet. Uh, looking, uh, lo looking like this right now. You know what I mean? They're, uh, they're, they're looking this way. Um, uh, don't get me wrong, like, uh, Microsoft and Sony fans were looking this way, like, a few, uh, a couple months ago, right? Like, Microsoft and Sony fans were doing the exact same pose, but it's Nintendo fans' turn to do this. I'm just saying. Ahem. <clears throat> You said the Sauron Temple has no quests? Well, I'm gonna go to the Sauron Temple anyway, and we're gonna find out. It'll be fun. Hmm. Okay. Yep. We 
going down this way. Whoop. Oh, I got hit in the back by a cliffy racer. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Stop bullying the poor multi-billion dollar corporations. <laughs> All right. Let me see here. Du, 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 du. Yep. Well, in any case, we'll pay a visit regardless and uh, determine that for ourselves. I expect uh, there to be no quests, but it's more or less on the way to Molagmar anyway. Not that big a deal. What we have to be careful about is the wyvern up there. It's the red cliffy racer. Red cliffy racers are more powerful than you could ever imagine. Not really. They just shoot fireballs. Um... Cliffy R Fireball. Okay. Let's go. Mm, we are going to first and foremost summon forth uh, a Frost Atronuck. Okay. Here we go. Frost Atronuck's up. Flame Atronuck's up. And we're going to try to trap its soul. Wait. Nope, it's too far away. It's too far away. This is going to be fun. You don't deserve to live. No one can challenge. I can't get up to it. This is unfortunate. Where's uh levitate? We need to levitate. Okay, we're close enough to it now. Soul Trap. Wait. I caught it, finally. I caught it, finally. It, its hitbox is in such a weird spot. Run while you can. Run while you can. This is so funny. All right, we've caught its soul. Where did its soul go, I wonder? Its soul went into a grand gym. Excellent. That's what I'm talking about. We captured the wyvern's soul. Okay. Excuse me, you aren't the dragonborn. You can't capture a wyvern's soul. Uh, that lore was made later. This is... Morrow Win 2, the sequeling. Yes. Okay. Onwards and sideways. Puffy. Yeah, until the disease cliff racer started showing up, we didn't have a whole lot in terms of cliff racer fighting. But now there are plumes everywhere. Gotcha. Yep. Morrowind 2 is actually a real mod that you can look up. We're not using it, but... Um, yeah. Do, 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 do. Let's see here. Ba, ba, ba. Um, give me a sec. Shenanigans. Okay. But yeah, we're good. Weird, weird things. But yeah, Rooster Teeth shut down. That is so strange. Like, 
I, I had no idea. Um, to think that they survived all that uh, terrible, terrible ruby. I, and I thought that's what was holding the studio up to begin with, you know? I thought if uh, the bad ruby couldn't kill them, nothing could, but it turns out... Run while you can! It was up to Warner Brothers to shudder them. I guess they were running at a deficit or something? It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. you think they would just keep bringing in money, but I guess not. Oh, this is too easy! That is a blighted cl cliff racer. Yes, blighted. Give me those fire pedals. That's an ash netch. If we can get the ash netch leather, that would be best. Pretty high up, though. Oh, there we go. Too easy. No one All right, the ash netch has been defeated. Give me your leather. Yes. Fortify intelligence. That's some good stuff right there. Hell yeah. We got a shock to fight, but that's no big deal. We just rest for an hour. We're getting very close to water, so I can refill my water skins. Beetles don't deserve to live. Ladybugs are just the cutest beetles, that's all. Uh, what do we got? Okay, drink the water. Refresh. Good, now I just need to eat something. Should be easy. We've got uh, roots. Return to your roots. Mm-hmm. There's another uh, wyvern there, but I don't have any more grand soul gems to capture its soul with, so I'm just going to leave. Sauron is down over the hill here, so we got to go deal with that. All kinds of monsters. Oh no. Fargoth is fighting the Cliffy Racer. I believe in his powers. He has surpassed the Cliff Racer. See him and his Bone Walker up there fighting it? That is amazing. He's paralyzed it. Incredible. Good work, Fargoth. I do uh, want to do more Pokemon Crystal Clear tomorrow, if I can. You're talking about Pokédex shenanigans. Fight, I've I've beaten three out of the Elite Four, but got my ass handed to me on the fourth one. And the Elite Four is a gauntlet. You have to defeat all of them in order. And if you lose to even one of them, you have to start over again. So we're going to have to train up some more before we can uh, actually beat them. <clears throat> Useless spells from enemy spell lists. Interesting. That would be pretty cool. Okay, we got a harpy to fight. Going to summon a golden saint right off the bat. And a Dramora. There we go. Harpy is dead. Excellent. Have you ever been proposed or been working on a video on a gaming or story project? Yes, I have. I have worked on gaming story projects before. I cannot talk about them. I can tell you that I got my start back in the uh, text-based era of MUDs, writing for them. But uh, I uh, I will take some of the projects I work to to my grave. No one will know. Do I consider myself a game dev? No, not even a bit. But uh, work I have done has ended up in games. I will say that. Okay. I'm 
More recently, yes, NDA. Absolutely. You don't deserve to live. Oop. You said uh, Power World ca uh, hype came and went pretty quick. Yeah, but um, it's an early access game. I mean, Valheim uh, hype came and went pretty quick too. That's ju it's just the way it is with early access games. People forget. People forget that it's um, it's an indie game with no marketing behind it. Basically, you know, it's uh, it, it's got uh, it's got double A funding now, uh, not triple A funding, but double A funding. Have I done any Daggerfall mods? No, no, I ha I haven't modded Daggerfall. As far as modding goes, I've uh, I I've had chit chats with the developers of uh, several. Um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, several Morrowind and Skyrim projects, but um, what do you call it? Um, as far as like me actively working on mods, no, no. The only uh, I've had several chats with the Tamriel Rebuilt team, but I've never contributed anything that's made it in game or anything like that. We, we, we just we just talk. That's all. And I'm absolutely willing to showcase their stuff, which is what I've done on several live streams. I'm I'm super happy the uh, like I got to showcase the Firewatch changes, as well as the uh, Androthen changes. Like th those are things that I'm super happy I got to like do a full sit down stream with the developers on. Um, but what do you call it? No, I haven't. Uh, I haven't published any mods myself since um well, let's let's be honest here um doom quake and half-life and even those uh were uh what do you call it there were there were other people's projects that i helped on for the most part and or were exclusively for land parties in which case they weren't published at all so you know the land party mods I made were just used at the land parties and never made it online. Do, 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 do. The next tier update is going to be insane. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Hello there. I have seen the error of my ways. Your wisdom has guided me through this most disturbing time. Very good. Uh, what business calls you back to Suran? I need to know... Yes, Dagothar has awakened from Red Mountain. It's true. Let's go to the temple. We're going to the Suran temple. Pineapple on pizza. My wife likes pineapple on pizza. Therefore, much pizza I get comes with pineapple. But I tend to pick it off. It's not disgusting to me, but... Um... Like, I I don't particularly like the combination of tomato and pineapple. Uh, that said, get a deep dish pizza with barbecue sauce. And oh, hell yeah. Like, replace that tomato with barbecue sauce. And that that's good. Like, freaking love it. Pineapple jalapenos barbecue sauce, you bet. But not, not standard tomato sauce, no. Temple Warehouse. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. Okay. Ba -ba 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 Surat Temp. Hello there. How you doing? Uh, what spells you got? Cure companion diseases. I don't need those. Heavy burden on the enemies. Magic guard. Rapid regeneration. Magicka leech. I see, I see, I see. Fortify fatigue. Vivex mercy. Dire shenanigans. Spell making. Let's go with the fortify. F for fortify. Fortify health. No, just fortify health and fatigue. No attributes. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, that leads into the warehouse. Don't need to worry about that. I'm going to the actual temple now. 
Theron Temple. Hello, hello. Mm hmm. Okay. How wonderful. Welcome, Outlander. Uh, yes. Bells. Fuddle. What else? Vivex Mercy. I need I need a, a feather grate. Yeah. So what's cool about the different spells is that they stack. So, for example, say you have feather, great, strong, and wild. If you look at my carry capacity, uh, 1030, right? Uh, whoops. Uh, it's called uh, feather 20. Hmm. Shouldn't matter too much. You're supposed to be great, strong. Yeah. 58. Ah, oh, well. Eh, not working the way I thought it would. Let's go grab shenanigans. Eh. It's supposed to be increasing that number, but it's not for some reason. Okay, Book of Dawn and Dusk ain't for me. And she doesn't have any duties. What a shame. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. Yeah, no duties for me. Well, moving on then. I'll be taking items from the supply chest and dropping them on the ground. Potion of rat poison. What? Uh, let's get blessing from Veloth. Thank you. And is that tribunal time? No, so unfortunate. I thought maybe we'd get a tribunal shrine here. That's Let's turn in for the night, citizen. Mm -hmm. Only dark business happens in dark hours. I know, but I'm actually going to travel. As is. You lock my door. I unlock the door with the power of um, open. Wait, it's, it's fifty, so. It just unlocks. Yes, that's the spell. Here we go. That's right. It just unlocks is a powerful spell indeed. We're going to Morgan? Mol Molagmar, not Morgan, Molagmar. The power of friendship. Happy-go-lucky friendship. Coward? Let's go. You can't escape me. Did you know that Cliff Racer couldn't escape him? All right, let's uh, repair our stuff because we can. Repair prongs. Good. All right. I haven't seen any uh, good Elder Scrolls dishes at all. Their their version of sweet rolls isn't very good compared to the kinds you can have in real life. Um, that's why when I see an Elder Scrolls recipe book advertised, I'm like, really? Really? It's like you've never made confections yourself. Oh boy. Oh, get ready. Die. Die. I'll see you dead. Fargoth paralyzed him. <laughs> I'm paralyzed. It'll be up to Fargoth to kill him. Yeah, I'm getting my ass kicked. Wow, Fargoth paralyzed him again. That's funny. Oh, guy ran up to me. Careful with that friend. Sorry about that, friend. Uh, got money, silver, the uh, yeah, silver cuirass robe. That's all good stuff. We must turn in for the night. Maybe. Actually, we should cast it most innovative. That's the spell that will restore our stamina. Then we got a couple enemies to fight. Over here, only dark business happens in dark hours, as you know. We were told that by the guard, and it's true. We're just restoring our stamina and healing ourselves up. Okay. 
That should do it. I will kill you quickly. Will you now? This is going to be fun. I will kill you quickly. Nothing happened. Uh, Fargoth, we must adventure. Come with me. Damn right. Then, companion share. I must share with Fargoth all the wonderful buckets and uh, things. You want these glass pitchers, don't you, Fargoth? As well as the knife, the fork, and the spoon. As you know, everyone loves the spoon. Okay, it's these heavy armors that are weighing me down. And it's fine, really. We just need to give them to Fargoth. We'll sell them when we arrive in Margan, but in the meantime, we've got a lot of junk to offload. Yes. That should be fine. Okay. Next enemy. It's about time I had some fun. Run while you can. Rag, he said. Rag. He paralyzed me. Okay. Good news, everybody. Dramora, Golden Saint. And Dispel. Aha. I may have accidentally uncast my stuff. Wait, what? I have no mana left. Oof. Damn it, Fargoth. Okay, we need uh, stamina. Uh, ma magica. Yep. One, two. Also, one, two. This should be fine. Good. Ah! I'm going to enjoy this. No, you're not. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Damn right. Victory is mine. Okay. Madness. He had money. He had a Curious of Quicksilver. Things I don't care about a whole lot. We're going to rest for two hours before we continue our journey into the night. We are completely refreshed. Let's take a moment. Have a sippy cup. Pretty important. And make sure our stuff is repaired. Damn right our armor skill went up. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm just not a... A gigantic fan of Elder Scrolls, uh, oh, sorry, say, uh, fantasy game recipes. I'll, I'll phrase it like that. Okay. Especially when they're bound in a book that, uh, you know. How do I put this? Th there are, um,. There are games that actually go insane on their food details. And I appreciate those. But, um... Food was kind of an afterthought in the Elder Scrolls for the most part. Which is annoying because if you get thing, you get different mods, they add all kinds of really good recipes and stuff to the game. Different uh, desserts and such. All right. That is a uh, mole crab. Ah, cool. We got shell, resist shock, restore fatigue, and... Uh, oh, interesting. Both these resist shock. We can make a resist shock potion there. You said uh, Final Fantasy XIV's flavor text is funny a lot of the time. Yeah, absolutely. Some of Final Fantasy XIV's flavor text is due to... Um, what do you call it? Um, due to mistranslation, but a lot of it is just plain good. Yeah. Okay. 
do do Mm-hmm. What's next? Well, now you're going to get it. Damn right. We're almost to Molagmar. Been traveling through the night. Okay. Vegetable soup for infinite shield bash. Chase. But no, Skyrim has some really good, um, like, food related mods. Goodbye, Chitin Club. Who's gonna join the Creation Club? That that's what you should name your bound mace spell. Is the Creation Club. Bound uh weapons in general are very good for the early game. Eventually when you get around ebony level, you should probably not use them anymore, but that's a different matter. Hello. Yes, citizen. Uh yeah, I'm gonna Wait, who are you? What is it, friend? What is it? Nothing, apparently. Water. Yep. Cooking Skyrim should uh, add alchemy points. I don't know about that too much, but really there should be multiple. There should be a cooking skill. That's really what it comes down to. Okay. Let's go here, have a chit chat with the temple. It's temple, that's not a temple, that's somebody's house. It's late at night. Do you not have any more duties for me? Is that it? Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, you'll never hear the, the, the Chim Chim song anymore, and there's a reason for that. Because, uh, uh, Disney likes to copyright the sh claim the shit out of that. So any videos that contain it just immediately get copyright claimed. It's great. They have an iron grip on Mary Poppins and all Mary Poppins related materials. All right. Let me see here. Okay, get, give me a second. Um, I need to... Uh, Need to forward this to Strat Edgy. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, give, give me a second. Let me let me send that uh, uh, gold saucer. Oops. Okay, here's the gold saucer. Sending that over. There we go. Okay, that that should do it. So what I sent him was this. Uh, <clears throat> welcome to heaven. I'll answer any one question you have. Uh, how the fuck do I play Mojang? I don't know. That that's it. That's uh, that that's what I sent him. Yeah. Mojang. Uh, there you go. Uh, okay. That that's uh, what I sent him. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Speak with me again when you have gained the... Speak with me again when you have gained the rank of curate. I will have more duties for you then. Until then, you could ask Tuls Valen at the Aldrun Temple. Already did. Or Endrin Lethen at the High Fane in Vivek. Fair enough. We're going to Vivek, and if Vivek doesn't have what we need, we will immediately peel on off and go... Um, go to uh, the mainland. I've tried my best. Unethical AI is the future. No ethics for anyone. Only theft and problems. Okay. Let's go. This way. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, we're, we're heading to Vivek. Damn it, Cliff Racer. Damn it. Okay. Now you're going to get it. We got it. Perfect. There's going to be trouble. Trouble. Um when it comes to uh AI and uh like all it's gonna take is some like en enough rich influential people to to get made fun of and otherwise defamed using AI. The common oh, person, like your average voice actor, isn't going to be able to leverage um, anything, but eventually it's going to piss off the wrong person, and that's where things are going to go sideways. It's going to be great. I mean, there's nothing stopping someone from, like, building their own uh, very, very rudimentary AI uh, model at home. But, like, the big models are going to end up uh, coming under either uh, legislation or uh, some form of censorship, be it uh, legal bludgeoning via the court system or something else, you know? The fact is that... Uh, <laughs> Anger politicians equal AI Millennium Copyright Act. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay. One of us will die here, and it won't mm -hmm. be me. It won't be me. They. I cannot and will not uh, give people broad permission to. Uh, use my voice and or likeness for a AI training can't can't do it there there are reasons for that okay Doo -doo -doo. the government moment will misuse it of course government regulation is for ye not for me that, that that's how it works okay do, 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 do. Moving along. Got it. Okay. Uh, we're almost to Vivek. It's taking some time, but we're getting there. Mm-hmm. Yes. Let me check a couple more things here. Do, 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 do. All right. Hmm. Yes, we're, we're, we're still moving on. Hold on. Okay. I can go now. Thank you. Run while you can. Mm -hmm. Nothing uh, there. Diseased mud crabs aplenty. Do, do, do. No one can challenge e. me. Yes. Jordan Peterson already got upset about everything. Screaming obscenities at Almo. Yes, it's true. No one can challenge me. 
I mean, really, it just comes down to the fact that everything upsets Jordan Peterson. He's, um... No, he, he did he did scream obscenities at Elmo. You can't escape me. Elmo acknowledged that racism may exist. And to that, Jordan Peterson uh, uh, got extremely enraged. Yes. It's evident online. All you have to do is look at his posts. Yep. He uh he cries a lot. Like we we we've seen a lot of video evidence of Jordan Peterson crying and uh getting uh very upset over symbolism. In fact, someone else uh mentioned um uh, that they said he was drunk with symbolism and I think that's an apt description. Yes. Do, 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 do. Anyone can be a victim of racism, although some people will tell you otherwise. They wanna they wanna package it in um uh, what do you call it? Uh they wanna package it in some kind of uh uh weird box where it can only apply to certain people. But in reality, um Anyone who is discriminated against on basis of race is, in fact, being uh, a victim of racism. It's that simple. Anyone who tells you otherwise is probably parroting something they heard in school. That said... Um... Keep in mind that while I do believe white people can be the victim of racism, white people are also overly sensitive to it, at least online. Like, really, really, really fucking sensitive to it. Me, you know, I, I like to meme this shit up, right? I, I do this on occasion for funsies, you know. Okay. My goodness. Anyway. What else we got here? Yeah. What about it? I mean, like, Snowman's there said something I'm going to remove from the chat because, you know, like, that's that's getting a bit, uh, a little dicey for the U-tubes. But, um, you know. Want to wanna clean that uh, up a little bit. Do, do some tidying. This isn't the public square. Whoop. Here we go. Moving along. Will duck here, mm -hmm. And it won't be me. Ba -ba -ba. Okay. Yep, yep. Yeah, but then we get into that true STL meme. Which, uh, was super relevant. <laughs> uh, jeez. Uh, someone uh, mentioned it the other day. I don't know if I have it here, but, uh, it was pretty funny. Yeah, I think that, um... Do -do -do. Normal people don't discriminate against other people or advocate the discrimination, you know, 
Uh, like it's it's that simple. And so there's a bunch of fringe internet weirdos who want to argue over semantics about what discrimin I know what what uh, different forms of discrimination mean. But discriminating is discriminating, and uh, you know. Uh, generally, you just want to kind of treat other people with a certain level of respect. I, I know I tend to be a jerk online, but I believe, you know, being civil and not having big arguments on, on you know, in, in, in my chat. Just saying. So, uh, need to, need to prune things. Said I'm a jerk to everyone? Well, I, I'm not a jerk all the time, either. I just, I get irritated there. Yes. Du, 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 du. Is there any video game world I care about? I mean, I, I was thinking like, I like the Forgotten Realms, but Wizards of the Coast took care of that. So it's like, well, fuck. Um. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm sure I'll, I'll think of one. Sooner or later. Any day now. Okay, we're in the Telvani area. Weird shit there. But yeah, yeah, it's it's super interesting because there's a true STL meme, which I think really... I mean, yeah, Final Fantasy XIV is kind of nice, but uh, it's... that That's a bit different. Dark, dark sun, jeez. Well, Dark Sun got abandoned, not ruined. So, uh, it's kind of like how uh, I can say I like the Forgotten Realms, but then I say pre-spell plague, right? And then I set all the custom campaigns pre-spell plague <laughs> because D&D &D 4 ruined D&D. &D. Um, that cares about Power World. <laughs> Power World's fun, but it isn't exactly a bastion of world building. That'd be like saying I care about Dark Souls. Uh, jeez. Have you ever had a uh, long conversation with a Morrowind developer? No. I've had a long conversation. Uh, I I've sat down and I've uh, chatted with, uh, um, I I've been in, a, like, an extended Discord call with uh, Julian LaFay and Ted Peterson. Um, but as far as, like, modern, uh, Marwin developers, uh, uh, like, modern Elder Scrolls developers, no. No. Uh, I've had brief chats with a couple former Marwind and Skyrim developers, but those were brief. Hmm. Very, very short. Alright, let me see here. Hold on, I'm gonna do a search. I'm gonna go, uh, from me. Uh, it looks like... Okay, from me, and then in, uh, okay, I'm skimming down the list here, um, should have a particular meme to pull up in a second, because, um, uh, you know, it, it's relevant, kinda, sorta. And will always be relevant. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, I, f I found the, the meme. So, um, first we're going to delete Snowman's comment there. And then this is this meme is relevant uh, to what, uh, uh, what, what he was talking about there. <clears throat> so, uh, for anyone uh, who doesn't understand uh, what was going on with him, it's, it's, it's right there. Right? There you go. That that sums it up. <laughs> yes. Okay. There you go. All right, we're moving on. Um, at the end of the day, 
Uh, gameplay is what's most important for an interactive experience. That said, first-person, real-time gameplay like this isn't superior to, say, turn-based, third-person, isometric gameplay. People will argue otherwise, but they're just spouting their preferences as if it, they were facts, right? I prefer this type of gameplay, but that doesn't make it inherently superior. However, um, as you lower the fidelity um, of gameplay, that is to say, like the uh, you know the the moment to moment action inputs, you become more reliant on things like story to carry the experience. The, the less uh, active the player has to be at any given time, the less forgiving they're going to be um, of other aspects of the game not holding up. That's all I've got to say on the matter. All right. This should be the foreign quarter. We're going to go take a nap in the top of the foreign quarter. Then we're going to go out in the morning. Yes. Oh. Almost to the top. One more round and we'll be at the top. It's... 4 a.m. We just have to take a couple hours nap and sell a couple items that are weighing me down. We're going to the Fidget Fighters Guild. Fidgeters Guild, yes. The Fidgeters Guild. Hello. Stay as long as you like. It would be a privilege to talk with you. Yes. Hail, friend. I plan to hail all the way to bed for two hours. Th three hours. Yes. Good. I feel I can truly share with you without fear. I can share with you. Okay. Let's see about selling things. What's weighing me down? All oh, that armor. Okay. Hello, Mr. Smithy. Find someone else to bother. He doesn't like me very much. I'm going to tell him that it just works. Yeah, it just works is the spell. We got it. See you later, Jorda. No. This is good enough. 78. He likes us enough. Can sell this trash. He's only got like 800 gold, so I think uh, a few more rounds of this will be fine. Sell him some trashy weapons. And then we're going to ask for the rest of his money on the deal. Damn right. Mm hmm Yes, yes. Mm hmm Watch the skies mod. <laughs> nice. Okay. Honestly, Morrowind sounds like it'd be ripe for creepy pasta mods. I think. All right. Let's see what else we got. The full release of Final Fantasy XIV on Xbox is confirmed to arrive on March 21st. Cool. The game has been overrun by people playing the beta already, so. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, just noting that that's real. Well, Super Mario is one of those things where you don't take the series continuity seriously. You just enjoy each individual experience because, like, the developers don't care, and you shouldn't either. Wait, I need to go this way. I like Mario a lot, but, uh... There is no glue that holds the series together. And anyone looking for lore, the developers don't think about lore. They think about the, the actual experience you're having in the moment. Yeah. 
And as long as it's understood that that's not the focus, then everything's fine. It's when it becomes the focus um, in a particular, you know, couple games that things, uh, you know, that, that a change becomes uh, jarring. Yes. All right. Uh, bu 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 Surah Temp. Hello there. You got a quest from me? Speak with me again when you are a mm. Speak with me again when you are a curate in the temple. Until then, you may ask Thara Rothaloth in Molag Mar or Tuls mm. Valen at the Aldrun Temple. Hello there. You got duties for me? No. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. You got duties for me? No. I don't yeah, we gotta leave. Uh huh. No one settled anything. You've made statements, and uh, I've talked around them. <laughs> uh, okay, we are going to the Mages Guild in the Foreign Quarter. Very good. Very good. Onwards and sideways. Okay. Now, I understand the thrusts and parries of a uh, conversation. But I'm on the other side of the room playing Morrowind. <laughs> All right. Uh, AAA developers are interesting because um, it really depends on uh, the developer you're talking about. What you really mean to say is the publishers don't care about the lore at all, and they see their developers as interchangeable, as cogs in a machine that they can just swap out. Okay. Mm Onwards and sideways. This way. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you like uh, a video game where gameplay isn't supreme, is going to be a game that isn't much fun. It depends. It really depends, but yeah. Let's get out of here. Hello, sir. An honor to be sure. We are traveling to Old Ebenhart. Well, I'd be happy to talk. Here's a My fine one. Damn. Speak freely. Where's where's Fargoth? Where's Fargoth? There's Fargoth. Tell that to visual novels. Yeah, um, Enjoyed uh, another look at rewrite recently. That was pretty good. Was uh, let's see here. We got to go find a temple. We're gonna go look around. There should be a temple up here, maybe, possibly. Who knows? Whoop! Up and over. I enjoyed the original Call of Duty and Call of Duty Infinite. I don't know about those other Call of Duties. Uh, aren't very interesting to me. People talk about the modern warfares, but I don't care about the modern warfares. I like the science fictions. All right. Zombies, you say? Yeah, Left 4 Dead was a fun uh, game. I, I enjoyed that. I should probably play that again soon. Yep, yep. Come by flowers. Oh, boy. Let's have a look at this uh, temple area here. See if they've got any quests for me. Grab these as well. Hmm. Wait, what? Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Telltale games? I mean, Tales from the Borderlands is some of the best Borderlands you're going to get. Let me see here. You flatter me with your attention, Outlander. Uh, hold on. St. Maris, sure. Lothus, Felms, Alad Arador, Delin, and Narivar. Impressive. These clothes suit you well. I'm looking for duties. Not really to. Whoops. Okay, hello there. Count only the happy hours. Cannot count only the happy hours, yes. Hello. If there is anything I can do, I am humbly at your service. Nothing. Uh huh. Nothing there. Going down this way. See if it leads anywhere. Count only the happy hours. Oh, wow. Spirits. Crazy. Hmm. Nope, don't need that. We're done. We're getting out of here. This area feels odd. Oh, it loops back around. Okay, cool. Greetings. It's not often I find such good company. Please speak, Dumner. I I'm a Dumner? What? May you find me worthy of your attention. He called me a Dumner. That's special. Hello there. I see this land suits you. We welcome you freely, Outlander. I was trying to look at your dialogue topics, but I don't see a whole lot. No, nothing I need to do here. Let's get out. Hmm. I am a dumbner. I wasn't expecting that. Mm hmm. Let me see here. You're asking about uh, Telltale. Okay, so. As far as, uh, hold on. Ba, 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 ba. So if we pull up Michael Kirkbride, looks like he's worked on The Walking Dead, Batman Enemy Within, and Minecraft Story Mode after, you know, Marwind and Oblivion. So, uh... Yeah, you should, you should try Minecraft Story Mode, I guess. <laughs> Let's get out of here. You know, it's interesting. I know absolutely nothing about Immortals of Avarum here. Even though he worked on that in 2023. Yeah. Okay. Do, do, do. Scam Home of the Nords is uh, over here. This is where we'll find the Reach in Karth Western. But we're currently over here in the area near Old Ebonheart. Yep. Okay. Do, 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 do. We gotta go. You'll give Immortals a try? Cool. Tell me about it. I, uh, I've never played. Here we go. We're gonna kill the Velk. Getting that nectar. Fight, coward! Velk is defeated. Its nectar sack is mine. That is considered poaching, by the way. It is illegal. But there's no one here to complain about it. Mm-hmm. Yes. 
Skyrim Home of the Nords lore is inspired by uh, Elder Scrolls 3's Nord lore. Correct. Mm-hmm. George R. Martin doing the lore for Elden Ring. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, it's true, but uh, also... Um, not super relevant. Okay. Forager! We believe in you, far goth. The furthest goth. Mm-hmm. Camriel's history being united under one banner? Yes. But the whole point of Daggerfall is they're straight up saying that despite being under the same empire, uh, the different provinces are fighting amongst themselves. Or sorry, the, 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 the provinces are undergoing civil war and um, they're ignoring like decrees by the empire. And because the kingdoms are in such a state of revolt, the Imperial Legion really can't do much about it due to the sheer number of internal conflicts going on all at once. Da, 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 da. Okay. At the end of the day, not every... Uh, element can be um, can be represented in game. You can't have a true simulation. You can only have a certain number of elements there. What elements you choose to be important are um, a different matter altogether. Do, 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 do. Too big to succeed? Uh, yes. Too big to fail memes. Who is this over here? Hello, sir? Oh, he's just sitting in front of the mine. We've already been here before. Fargoth is on his way! That's why Elder Scrolls is prime target for grand strategy. True. I mean, Elder Kings was tremendously fun when I played it. I'd say it's the most realized version of Tamriel in that sense. Yep. Wait, what's attacking me? Bug! Those Yagrebs. Yeah, Restore health. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. You mean that conquering indigenous peoples, they will revolt? Hello there. May you find me worthy of your attention. How strange. These structures seem to be emanating a vapor without any kind of liquid to draw from. I see. I see. Mm-hmm. Ba -ba -ba. Rada Al Saron. Yes. Okay. The werewolves and vampires are working together. Oh no. And then Rada Al Saron going, I hate mortals. I hate them so much. We need to be able to control the world so that those mortals don't cause us trouble. All right. Uh, what do we got? Need to do this. Are, are we, is it fatigue? It's hunger. We need to eat. Uh, here we go. Oh. 
Ba -ba -ba -ba. Just going to the edge of the world. Should be fine, really. No problems. Any opinions on Tekken 8? I haven't played a whole lot of Tekken in general. I'm not a fighting game player for the most part. I enjoyed Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, but then when it came around to the Street Fighter Alphas and the, the Third Strike and stuff, I'm just like, no no thanks. I, I've, I've played enough Street Fighters. Um, I also liked Mortal Kombat Trilogy. That was a fun game. It's a shame they never made a fourth Mortal Kombat game. Anyway, um, <clears throat> other than that... Uh, do, 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 grab some flowers. Looking for a nearby town or village or anything. I guess we should go down over here and see what's in this direction. Get some more temple quests done, maybe. Mm-hmm. You should run now. Right. Play Fighter, that was fun. Also, War Gods. Uh, Virtua Fighter. Hell yeah. Uh, not the original, I mean. Um, Virtual On. The, the one with the robots. What about Techromancer for the Dreamcast? Those are some fun games. I'm not good at any of them, but I enjoyed them. Yeah. Okay. Fargoth is powerful. That's all we need to know. We have to occasionally hit him with a calm humanoid if he uh, gets uppity, but otherwise everything's fine. Oh, this is too easy. Yes. Mind control. What's that? No one can challenge me. Do that. Bam. What else? This is going to be fun. Damn right, getting those Velk nectar sacks. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me close a couple windows. Stuff running in the background I need to go check on. Hold on. Alright. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Mm -hmm. Not that way. Need to figure out where the nearest Vool. I think it's up in, in Vool. I'm trying to find a specific uh, temple. And it's not quite what I'm looking for. Uh, yes, I, I played Super Smash Brothers for the Nintendo 64. It was pretty fun. I remember spamming, uh, Pika, and it just kept like lightning bolts kept coming down, oh, and uh, yeah, it was it was quite uh, quite quite the experience. Yes, absolutely. I I, I did enjoy, it. but if you want a real game like. Uh, it, like, if you like the Super Smash Brothers kind of party experience, but you want a game that really takes it to the next level, uh, try Power Stone 2. That's a good game. Don't know anything about that Ultimate, even though I have a Nintendo Switch and, like, a billion Nintendo Switch games. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't, I've never played Ultimate, no. I'm talking about the, uh, the Nintendo 64 Smash Brothers, but no, Power Stone 2. That that's that is the the cartoony arcadey um, fi fighter game uh, that I recommend. It's uh, it's really fun. It's it's a party game. Glorious. You flatter me with your attention, Outlander. Uh, yes, I'm I'm here in Vool, and I'd like to uh, 
have a chit chat with you, sir. You got any duties for me? Count no. only the happy hours, adept. Can't, can't count only the happy hours. That's why I'm trying to figure out uh, what's going on with. Uh, no, it doesn't look like you have anything for me. What a shame. I was hoping to be. Uh, it looks like we'll have to go back to uh, the big old bridge to get some temple quests done, I think. I don't see anyone down Why here who I wants. What's he done for me lately? Damn. That's right. It's not what have you done, like save the world. It's what have you done for me lately. Hmm. That's true. Count only the happy hours, adept. I'm trying. I'm trying to count all the happy hours, but the, the there are no there are no duties here, so. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're gonna head down south now. Yep. We're going south. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Dune game where they're actively uh, retconning stuff and taking place in an alternate universe where religion isn't uh, very important. Oh, this is too easy. Because uh, that's what I heard about. Yeah, the the the, the upcoming right. Dune game is going to be taking place in an alternate history with a de-emphasis on religion, according to a couple articles. Isn't that great? Okay. Yeah. This way. I mean, the uh, anti-AI like is is at a religious level in Dune because back in like 4,000 AD, uh, the world was actually controlled by uh, thinking machines. Which they um, they they overthrew, and uh, since then it's been uh, like they will start a uh, a crusade if they think anyone's uh, developing AI, even though they're developing AI on X, but uh, no one wants to talk about X uh, because that uh, that's on the like outer regions. Oh boy. What do the Fremen eat? These little mice. They're, they're these little mice that uh, reproduce at a prodigious rate. And they uh, live under the desert sands. And the Fremen, uh, Fremen cook and eat them. Yes. Do, 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 do. She's a they also cook... Uh, they, sorry, they also grow some plants, on, like in their water repositories. But that's a different matter. Mm -hmm. People don't want to talk about X because they make neat toys. Yes. Yes, indeedy. Okay. Well, I don't remember there being any temple quests here. Yes, citizen. Hello, Sitzen. I am blessed to be at your school. I'm leaving. Roa Deer sucks. I mean, it's just I don't see a temple near here, so. I know there are temple like facilities, but pretty sure I can't get any mainline temple quests here in Roa Deer, so let me jump. Fargoth will appear. Give Fargoth enough time, he shall appear. They do suit me well. Yes, you can see Fargoth. There we go. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Jeez. Remember when uh, Todd Howard was like, "You should be, uh, you should be able to be the new Count of Kavach." That uh, that would have been interesting. Kinda, sorta. Okay. 
We're gonna go to the bridge. Yeah, we're going to the bridge. Temple domes. Yeah, they wanted to put you on the Elder Council and have politics and stuff, but... Uh, it said Kavatri built an alright quest line. No, I'm talking about uh, Todd Howard's original intention was going to be that you became uh, Count of Kavach and got to be on the Elder Council and had politics like that. But that never uh, materialized because they had to they had to scrap it along with the city of such. You know, other things. Who wants to do a bunch of paperwork? Exactly. That's why you should never be the head of any guild whatsoever. Why, why letting you become the leader of anything is a mistake because the moment you do they have to they have to basically not lock you up officially but uh, they, they have to keep you in town away from danger where you can uh, you know fill out paperwork all right let's go to the temple you walk Bella's path that is good. Welcome. It is good. Well, this is good. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. There are, there are probably temple quests here. Uh, but let's let's head out for now. We'll come back to this bridge later. We're going to go north to Androthen. Yes. Promote you out of your useful role. Correct. That's why, um, you know, you have those former heroes who become kings, like, uh, what, what the fuck was his name? Lord of Neverwinter, um, in, in the, um, in the era of Neverwinter Nights. He was a, a former hero, but he, uh, he had to kind of, um, like, he couldn't go adventuring, couldn't go save the world from the evil lizard men because he was, uh, you know, otherwise indisposed. Mm hmm. Fortify intelligence is fine. Yep, you get your own castle in the mini DLC. Yeah, that, that is pretty funny. We're just going to drop everything here for now. That way, if the chest resets itself, we'll have the loot. Mm hmm. Hello there. I don't know where to begin. It is such an honor to meet you. Oh, uh, yes. I need to transport myself away. Oh, oh no! no. That didn't happen. That didn't happen at all. Ho, 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 ho. Okay. Okay. Uh... <laughs> I went to talk to her and accidentally picked up a thing. There we go. Don't worry about it. I, I may have uh, just said, no, no, that didn't happen. Oh, ho, ho. Okay. So! Don't accidentally pick up items. Right. I'd be happy to talk. My pleasure, really. Hmm. My pleasure would be to... Give me ash yams! Sorry. Uh, coat of flowers lets you levitate. They also drain your personality and intelligence. Don't trust the coda. Cork brawl brutes are nice. What else? Scamp skin is restore strength. I need daedra skin. Doesn't matter. Uh, 21. Damn right. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Ah, ah, ah. Ba, ba, ba. Hmm, 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 hmm. 
Yes. There we go. Hello there. I have a feeling that you and I are about to become very close. Mm hmm. Right. So. Oh, that's Mage's Guild duties. I don't think so. I was hoping you'd be a travel NPC. I was hoping there'd be any travel NPCs around here, but there aren't any. And that is sad. So, apparently, um, the souls he's collected. What? Yeah, he's frightening. He's uh, a scary, scary wood elf. Oh, wonderful. Welcome, Outlander. I have a feeling you and I are about to become very close. You have my blessings, Outlander. Hello there. Take me to Androthen. Thank goodness. Good friend, this is an honor. Nah, I see. Um, of course, Vivek isn't a good guy. We're going to treat him like he is because we are a tribunal worshipping fanatic. But in reality, no, he's a terrible person. Let's go. Uh, but you bring good fortune with Aren't you. most people who obtain wealth and power terrible people? Okay. Let me see here. Hello there. I don't know where to begin. It is such an honor to meet you. Let me see. He's treated like a good boy in uh, Elder Scrolls Online. Okay. So, more temple times. Are you um, here to serve the temple by performing duties, my child? Uh, or have yes. you come for something else? No, no, no. We're going to be performing duties in just a second. I have to hit some buttons real quick. There's shenanigans everywhere. I just need to deal with a few of those. Let's see. Okay. I think we are good to go. Uh, duties. I need you to go on a pilgrimage to the Shrine of Forgiveness. Your recent actions make me doubt the sincerity of your devotion, Adept. Before I give you any more duties, I need you to make a pilgrimage. Uh, travel to the Monastery of St. Alador. Where is it? Uh, cliffs north of Menon. It's uh, southwest of Androthen. Uh, the Silt Strider can take you there. Cool. All right. That's not a problem. Not a problem. Let's see. Um... Da, 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 da. Nobody cares about you getting attacked by hunger cliff racers. I have a uh, a loadout where um, guards will protect you if you're in range of a town. Um. So no, the cliff racers. Uh, you can you can run to a town and the cliff racers will get attacked and killed by the guards. It's true. Yep. Theoretically, Vivek has uh, done a lot of good deeds and has actually rewritten the, um, what do you call it? Re rewritten history a few times. He's good at that. Mm hmm. Yep. <clears throat> yep. We're going up this way. Should be a silt strider around here somewhere. Mm hmm. I mean, Vivek has done a lot of uh, questionable stuff. I should probably wash up before heading home. Okay, take me over to. Why walk when you can ride? I, I I plan to walk to Manon. Thank you. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. Maybe later. Okay. Trying to forgiveness. It is 
Yes, uh, at the monastery. Monastery follows the examples. Yes, uh, north of Manan. Got it. So the monastery will be overlooking the cliffs to the north. I can see it from here. I've been there before. I just didn't have a quest to take a pilgrimage there. So I'm doing the pilgrimage right now. Forgiveness time. I've said this, this before, but canon is a uh, social contract between you and the uh, creator of the work. The best part is when other people buy into it and you don't. Then a bunch of arguments happen and none of it has any meaning. It's that That's just the best is having a bunch of people arguing over something that has no meaning. Yep, yep. Hmm. Uh -huh. Well, the Aedra don't allow or prohibit anything. They are more or less dead gods that uh, only manifest when people's faith are really strong enough to make something happen. Yes. Goody bang bang. Hmm. We are punished by the gods. The wind is our suffering. The wind is our suffering. Monastery here. Who do I need to talk to? I need to make a pilgrimage here. Yes. Uh, Saint, uh, that blessing is not enough. That is not enough. Okay. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you say it's only really pertinent in the Elder Scrolls where a player feels like their interpretation of the story is... Yeah, but it, at the end of the day, um, you wouldn't call mainline Elder Scrolls intellectually demanding. Certainly not. Holy crap. Um... It is funny, though, to see people argue about it. Yes. Um, you said canon doesn't matter. None of it's real is uh, definitely um, definitely something that people are uh, annoyed by. Um, but what it really comes down to is that the there are different minds behind different parts of the story and none of them really agree and i don't feel that a um an intellectual property rights holder um has any standing artistically speaking as in like uh, a, a company who wants my money um i don't necessarily place their interpretation above my own when it comes to playing my modded games. We were given not only a social contract, but a physical contract in the form, oh, sorry, a legal contract in the form of the creation kit user and license agreement. We can change our games how we want. The only problem is uh, arguing with other people online about it. In reality, I do think we should have a common base of knowledge to work off of, but I don't actually respect the storytelling of Tamriel anymore. At least in the direction it's gone. Yes. Uh, when Disney made the Star Wars expanded universe uh, not canon, jokes in them. So it's interesting because Kyle Katarn is canon to the Dark Forces series, but he's not canon to Rogue One. It's almost like different continuities, different stories, have their own canons. And there are people who will argue that there is a true canon. That one truth. But in reality, video games are not where, do not justify where your eternal soul goes. They are not important. Like, the, the, the actual canon is not religious canon. If someone deigns to put um, video game canon on that level, 
Um, I might just call them a fucking loser. I'm a hypocrite, too, you know. It's fine. Ba -ba 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 yep. In reality, what, what happens is a bunch of people disagree online, and we make, we, we make haha funny about it. That that's really what what happens. Yes. Okay. How may I help you, citizen? I'm trying to do my pilgrimage. I, I need to make a pilgrimage to the Shrine of Forgiveness. I think it's down here, but I can't be sure. Should be like over here. Uh, only the soul is ageless, is renewed through suffering. Hmm, there's blood here. I uh, shedding of worldly things. I don't know how to shed worldly things here, so, uh, yes. Greetings, I am at your service. Let's go this way. Nope, still not there. I know this is the right monastery. You said get naked, go take a bath. Lol. Mm-hmm. Yes, absolutely. Uh, go look at uh, you know Disco Elysium Pentiment. A uh, little, little further back, torments tides of Numenera. Further back than that, Planescape torment. You, we got, we got video games that are a method of storytelling. Uh, no single Elder Scrolls game is consistent with any others. Uh, uh, correct. Absolutely correct. Yep, not a single one is consistent with uh, the previous one. He's talking about your items. Oh boy, I can't wait to unequip everything. Said Disco Elysium developer uh, development studio went up in flames. Yes, correct. It's not the developers; it's the uh, the publisher that kind of dismantled everything, and so we just shrug and go, "Oh well." Uh, da -da 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 -da. Wait, my my wrists, my wrists. Hmm. Up quality content right here. Yes. Hmm. Yep, that ain't it. Okay. Mm big revenue, yes. Yes, indeedy. Mm hmm. We gotta go talk to other people. Let's talk to anyone outside. No one outside. Let's uh, do the blessing here. No. Go down to one HP? I don't think so. We're going to go talk to different people upstairs. We're going to go talk to people upstairs, yes. Um, upstairs. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. Damn right. Greetings. Have... I am at your service. Hello there, Dram. How you doing? Shrine of Forgiveness. <clears throat> the shrine mocks a spot where St. Elidor earned forgiveness of Amalexia. Go into the cavern it was built upon and receive the penitent's ring. Uh, then find the inscription. The penitent's ring is a relic... Uh, Lothrosetus had it last. Okay. This land suits you. So we do go into the basement. Yes. This one honors us. Please speak. Or to Tor? Probably. Definitely Hor to Tor. Vigor. I don't need anything there. We're fine. You flatter me with your attention, mm -hmm. Got the ring. We needed to go talk to the chief priest. That's what happened. We go up to talk to the priest, then we go downstairs. And regret all our decisions from that point onward. I'll be taking that salt rice, thanks. Get in here. 
That was really funny. Watching him run like that. Salt rice is good. No, I don't need those. Hellos a plenty. Eggs. That just it, just the, the eggs there. No, yeah, just the eggs there. We're good. Let's go. Mm, no, no, we're this way. Up, up, and away. We're back at the entrance again. We need to find the ring. Uh, that's an extravagant ring. We definitely can't deal with that. Hmm. Hello there. I see this land suits you. We welcome you freely, Outlander. Lauros, give me your ring. Table left nearby. Go ahead, Pilgrim, and take it. Table nearby. That's a stone. This isn't a table at all. I don't understand. It, this isn't a table. Okay, he's got to be talking about this table. These clothes suit you well. I see it. I see it. Calm humanoid, demoralized creature, damage health. Cool. So what we do is we go down to the uh, the marker and we use the ring, which will damage us. And that's why there's blood there. Okay. Quest marker. <laughs> Oh, that, that's funny. That, that's funny you say that. Oh, boy. Let's see. Thanks for keeping the Elder Scrolls uh, games alive for you. Awesome. It's, um, what do you call it? I've, I've been enjoying this. This has been a long-running uh, playthrough. The table is a lie. All right, we're going to equip the ring. And then we're going to... Uh, we're going to harm ourselves. This is a, a quest of self-harm by uh, using the ring. Wait, wait, it's gotta be all the way at the bottom, I'm pretty sure. Yes. The penitence ring. There we go, shedding of the worldly things. Pretty sure, yeah, we're supposed to be demoralized. We're supposed to be weakened. Only by shedding of the world list thing. Yes, it... Yep, yep. Uh, located in the cavern below the monastery can be accessed using the penitence ring. Got it. Oh, cool. Shrine of Forgiveness. Lady Mercy looked on Dalador, despite his evil deeds, offered him a path to forgiveness. And that is the Amulet of Shades. We're not, not grabbing that. We're not We're not looting that. That, 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 that is a... Uh, yeah, that's... That's an attempt to screw me over. Okay. Mm -hmm. Greetings. Destroy I the old one. So I mean, anything's possible with a new, uh, new custodians. To you. Here you go. A good luck. Uh, it only stings a little. Don't forget to return the ring to Dram once you're done. Got it. So we gotta go upstairs. Take it to Dram. Very important. No problems. Mm-hmm. He said Emil wouldn't do that. Will Emil be working at the company? Uh, will the company exist in its current form in the next 10 years? We don't know. Like, when they finish Elder Scrolls Six, if Elder Scrolls Six isn't, um, let's just say, popular uh, for any reason, uh, will Microsoft nuke everybody? Like, nuke the whole studio? You see what I'm saying? Like, th there's there's a lot of different possibilities for the future. And, uh, we have no idea what's gonna happen. So, it's all up in the air. You can make predictions all you want, but, uh, the reality is that at the drop of a hat, they may just completely reorganize the team and everything. It's entirely up to the, uh, them, the corporate owners at the Xbox stu uh not studios, Xbox, uh, what do you call it, uh, corporate, it's, it's the, the, the company, the, the, the publishing organization under Microsoft, is, yeah. Point is, 
they could very easily uh, screw with them. You said Skyrim, uh, Bethesda hasn't been a moneymaker since Skyrim. Kind of. Like, um, I think that paid mods are probably paying off for them right now. And I think that they're probably going to try to do the same with Starfield. And if it's not profitable after that, there'll be issues. This one honors us, please. Hello there. May you find me worthy of your attention. I finished the Shrine of Forgiveness. Yeah, here's the ring. I'll take that, Adept. Thank you. Uh, may you walk in the presence of our lords. Got it. So I've returned the ring. And uh, that's it. I've, I've read the Shrine of Forgiveness. So I think we just have to head on back now to Androthen and complete I'm the quest. I'm happy to make acquaintance. Yep, yep, yep. A lot of AAA studios nuking a ton of people. In January, the games industry had laid off more people than the games industry had in the entirety of the former year. In January. And then more layoffs happened after that. I'm serious. Okay, we're out of here. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Okay. Uh, boots. And then pauldrons. Yes. Perfect. Okay, let's get going. Onwards and sideways. Mm hmm. Mud crab! Stupid. Fight, coward! Stupid, you heard it. Stupid. It's interesting. Some people were laid off due to AI and immediately called back to work after they realized that AI wasn't going to do the jobs appropriately enough. Oh, that 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 happened in several companies. Um, jobs were uh, quote unquote axed, and people were told to leave, and then promptly rehired after the AI didn't work out. It depends on the the company, mind you, but it happened in at least three companies that I know about. All right. Let's go. We're heading back to the uh, Silt Strider. Take us back to Androthen. Yes. Give me a sec. Mm-hmm. Here we go. This way. I'm going to jump on the wall because I can. You said with increased pay. <laughs> I do know uh, one person who told them to fuck off. But, yeah. This way. Where would you like to go? Uh, Androthen, thank you. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. Same low price. We're going to the temple. Go take a nap. Get things in order. Drink. Fill water containers. No problem. Mm hmm. Do, 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 do. Mm hmm. This way. EA has decided to um, pull back on all licensed games that are not sports. Yes. 
meaning that uh, they will continue to develop in-house stuff, but they, they've they decided to drop all licensing from, like, external studios, uh, sorry, external uh, properties. Very interesting. All right. Do, 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 do. do you think Elder Scrolls benefits for inconsistencies? No, but I don't think it's as punished as people like myself make it out to be. There's a um, an obsessive compulsive need for things to be consistent. And I've def I definitely complain about it more than is probably warranted. How wonderful. Welcome, that Outlander. Now, being a hypocrite, that doesn't mean I'm going to stop. Far from it. It's just something that I can acknowledge and then, you know, circle back around to uh, continue to complain about. All right. Hello there. Are you here to serve the temple by performing duties, my child? Or have you come for something else? I, um, absolutely, uh, have, uh, what do you call it, uh, yeah, uh, I've completed the Shrine of Forgiveness. For, uh, congratulations, Adept, you have suffered as St. Elidor has. That completes the first half of your pilgrimage to fully emulate his path. You must now shed your worldly possessions. After he emerged from the caravans, he gave away his worldly things to right his wrongs. I must ask you make a donation uh, to support the charitable mission of the temple here in Androthan. How much gold does the temple require of me? Uh, you flaunt your wealth strutting about in excessive attire. Uh, I presume your coin purse jingles with the burden of fortune. I would expect no less than a sizable donation. Uh, you can deposit your contribution in the box. Mmm. 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 Yes. Okay. Temple donations. Uh, my coin purse jingles. You may has 4,000. Yes. Mm-hmm. Command and Conquer Generals. Yeah, it was all right. I uh, personally, like, feel that Command and Conquer, for me, uh, peaked at Tiberian Sun Firestorm. But that's just me. Hello there. Yep, yep. Uh, I told you put money in the box. Have you made your donation? Yes. Uh, I can clearly see you haven't made, uh, the contribution. Put your money in the box. But I did put my money in the box. I... Fargoth. Fargoth. I must give you this money. Yes. 4,000 drakes! This is a generous donation for someone of your means, Adept. Uh, on behalf of Androthan's poor, I thank you. Uh, this is a favorite of mine, the pig children. Okay, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. I'm gonna give him 10,000. Because I can. It's it's fine. I'm gonna exit. I'm gonna relaunch. Uh, give me a sec, give me a sec. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna, gonna be really fun. Yeah. I'm gonna give him 10,000. Seriously. It's like 4,000. Like for someone of your means. Yes. Yes, yes. I'm going to give him 10,000. Okay. Mm hmm. Ba ba ba. Fargoth! Fargoth. We, we go far. Uh. Right. So basically, you have to. Uh, uh, how much for uh, Amalexia's feet picks? Oh no. Oh no. Let's see. Yes. Okay, 10,000. 
then we have to not have any coins on us. Because he ha he'll know if we have coins, basically. Let me relieve you of the burden of your coin. <laughs> uh, here we go. Yes. I can clearly see you haven't made the contribution. Fuck you, I have. I absolutely have. You say I haven't. You're full of shit. I wonder if 10,000 is too much. I wonder if it breaks the quest. That'd be funny. Yeah, like, that's, that's funny. On. 10,000 same line, but I'm fine with that. I, I think 10,000 is appropriate. Take this book. It's, uh, so it, it, we have to ask again there. So, okay. Very good. Manyfold blessings. Yes. Yes, of course. Trying to the tribunal. He is a hard man, all right. You know, a hard man. All right. Advancement. Reco I'm a curate now. I did it. I'm now a curate in the temple. That means I can continue with the main uh, tribunal temple quest. All the different people who needed to talk to me when I was a curate can now talk to me. I can resume where I left off finally. It's what I set out to do. Pay to win. Pay to win. Damn right. Okay, thank you very much. Let's get going. Hell yeah. All right. Onwards and sideways. Okay. Let's do it. We're getting out of here. Wait, what time is it? It's 9 p.m. We're going to sleep. We'll be doing adventuring. Are you not wearing pants? Correct. You don't need pants for the victory dance. All right. Let's see. Not Where are we going? The gods. The wind yes. is our suffering. The wind is indeed our suffering. It's true. It's absolutely true. All right. Let's get going. We are going to rest for uh, eight hours, and then we'll get up in the morning and begin our adventures, question mark. Uh, let's go. Um. <clears throat> yes. Uh, don't see anything down here. Nope, we don't need to be down here. We can go other places. No problems. Um, we gotta go up to the top, back where the uh, quest giver was, and get the alm CV blessings, I think. Yeah, up, up to the top, get the alm CV blessings, and then we can begin travel. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, yes, everything is a dress or a unitard in uh, in Skyrim. It's true. They remove pants, and that makes me very sad. Um, Lady's Grace. Solosothasil. Whoops. Vex Mystery. Remember when uh, that one company was uh, lying and saying that they'd sell you a small plot of land... And declare you a lord or lady. Established titles, I believe it was called. It was illegal, by the way, um, to do in the country they were doing it in. Like, you couldn't sell land in uh, parcels that small. It's true. Yeah. It, it, was, uh, it was completely illegal. To, to sell land in that small a parcel. Furthermore, people were able to determine they didn't even own the land they were selling. Me? No. No, we're putting on our armor now. As as nice as as nice as the that memory was, we are equipping ourselves for war. I need my skirt. Where, where, where's my magic skirt? There's my magic skirt. That's better. All right. You'd think some, someone would have stopped them considering all the ads they put out. Well, that's just it. Nobody disputed it until later when the company got sued and uh, they started putting disclaimers and shit up. 
where you're basically buying a little piece of parchment, not an actual title. Okay. If you buy land, you want to be referred to as Lord? I mean, I could just start demanding people call me Lord anyway, but... Uh, and it would have as much force and effect. But, um, you know, uh, people are more likely to call me, uh, uh, like, cat maid and shit than they are to call me lord, that's for sure. Alright, we're going down this way. Do, 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 do. Tell people that lord is your pronoun. God, that would that would sound awful. Like a, a sentence where Lord is a pronoun would be awful. <laughs> oh my god. Meow. Yes. Mm-hmm. Do, do you play turn-based strategy games? Not really, no. Not a whole lot. I mean, obviously, I've got games like Disgaea Hour of Darkness that I will put up with any combat system in order to have more of. But, uh, you know, and Crusader Kings has um, some really good mods like Guardians of Azeroth and Elder Kings. But... Uh, it's, uh, those are more the exceptions than the rule. You know what I mean? Hmm. I don't recognize this area. Cat made lord. Jeez. Okay. Orange lichen. Jeez, there's a lot of alchemy ingredients to collect over here. Bumberries. Hmm. It's, um... People are basically given permission to call me whatever they want, provided it's uh, not disrespectful or a slur. Anything that, uh... You know. But uh, everything else I don't care a whole lot about. People uh, ask me for my, my pronouns, and um, the, the answer is, I don't really care. Doesn't bother me. I uh, consider myself a man, and I do not uh, need other people's approval on that point. I, I do not... Uh, I, I do not uh, crave the approval of others in such a way, but I also, you know, won't sit here and be insulted. So, is what it is. To beat us, or to free us. Mm hmm You said uh, you're never calling me anything other than Lord Zarek. Nice. Nice. But, uh, yeah, I think YouTube... Uh, um, if you're subscribed to my channel, will show up as uh, uh, he, him, they, them, I believe, because I couldn't just put any don't care. It wouldn't. It wouldn't let me put any don't care. It won't show anything to people who aren't subscribed, though, as far as I know. Um. <clears throat> Okay, so this this here da, 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 this is a house halalu town, so yeah. But seriously, if they had given me freedom to uh, put there, I I would I would say don't care. Yes. Uh did it make me or did I choose to? Uh someone was ranting about it, so uh, as a response to their rant, I uh, chose to put them in. Only because someone was rambling about how it was degeneracy in the end of our society. 
and so I was I, I put it in there for them specifically as a as a way to uh, vex them because you know I, I like I like making fun of people at times and that that's always a fun thing to do if it you'd be surprised at how many people are extremely offended by their presence so I lulled about it yes mm-hmm Yes. I'm already wearing fucking pink cat ears. I mean, come on. What, what are we talking about? <laughs> uh, <laughs> she'll refer to you as Squire. Mm, yes. No, no, no. Um, I remember the first person to get really offended. They saw me pa playing Pokemon Crystal Clear. And they saw the ability to uh, to choose none, like boy, girl, or none, right? And uh, at that point, I was just like, at that point where they got offended by that, I'm like, mmm, mmm, time to time to offend some people. Yes. <laughs> it is uh, pretty fucking funny. Yes. People are like, Are you trans? The answer is no. Live your best life. It's fine. As long as you aren't hurting other people, do whatever you want. But, uh... <laughs> you, uh... Ah, yes, yes, you're talking about Shadow the Hedgehog. Holy fuck. Uh, ahem. You will... You will refer to me only as my name. Shadow the Hedgehog. That, that was really funny. Yep, yep. mentioned this earlier i like weird shit and the more someone's gonna make a big deal of uh um of shenanigans the more i'm going to probably uh hilarious wait you said the uh hogwarts game so the hogwarts game i don't like harry potter like i don't i don't like the harry potter universe like that i'm probably not going to boycott anything based on a um any kind of real life criteria right but i didn't buy the the wizard game because i don't care about harry potter i don't care about the wizarding world of poorly written child uh projection fantasies like if i if i want the, the fantasy wizards, I'm going to play a D&D &D based game most likely or, or Pathfinder or whatever. He said, if you like um, JK, if sorry, if you like Harry Potter but you don't like JK Rowling, just pirate the game? Eh, fair enough. See, I think JK Rowling's a bad writer. I don't really care about her social media takes or uh, anything like that. I just think he um, said, does your life like, like Harry Potter? She um she likes the first three movies, but doesn't like any of the others. She has shown no interest in playing the wizard game. But um I know she liked the books and read them, but you know. Um Harry Potter's just kind of uh, like for me at least, just low grade fantasy. I'm not inspired by it, so you know, when, when people said, like, well, are you going to boycott the game? I just said, well, I'm not buying the game because I'm not interested in it. It's easy. You know, like, I don't think I don't. He said, what if she were a good writer? See, here's the thing. I don't typically do boycotts. So unless it were really important to someone who I care about, which it's not. Um, I probably won't take any, uh, any stance as far as that goes. It's just like, 
I, I play I play video game I like because I like video game. See what I'm saying? Yeah. I like I can't I can't imagine um like how I put this boycotts are super easy to deal with when you uh don't give a shit, right? About the the particular thing like Blizzard for example. People really wanted to boycott Blizzard because they were doing bad shit and um they were actually doing bad shit. Now most of the people who were bad have left the company, thankfully. Um However, um, like, people wanted to boycott it. And I thought to myself, you know, it's super easy for me to boycott Blizzard because their games are shit right now. I'm not interested in Diablo 4. I'm not interested in World of Warcraft anymore. You know, I'm, I'm like, it, it's super easy to boycott something when you don't care. If I cared, no, I'm, I, I don't, no uh, one can challenge me. people have very often, um, heard about things I have said in the past, um, and they think I have some kind of conviction behind the things I say, when in fact I am adrift like a weather vane. Um, I, I take in new information and change my opinions, and, um, as far as, um, as far as the, um, what you might call it, um, as far as like Blizzard's transgressions go, you know, if they made good games, I might play them. If, uh, if JK Rowling wrote good novels, I might read them. I'm not interested in either, so boycotting them is, isn't a measure of conviction. It's a measure of, I'm not interested in this fucking thing. I'm gonna be honest with you, that that's the truth of it. I take in media I wanna take in. I don't give a shit about the, uh, uh, the, the artists of that particular material. That's the best way to put it. <laughs> Run while you can. I, I've, I don't participate in boycotts, but it's super easy to when you don't care about those things if that reflects on me so be it i understand people have convictions and they stand by them and i won't i won't belittle your choice to stand by your convictions provided they don't interfere with my enjoyment of whatever i want to enjoy to each their own freedom is important The only time I uh, said, uh, how would you know if JK were to write a good book without reading it first? It's a very good question. The answer is typically to borrow it. We have libraries, you know. Yep, yep. Do, 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 do. Boycotting, uh, yes. Um, do, 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 do. Isn't silly? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You vote with your wallet. It's the only way uh, you can uh, have any sort of an impact whatsoever, even yeah, if that min Im even if that impact is minuscule. It's true. It's absolutely true. Mm hmm. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Mm hmm Anyway, I, um... My, uh, my like for things tends to offend a lot of people because they're, they're um, they're weird things. And people want to take a stance against the weird things that I like. And so I usually tell them to fuck off. But, um, you know. It's funny, anyway. All right. Uh, Pika, me. I don't. I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything about that. Yes. I'm trying to think of the last piece of media that made me cry. 
Um, Sorrow of Whirlet from Final Fantasy XIV. Before that, uh, the movie you where Kenshin dies. The, the non-canon one. And before that, I can't even remember. It's been that long. As in, it's it takes years and years pass between uh, media that could potentially make me cry. Yes. We're going north. We're going back to uh, Old Ebonheart. We're going back to the... Uh, we're a curate in the temple now. Mm -hmm. Near Automata didn't make me cry. But... Uh, but I liked Nier Automata a lot. It did gave, it gave me feelings in, in my chest, you know? Not, not enough to make me cry, but enough enough to make me feel something. Yeah. It, it gave me feels. Yep, yep. Yeah, I'm going to delete that only because nobody agrees on what the fuck that word means. And therefore, unless you're talking about waking up in the morning, I, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear that word. Yep. In either a positive or negative context. Yep, yep. Okay. Mm. Good coffee. Do, 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 do. Now then, oh boy. But technically, you read it. Yeah. Sure. Mm hmm. Wait. Bugs coming. Mm hmm. The best part of waking up is full of Folgers in a gigantic cup. It's true. It's true. Right. Hit that button there. Okay. Okay. What else we got? Use these repair prongs. The Velks are endangered. The Velks aren't endangered. They are the property of House Inderil. And, uh, technically I'm poaching. Technically I'm poaching. Okay. Let's go. We're heading back to Old Ebonheart. Then we're going to take a boat to uh, to regular Ebonheart. And uh, yeah, we got a few other places to go after that. My goodness. Okay. Moving along. Oh, oh. Hey, fellow person, do you want to rise up? <laughs> oh, no. Treason is one of the... How many uh, death penalties we still got in the United States uh, federal system? Uh, how many more? Uh, how many more of those we got? Yeah, our skirt is actual has a purpose. It it gives us a restore one fatigue per second. So uh, it it completely eliminates the uh, stamina drain from running because our athletics and speed stats are high enough. 
Yep, yep. That's right. Indeed, indeed. There we go. Mm hmm. People very often will make a comment about, well, he's, uh, he's wearing a suit on stream, but you know he isn't wearing pants. Have never, ever been pantsless on stream, believe it or not. Um, however, this is, this is a secret a lot of people don't know. My dress pants and my shorts are the same type. Meaning that I can always uh, have one or the other. Unless I were to somehow put my legs up, no one would notice the difference when I stood up. They are they are exactly the same, um, at, like, at the uh, waist level. So unless you saw how long they were, you would have no idea whether I was wearing dress pants or shorts. Yep, yep. Moving along. We're, we've reached Old Ebonheart. Thank goodness. We can now take the boat. Yep, yep. That's right. It's now confirmed I wear pants while streaming. It's true. Now that said... When I'm using the uh, the VTube avatar, all bets are off. Are you interested in Last Epic? You bet. I'm. I won't have time to play it this year, most likely. But uh, Last Epoch is a like a Xenogear spiritual successor, if I'm remembering correctly, and uh, that is on my wishy list. I absolutely. Let me see here. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Looking at the thing. Yes. Mm hmm. Used to show feet, but people got weird. No, nope. only uh, only displayed uh, the 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 feet uh, exactly one time, and that was before I knew people were uh, were weird about it. But that was years and years and years and years ago. Okay. I it a recording did not survive as far as I know. Yes. The internet only needs one time. Yes. But uh again, all, all bets are off when I'm using the uh the VTuber avatar there. Um when, when like I I can't uh I will I will not confirm what I am or am not wearing while uh while the um while the avatar's on. You know what I mean? Hmm. Yes. So. Do -do -do -do. Okay. Care to talk? You're a welcome break from the locals. Mm hmm. Uh, yes, I have no money. Bargoth! Fargoths, I need all the monies. Mm hmm. Why are gamers cross dressers now? I've always enjoyed uh, weird shit. It's why when uh, people got uh, uh, got obsessive over that, uh, over weird things, like a fr friend of mine uh, gave me this, and uh, people are uh, kind of obsessive over it, which is funny, right? And, uh, they, you know. Yeah, Ikea shark, exactly. <clears throat> but, uh, the, the answer is usually because it's fun. Remember that I prioritize my personal enjoyment over basically everything else. 
I do a lot of things that are counterintuitive to the like the YouTube or Twitch algorithms, right? People don't quite realize that there isn't any kind of agenda beyond personal enjoyment and whimsy. Like, people will prescribe all kinds of Machiavellian plans to what is just a random thought. Or a random desire. Take me to Vivek's foreign quarter. But yes, when people get upset about random things, said wear a kill tone stream, I own one. Um, not sure it fits, but that's a different matter. My father passed down uh, his uh, kilt. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, herb, herb pouch and knife. Yes. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We're going this way. Mm hmm. We are traveling in this direction. We're, we're good, we're good. Mm -hmm. Half of my family is from Ireland, the other half is from Scotland. Though my immediate uh, relatives are all in the United States. I've gone to visit a couple times. I am... Uh, S my, I'm literally split down the middle. How may I help you, citizen? Okay. I don't look it and I don't sound it because I've lived here my entire life in the United States. Other than, you know, travel. Brief travel. All right. I'm a reachman. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. I'm supposed to I'm supposed to hate both the English and myself. Yes. I just like to point out that in like every American movie ever, if they need a villain, they make them British. And if uh, the British need a villain in any movie, they make them French. And then I like to I like to leave it up to the internet to tell me in your country who are all the villains? And, uh, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Fight, coward. Fargoth, why'd you summon that bone walker? Okay, we're good now. Mostly Spanish where you are. Mostly Russian bad guys or German in movies, you see? Yeah. Okay. In Eastern Europe, everyone hates everyone else. It's good fun. Something like that. Okay. We got a bandito here. Hello there. Are you Damn. She's extra tanky. Sorry, friend. Argoth, what are you doing? She's dead. Very good. Imperial radar. Expensive amulet. Steel, steel, steel. Imperial silver. All good stuff. Great stuff, in fact. We're going to walk now and let our stamina regenerate. In fact, we're going to cast uh, Most Innovative, which will restore our stamina even faster while we walk. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. But yes. Let's see what we got. But yeah, when... Uh, 
In response to the earlier question about why cross-dress, the answer is fun. That's it. Personal enjoyment. Why not? I'm very plain and normal in the real world. So on the internet, I get to be, uh, I, I get to have a little bit of fun. Do, do a little bit of trolling. But mostly it's just enjoyment. Yeah. The internet shouldn't be taken seriously. Okay. Live streaming time is have fun time. I've got my, here, here, I'll show, show you this. So this is my Zoom meeting headset. Seriously, this is my Zoom meeting headset for business. Seriously. That's it. And here's our live streaming outfit. What's a Zoom exactly? What is a Zoom? What is a Slack? What is a Confluence? Yes. What is it? What is a Confluence? What is a Zoom? Uh, what is a Slack? Oh boy. What are these things? Ah, ah he says. Oh, this is too easy. Got. I used to dress uh, up for work, then come home and do videos or live streaming. These days, I dress for both. And if I don't feel like dressing, um, I, I got some... I got I got some a V2B avatar I can use if I don't feel like um, dressing up for any reason. Yeah. If I have a headache and I don't want the bright lights on, if I'm too tired to, you know, have presence, uh, visually speaking, uh, for, for any reason, I don't want to be on camera. I got that for that, you know? It just grabs the facial points and says, okay. Um, but that, that, that's how that works. Yeah. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's go, we kill. <gasps> she had no health. Khajiit Necromancer. Be taking your uh, unyielding fury, thanks. Mm hmm. Okay. I always, always recommend in the event you do not, uh, like, if there are skills you do not have, um, like accounting, for example, you should take a course in it. If for no other reason than to expand your base of knowledge. You may not end up using it, but accounting is one of the skills you can absolutely use in your day-to-day uh, -day life, you know, about once a year. It can be very useful. So, uh, yep, yep. Here we go. Rat. You don't deserve to live. Elder rat. Mm -hmm. I personally am terrible with numbers. I don't know what you guys are thinking, but uh, you know, with uh, with access to computers and calculators and things. I mean, did you know back when I was in school, people told me. You're going to have to learn this math. You're not like you're not going to have a calculator wherever you go. Laughs in cell phone. Holy shit. We didn't have cell phones back then. Back back when I was told you're not going to have calculators wherever you go. 
Yeah. Okay. So you need to learn uh, math for programming? Yes. Yeah, I, I, uh, I took a computer science course to learn that I didn't want to be a programmer. True. Okay. You could buy a small calculator back then. Yes, but the assumption was you wouldn't have a calculator everywhere you go. Speaking of which, I need to go grab my cell phone. It is not in range. I was going to grab it. Oh, no. You're, you're saying, what if the sun were to... Uh, if a solar flare were to wipe out um, electronics... Well, then I'd uh, fall back on my survival skills like lighting campfires and um, uh, what would he call it? Uh, preserving food. I probably wouldn't be able to participate in society too well and I probably couldn't engineer complicated shit. All right. <clears throat> yep, yep, yep. Exactly. What a lie, lol. It's it's the real issue is that um uh, what do you call it? Yeah. The real issue is that I uh left it over here. It's right here. When I'm at home, I don't need it because I got a computer. Yes. I learned the C++. Biggest regret of my life. Okay. My goodness. That, that's not the biggest regret of my life. <laughs> Okay. Moving along. We're, we're hitting butterflies and stealing their wings. Yep. Okay. My goodness. Let me check a couple more things before we move on. So much nonsense. So little time. Okay. Now, hello, hello. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, doing lots of math help if society collapsed? Oh, very simple. If you need to engineer machinery for yourself, you need to do calculations. There's a lot of practical physical machinery you can do. Or sorry, you can make in order to perform tasks that would take several people to do. Will die. Whoop. Math helps with the creation of uh, physical objects. Oh boy. Now, personally, um, I, I I can't help you with any of that. I just know that it exists because uh, I, I got a, a family member who uses SolidWorks and uh, yeah. Not everyone need to know that. You said society collapsed. Like, imagine it's just you and your family. At least one of your family members needs to know that information. Is it you? Or is it one of the others? Yes, cause you, you're the one who said society collapsed. Not everyone would need to know that. Yeah, it's like, okay, well, which which person knows it? Because someone in your immediate group needs to know it. Assuming we run by your um, society collapsed uh, scenario. Okay. We're heading on up. We're going straight up the middle. No delays. Uh, wait. 
When I said no delays, I actually meant copious delays. Oh boy. Mm hmm. Yeah, uh, what was that game? Uh, Wasted? In the game Wasted, society collapsed due to a nuclear war, and everyone uses toilet paper as currency. True. You don't deserve to live. Didn't see me. Mm-hmm. Jeez, we're almost over encumbered by all this stuff. Fargoth, I need you to take the heavy things. Yes. That 2020 when the toilet paper was rare. It was funny how people, um, might, they mass purchased toilet paper. And then it turned out that toilet paper was basically worthless before they could flip it. One guy who bought up like tons and tons of hand sanitizer and went to sell it for a high price. Price gouging illegal. They had to give it away. Or should I say they were given the opportunity to give it away before they were formally charged. Yeah. Because, uh... The, the district attorney was about, was going to uh, pin them to the wall for that one. Yep. Mm-hmm. Run while you can. Our scrub. Yep. There's a cliff eraser above. There it is. No one can challenge it's me. It's dead. Oh, a Daedric Ruin. How nice. I can't wait to fight some Daedra. Mm hmm. Bomb some Dodongos. Sorry. Arzette is a good game, by the way. Arzette and the Jewel of Faramore. <laughs> you wish price gouging virtual pets wasn't illegal? Yes, price gouging is only illegal when it's uh, living necessities. As far as I've been able to tell. Is the 4090 still the latest and greatest card? I have a 4070 Ti, and I don't see myself upgrading anytime soon. I'm playing Morrowind. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, here we go, yeah. Yeah, 4070 Ti right there. Yeah. Whoa, oh, you rat don't time. deserve to live. Yep, yep. You have a 2080 Ti, you're considering an upgrade? I understand that. When was the last game you were hella excited for that need to have a good PC? Elden Ring. That's it. Like, Elden Ring. I wasn't excited for Starfield. I was opt. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, I was 
cautiously optimistic and expected the game to be bad. People were, like, I, before Starfield came out, I was showing this off, and people were getting pissed at me. They really got pissed at me for showing off this chart. Uh, back when they're like, are you excited for Starfield? Like, they, they really um, didn't like this. But the, the, the <laughs> I mean, obviously, I'm going to live stream the shit out of it. So, of course, I'll buy it. But, uh, yeah. Todd Howard said you need to upgrade your PC. Yeah, yeah. Mm. No, Elden Ring was the last game I was excited for. Um, I'm not even a fan of Souls likes, but, you know, FromSoft made, um, the open world uh, RP, uh, we call RPG, uh, 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 open world action game with RPG systems that I really liked. Yeah. I'm so glad that uh, FromSoft is still making games with heavy RPG systems as far as like levels and stats and shit go because. Uh, I don't think I, I don't think I like Souls like so much without, uh, you know, that that progression system, and the ability to uh, specialize in different ways. I think that's what, that's what I really like about, uh, you know, Demon slash Dark Souls. And people are like, what about Bloodborne? I played it briefly. I don't own the console it's on. I probably never will. Get back to me when the emulation's good. Alright. You finally got Elden Ring? Uh, got your Paladin, uh, Paladin build to the Altus Plateau? Awesome. I will probably uh, be playing Elden Ring again when the uh, the DLC comes out. Or, or, I don't say shortly thereafter, but soon after, you know. W within a few months. I'm definitely going to play it again. Um, you said Nintendo sued Yuzu. Really? Oh my God. Uh, let, let me go ahead and get you the live stream for that. Uh, here you go. Close that. Copy this link. And, uh, that should do it. Okay. There you go. There, there's the link to that live stream. Uh, skip the first few minutes on that. Um, it's nothing. Just a bunch of ums and errs. But, um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I did, uh, I, I, I did the talkings about it. Uh, let me, let me pick that up. Uh, you can see that this is, this is my perfectly normal discussion on it. Read the top there, random yapping about Yuzu right there, right? And you, you can see I'm having a perfectly normal conversation. You see these two pictures? They're basically identical, right? It's, it's perfectly normal, yes. So, um, there we go. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> They're literally the same picture, exactly. We did it! We can now go to Ghost Gate Temple! Let's do it! Nintendo is more interested in suing their fans and making good functional games that don't hit a 20 FPS wall. Nintendo has always seen themselves as a toy manufacturer. So, um, yeah. That, that is unfortunately, you're waiting for a masculine version of that avatar. Yeah, it's going to be a while because I don't make any money from VTubing that I don't make from live streaming normally. So, um... You know, it's one of those cases of what do I invest in? The answer is usually more video games. Um, I think a new PC will come first before I think about putting any more money into VTubing. Uh, and by that, by more money, I mean any money at all because all like all of my software is free and the avatar was made by my friend for free. So, uh, with prefab assets. So, like, I, I've spent zero dollars on the enterprise of VTubing. Yes. Mm-hmm. 
Why is every game that contains some RPG things considered a hard solid RPG? Uh, you can go back on my uh, YouTube channel and uh, find the uh, video titled Your Favorite Game Isn't a Real RPG. And uh, I, I discussed that for a bit. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello there. What brings you oh, to the wonderful. temple, my child? Welcome, Outlander. Have you been lax in your duties? Oh, hmm. Have I been lax in my duties? Hmm, yes. Okay. Um, uh, d d d d what, what, what's the RPG again? Hold on a second. You're talking about the role-playing game called the, the, pa the Pathfinder? D d yes. The, pa the Pathfinder video game. Okay. The outcast Ashlander Asantis Hansar has fallen ill. The temple does not proselytize, but we do good works. Mm -hmm. Santos Hansar is an ill Ashlander in the outcast Ashlander camp of Ahinanapal, which is just south of Ghostgate. Find and cure him. You may need a way to calm him, for outcast Ashlanders are often aggressive towards strangers. Crap. Did, have I killed him? I don't know. Uh, yes, we, we employ unethical AI in this live stream. The, fu the future is everything is stolen and everything is a problem. Okay. Let's go. You wonder how many takes it took to get the A to pronounce the Ashlander names properly? I have no idea. Okay. More theft and more problems. That's the future. Okay, let me uh, get the uh, tribunal blessings in. Good, good. You said you think Morrowind is the most close to tabletop RPGs as an action game? I mean, Dagger Falls closer, in my opinion, but uh, Morrowind has a lot of simulation going on. Yes. Do, do, do. Uh, testos. Let's go. We're traveling. Hello there. Is there something you need? What? No, no, not you. Uh, you. Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? You there. Leave me. I am diseased. I do not need your help. I have droops. I can barely move and I have no strength. Droops? Yes, but I am outcast. The wise women will not cure me. Uh, may I try to cure you? Have you a potion or will you cure me with a spell? I shall use a spell. Go ahead. Okay, so I will use Vivex Kiss. Mwah. That's that's what it's called, right? It should, should be. Oh no no no! Even worse, it's Vivex Touch. I'm gonna give him the Viv the Vivex Touch. Get get ready. We're, we're gonna give him the Vivex Touch. It's gonna it's gonna work. It's gonna it's gonna work. Oh my oh my! Here we go here we go here we go. Thank you. You are a kind and generous soul. That's right. Okay. Yes, Someone thank watching. you. Thank you for healing I can me. Tell. The droops? You have cured me. I have cured you, yes. Mm hmm. Give him the Vivek touch, yes, that's right. Okay. Do, 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 do. do you have you're on your first play on the Xbox 360? Do you have any tips? Uh, good luck and make saves often, because the Xbox version cannot benefit from like fixes and things like that. Um, like the PC version, we use lots of patches to fix up all the problems. The Xbox version is going to have a lot of problems, and so you'll want to make. P 
periodic saves on multiple slots just to be safe but um if you're talking about like character creation specifically i do have a guide um i i do have a guide you can skip the fixing the engine sections of that guide um and um just go to the character creation step there there will be um uh what do you call it there there is there are basically uh like skip the introduction engine fixes and uh and content fixes and go straight to character creation on that video and that should help out um everything else i just kind of ignore uh, otherwise you can skip to the general hints later on but i'd say stick with what you got just look at character creation and that's about it okay you don't really need to know anything else from that guide if you're playing on the xbox and uh good luck yes save often okay okay we cured him, so we need to go deal with the fact that we cured him. Let's go. Okay. Hello. Well, my child, were you able to cure Asantis Hanser? Uh, yes. So Asantis Hanser has been cured? Good work. Take these potions in case you were infected as well. No, nah, I wasn't infected. I'm, I'm fine. Uh, I'm ready to do more work for the temple. Mm, yes. I need someone to bring the hermit Senda Sathis food and drink. Where is he? Take this food and drink to Senda Sathis. He's a hermit who lives on Shuran Island between Sheogorod and Vardenfell. Take a boat to Dagenfell and then go towards Rotharan. Shuran Island is just west of Rotharan. I will mark this stronghold on your map. Damn, that's really far away. Okay. You bought this game a while ago and uh, gave up on it? Check out my new player guide. Seriously, like, there's a um, a lot of information there that might help you, especially under general hints. Um, like, character creation is a big part of it, but general hints should uh, help you out as well. Uh, let's see here. Hey, just travel across half of the island of Vardenfell. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we are on the uh, the higher end uh, tribunal temple stuff. We're a curate now, which means we are considered one of the higher end officers. I I understand what they're asking of me. They they want me to go and do a lot of stuff. Uh, I figure we'll go. Um. That's Sheograd. Let's see. Rothen is right there. We've already been to the Shank Sanctus Shrine. So it should be west of Rothen. So it's the, it's the, the, yeah, he's right here. So, um, yeah, let's go around, uh, this way. I think that's fun. Yep, yep. You'd say Daggerfall is harder to finish? Yeah, actually. There are ways to fail certain parts of Daggerfall completely. Whereas, uh, there are ways around issues with um you don't deserve to live with Marwind. whoops oh yeah but that dialogue's voiced it is it is did i update the mod list let me, let me check let me check to see if i updated the mod list give me a moment um No. Let me let me fix that right now. Give me a moment. Um Okay. Two things. Two things. I'm adding two things to the mod list for ya. Okay. So Going down. Mm. 
Yes, they, they're added. You can go to the mod list and look at the very, very bottom. Yep, there you go. Whoop. Here's something. Cliffy Racer! This is going to be fun. Damn right. The Cliffy Racer has been defeated. It's loot. Doesn't matter. Okay. Yes, if you kill everyone but the last dwarf. Okay, you kill Vivek and you get his Wraith Guard and you can still beat the game, correct. If you manage to uh, lock yourself out of the main quest, there's a back door to it. The original uh, Morrowind unofficial patch actually, quote unquote, disabled that back door because they said it wasn't canon. Uh, like, this isn't the intended way to do it. It's like everyone dropped the unofficial patch like a rock when they did that. I mean, obviously, we all use the patch for purists now, and the Myron patch project reverted the change. But the original Myron unofficial patch tried to, uh, tried to, like, police how people played the game. And people, were, people obviously, like, got rid of that shit. And then they ended up, uh, removing it later after everyone basically said, don't use this patch. That's how the Morrowind Unofficial Patch became the Morrowind Patch Project. But the Morrowind Patch Project is still pretty overreaching, which is why people used, um, what do you call it, uh, the Patch for Purists, because that removes that shit. Yep, yep. He said the Stormcloaks will win, and uh, but still be a part of the Empire, you say? Maybe. That is a distinct possibility. More likely, they just won't mention it. They, they, they'll, they'll just say that there was a civil war, but now uh, Skyrim's part of the Empire again. Or Skyrim split from the Empire after a lengthy civil war without, you know, saying who was involved in it, right? Or not who's involved, but rather without saying who uh, actually um, won the war, you know? They said events later po after the war no caused them to split me. properly. Or something like that, you know? Yep, yep. Du -du -du -du. Treat Skyrim like Hammerfell? Yeah, it's distinctly possible. Mm hmm. Darn. Okay. Let's get going. Up the rock. Let's see what's up here. Damn it. They do not want me to go up there. I jumped. Here's a world seam, by the way. That's because that dungeon is not compatible with uh, with the, this world mod. And so the two create world seams around its borders. Does that no matter? Absolutely not. It's only in one tiny spot. But there are people who take this shit very seriously. Can you fall through it? Yeah. But you can always TCL back up. TCL, bam. You're, you're up. But that said, it's, it's so small that it doesn't matter, you know? If you find a spot big enough, you can fall through. But that's basically nothing. Do they come with their own lore? Lol. Lol. Immersion ruined. Inconceivable! I don't think that word means what you think it does. I remember someone tried to say that when I was using the word disenfranchised, which, you know, that that, that is an example of them not knowing what the word meant. Lol. Okay. The geometry doesn't match, correct. I don't care a whole lot, but uh, there are people who do. Yes. There are people who really care. Mouse! It is dead. The future is now. Okay. Let's 
Speaking of the future being now, I'm gonna go ahead and start charging my headset. I've been using it. I've been using the blinking LEDs for um, like seven hours, and they have an eight-hour battery life for the blinking LEDs. If I turn the LEDs off, it has close to a full day's life. But good luck, um, you know, go, go, good luck with that. So let me uh, go over to the analog stereo there. Give me a sec. I'm just changing things over. There's going to be no game sound, which is fine, because I'm just saving, going uh, restarto. They're just going to restart the game. And the idea is that... Um, uh, here we go. It's now going to be using the new audio device, which I'm just going to double check right here. You can see under, uh, under audio... Um, you can see that it's using the default device right uh, right here. I could change it to my motherboard, or I could change it to my Meteor mic, or I could change it to um, my HDMI, like one of my monitors has speakers in it. But we're going to use my uh, little headset instead, which is the default device right now. So we just launched the game. Say, so, so. Just had to restart the game for... Uh, uh, like the the headset being plugged in versus the headset being Bluetoothed. Yep. Okay, there we go. Mm hmm. Motherboard has built in speakers. No, but the motherboard has built in. Um. What do you call it? Audio. Uh, shenanigans. Oh, this is too easy. Uh, how? Okay, so I understand. Um, like some people don't realize this. But let's say you go to OpenMW, the open source Morrowind engine, right? And we hit downloads, and then we you see release versions. If you scroll down here, development builds. Specifically, I get mine from the Launchpad PPA, but you could get yours from the Windows build section if you want. Yep. Bam. I don't recommend it unless you have a mod that requires it. Typically just run with a build that uh, is actually supported. Now you're going to get it. Very good. Okay. Let me see. You've been using in ear. In ear buds. I see. Well. Oh, this is too easy. I think that's a. The diseased. That's a Nyx Mastiff. Okay. No big deal. I will end the stream soon. Don't need to. I really don't need to. Run while you can. My hard cutoff is 12 hours. YouTube um doesn't need uh, YouTube. He said yours doesn't have dark mode. Oh, well, I'm running like my desktop manager. Uh, what do you call it? Ha is running dark mode. So, um, what do you call it? Um, as far as like my desktop manager goes, um, if you look here, it's uh, KDE Neon specifically. So, um, yeah, it'd be like that. But, uh, yeah. As far as, uh, like, I'm using the dark mode through KDE Neon, so it just kind of uses that. Yep. Okay. Ooh. 
Not going that way. Run! But yeah, it's the plasma desktop. Okay. The chase. Edgar Allan Poe, indeed. Potato. Okay. Um, there are. I'm trying to remember. But oh, hold on, I gotta focus. He said, "Arf, arf." Oh, you're talking distro. Distro's KD Neon. It's basically a rolling release distribution of the latest KDE applications, but it runs on Ubuntu long-term support. Meaning that the the actual foundation doesn't change very much. It's the um, it's the KDE software that updates frequently. Now I haven't switched to KDE six yet because it's not playing friendly with uh, Nvidia at the moment. Which is fine. Yeah. But uh, I, basically, I don't want the foundation of my operating system to change very much until I decide to upgrade it. Whereas I want the newest software for it frequently. And that's what KD Neon does. Is it gives me the latest KD applications as they're available. It goes... Um, it goes in this order. Development, KDE Neon, and then it goes to Kubuntu afterward. So I'm, I'm in the middle. I get things sooner than Kubuntu, but uh, not as early as development builds. So there's still a chance I might have a bug, but um, no one can challenge me. what do you call it? Uh, not, um, not as highly as if I were getting uh, development builds and people who just want to be a uh, like extremely casual user they'll get kubuntu and not have to worry about bugs basically ever because um they um you don't deserve what do you call it um because like the kd neon people take all of the uh, testing first <clears throat> You thought I got a released version of 0 0.49 from the team? No. No, I don't talk to the OpenMW team very much. I, um... I occasionally talk to people in Tamriel Rebuilt, Project Tamriel, stuff like that. You know. Um, beyond Skyrim, uh, Sky Oblivion, Skywind. But, uh... Not so much OpenMW. Anyway, let's see here. Whoops, I fell down the hole. Game over. Or it would be, but I have levitation. That's right. Levitate strong, go. That's right. Imagine falling in that hole and having to reload. Lol. I, um, I have a retail copy of Windows 10. You don't deserve to live. I had it before I uh, picked up uh, Kubuntu originally. Yeah. I just don't use it a whole lot. I, I use it every four to six months. Yeah. I don't see myself ever upgrading to Windows 11. I might have to with a new PC, but that's a different matter. It still sits on its own drive, segregated from the rest of everything else I have. Okay. You don't deserve to live. Yes. Windows 12, the cloud-based application? This is too easy. Kill him! Fuck! This is bad! Fargoth, help! Oh, jeez, he paralyzed me. 
careful with that friend. Sorry, Fargoth. I can't do anything about this. I need to dispel. Yeah. I'm Alexia's grace. You chose the wrong Bosmer to mess with. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what was I doing? Um... I think it was tap energy. Yes. I'm just absorbing his fatigue. Ooh. You notice that my fatigue is pretty high now? Careful with that friend. Ooh. Careful with that friend. That Nord Warlock is dead. I'll take his stuff. Let's go. Mm. Yes. Stroke, stroke. Okay. Kill. I was going to say, you should run aren't you now. waiting for operating system as a service, cloud-based? It's going to be great. You should run. Ah, yeah, that Argonian goes. Oh no. Nick sound. Oh, this is too easy. He's not dead yet. He keeps healing himself. Sorry, Fargoth. You don't deserve to live. Damn. Argonian spell sword was something else. Look at that ebony halberd. 4,000. What do you need the cloud for? It's not for you. It's for Microsoft to have more control over you. That's what it's for. Yes. Okay. We have to wait, rest an hour. Here we go! I'm going to enjoy this. You should run. He just cast a bound helm. Crazy. Okay, I'm gonna summon my minions. Ready. Uh, Dramora. Uh, summon. Dramora. D Dram is not how you spell Dramora. What do you mean we typed in the wrong thing? It's fine. Dremora. Drem, Drem. Okay. Now you're dead, sir. He's trying to attack me, but he's not doing a good job about it, so... I'm just gonna summon a greater bone walker. Get the crap out of him. There we go. You don't deserve to live, sir, Mr. Spellsword. That's a glass staff. That's pretty awesome. Can't wait to sell that along with everything else. Mm-hmm. Right. You are over encumbered. You don't deserve to live. Damn it. There we go. Get over here, Fargoth. I need you to pick up these items. Actually, before you pick them up, I need you to uh, uh, do this. Hmm, Smitty. Didn't uh, didn't quite uh, realize what your message entailed. Uh, until a moment ago, I'm like, oh, oh, okay, yes. Why not? I'm just thinking that's one of those uh, messages that somebody starts typing in their browser and it auto-completes. And uh, every everyone uh, on stream is, is judging them. Yes. Exactly. Has uh, Microsoft Windows spied on you since XP? Yes. Windows XP has uh, had something called RCP, or Remote Control Protocol, that has allowed them 
to spy on you since um since then it's, um if you're asking if uh newer windows does it harder than yes but they've always been spying on you okay Let's go to the north. Mm -hmm. Hold on a second. Ba -ba -ba. Okay. Who is they? I was just talking about Microsoft, specifically. Can't tell you who else might be uh, spying on you other than Google, Facebook, and Discord. Discord, by the way, uh, has the right to sell all of your messages. And they have a standing agreement with Facebook to buy those messages. So, uh, what are your thoughts on Snaps? I use flat packs myself. Snaps used to be terrible in the sense that they... Um, they would uh, take like forever to load, but more recently, through after some upgraded versions, they stopped taking forever to load. So, um, I'm generally neutral to snaps, although I am now uh, more biased, like just because flat packs have worked better for longer. I just use flat pack, and I have something called flat seal. Which allows me to, um, what do you call it? Um, it allows me to unsandbox certain applications in Flatpak. So I can, uh, get, if I want to, give a Flatpak more access than a Flatpak would normally have access to. For whatever reason. But that, that's about it. You said you hope the FBI enjoys watching Pippa with you? Well, I imagine that the FBI uh, likely has uh, Pippa on a watch list already. And uh, your interaction with her might be uh, seen as... Uh, yeah. H who knows, really? Crazy Canadian VTubers. I have no fucking clue. No one can challenge me. Uh, one time, someone was like, um, is this VTuber thing like, like a joke? Is it satire or are you serious about it? And I realized that if I said it was serious, this person was gonna unsubscribe. So I told them it was it was serious. Because that I was only going to be a VTuber from now on. Because I knew they'd unsubscribe. And I, I, I'm a fucking jerk. Mm. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I lied, by the way. I'm. You, you can see right here, I'm, I'm not using the avatar right now. But, uh... Yeah, if you have some kind of, like, deep-seated, serious question where, it, like, your subscription hinges upon it... I'm probably just gonna lie and make you unsubscribe because I'm uh, I'm I'm just that type of person. So <laughs> it's uh you, you know it, it, that me that if the answer to that question means a lot to you, I'm probably just gonna lie. Whoa, Jay's Golden Saint. I, I don't have a thing for yeah. I don't have any uh, Grand Soul gems, so I, I can't capture the Golden that. Saint soul. One yep. of us will die here, and it yep. won't be me. Oh, we got a Golden Saint's shield. That's a pretty good shield, too. It's, what, 100 armor rating? It's worse than my adamantium, but it's still pretty cool if I want a golden one. That's nice. I'll take all of these items. Thank you, Golden Saint. 
Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. I have an adamantium shield right now, so I don't need to worry about that. But if I didn't, well, I know exactly where I'd use that for. Yes. Do I know who that person is? No. I have no idea who those people are. Um, there was a VTuber I used to watch clips of. I've, I've, I don't watch VTuber streams, but I've watched, like, a clip, like a series of clips of a dragon VTuber who would speak in Japanese most of the time, but she'd swear in English a lot. And then uh, she she got fired or something. I don't fucking know. Um, but um, yeah, it was, it was a it was a it was a, a Coco. Yes, a Coco, who I saw clips of. Um, I haven't seen a single of her streams. Probably never would. Um, but she had funny clips. Um, I've seen clips of Pippa and people like that, but again, just clips. Don't watch live streams. Um, the only VTuber I have seen streams of at all would be... Um, uh, hold on. It's, uh, it's a weird one. It's... Uh, let me see if I can grab it. It's, uh, it's this uh, weird um, uh, a po po pomato person. And so the idea is that she has a Todd Howard body pillow. And she's also a biologist in real life working on her doctorate. And that's, she has interesting science streams that I've checked out. That's it. That's the only VTuber I've actually watched any streams of. No one and they were science-related streams. So, yeah. Okay. But yeah, she has a Todd Howard body pillow and loves uh, Starfield and No Man's Sky. But uh, I, I specifically didn't watch her for the game, like the, um, no one can what do you call me. it? Uh, oh, Golden Saint. Here we go. Uh, I didn't watch her for the, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, gaming streams. I watched her for the, uh, the science streams. Yeah. Anyway. I'm not particularly interested in watching uh, live streams in general because I'm usually... Um, I'm usually busy with other stuff, either streaming myself or, you know, real-life shenanigans. So, um... Well, Ogrim! Ogrim! You should run, Oh, Fargoth paralyzed it. Thank goodness. Do your job, Fargoth. I believe in you. We're going to uh, cast uh, Soul Trap. Yes. What well, sort of losers would watch gaming streams? I know, right? I'm trying to tune as many people out as possible with my the memory, but, uh, you know, you can, o you can only uh, convince so many people to... Uh, uh, to unsubscribe at a time. Okay. Generally, I do, uh... Whoop. I figure eventually the, the weirdness will hit a, a mark where, uh... It, um... What do you call it? It, it drives most people away, but, uh... Uh, I, you know, it, it'll, uh, it'll it'll take a while. You yep. should run. Yeah, I mean, I occasionally run a YouTube video or five while uh, I'm doing other things, but um, more often than not, 
my third monitor it has like Final Fantasy 14 or Warframe on it. You know, primary monitor for work, and then uh, run some uh, video games on the other monitor. Do do do. You don't like live chats with uh, <laughs> too many people. I understand that. I'm uh, very sensitive to that. That's why I always have slow mode on and people get irritated about it. Like, why slow mode on? Well, I like to be able to read what's going on without, you know, someone posting a spam uh, macro that fills up the chat, you know? Um, okay, so we go this way. But no, um, I, I watch uh, occasionally some DB Fig streams, just because uh, it, you know, like he usually uh, uh, has similar opinions and stuff. There you go. Uh, if you had slow mode with a thousand chatters, you'd still have a thousand posts every three seconds. Well, to be fair, if I had a thousand chatters. I'd probably have a thousand posts every 10 or 15 seconds because I uh, I would increase the slow mode. Probably drive some people away in the process, but uh, I'd like to actually be able to, you know, make out something. And, uh, yeah. It wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be three seconds, that's for sure. Okay. Some people like to chat like it's a text message where every half sentence is a separate message. I do that on Discord a lot. I, I do, I do, I do. You watch DB Fig too because he's super handsome and awesome. Well, I mean, DB Fig usually has uh, a lot of uh, the same content I like, plus, you know, uh, retro opinions that are very often slightly different from mine or come from you know spaces that I, that my, i don't so it, it's good in that sense um yeah my goodness um i look like an in real life uh, high elf yes my goal is to be an ohms khajiit um someday someday did you know that someone actually thought I wanted to be a cat girl in real life? Lol. What kind of dumbass is that? But no. Um, on the internet? Absolutely. Why not? Why the hell not? Going to get it. The internet is the best place to mess around. Someday I'll be an Ohms Khajiit. Just you wait and see. But uh, a lot of people confuse the, um, what do you call it? Um, a lot of people confuse the, 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 the cross-dressy with uh, wanting to actually be a girl, and that's not true. I like to meme a lot. But um, no, not even a bit. Oh boy. Oh, this is too easy. You said I'd have to play a uh a normie on the internet? Oh no. No, 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 no. Your transit wouldn't be uh, cross-dressing just wearing clothes. Well. No. But I mean, it's the, like it's the most fucking like the cat ears are the most tame form of cross-dressing you could possibly have. It's like barely anything by comparison. Hello, I sir. See this land suits you. We welcome you freely, Outlander. Here we go. I mean, I obviously enjoy it because I'm doing it. If I weren't having fun, then I wouldn't, um, y you know, I wouldn't be doing it. It's that simple. All right, let's see here. 
Uh, good on you for maining Linux. Uh, you tried to keep in Linux for seven years. You're going back to Windows. I, um, I mean, most mods are fine with uh, with Rocker Bacon. Uh, with Rocker Bacon's uh, mod organizer two profile. Um, here it is. It's the uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, uh, Rocker Bacon's Mod Organizer 2 uh, utility there. It's uh, pretty uh, simple. You just uh, you download this, this shenanigan here, um, and then you run the script, and it'll set up Mod Organizer for the, your game of choice there. Yep. Mm-hmm. People having animal personalities. I mean, like, I get having uh, catty traits, but um, no, it's. Uh, I always considered like cat boys and cat girls to be humans with stripper accessories, basically. I hide your real ears. That's it. All right, food and drink. You're here to deliver my food and drink. Yes, here it is. Kwama eggs again. Well, I should be thankful the temple supports an old hermit like me. Indeed, indeed. We are done. Hell yeah. All right. Well, uh, let's see. That should do it. Uh, what about the temple? No, you don't know anything about that. Got it. We're leaving. Yep, yep. Here, I'll, uh, I'll go get you the link for the Rocker Bacon profile because there's no reason you have to... Uh, there you go. Okay. Paste it in chat. So, like Playboy bunnies? Kind of, yeah. I, I've i never considered uh, my cat shenanigans to um, um, to be furry. I've considered to be possibly furry adjacent in the sense that I am wearing a costume. But I do not identify as a cat, if that's what you mean. I just think it's cute and I like it. Like, wait, aren't you supposed to be a manly man? Yes. And I can be cute at the same time, God damn it. Other people may disagree, but that's a whole nother matter. Hmm. Yes. You say it's erotic. Hmm. Alrighty then. What do we got? Kill. Hmm. Golden Saint, get out here. Oh, this Damn. Is Damn. He just shot a fireball at me. You should run now. He should run. Argonian Sorcerer. Crap. All right. Mm-hmm. Imagine being scared of even attempting a joke. Well, I think what a lot of people are scared of is that if they try something weird, they might actually like it, be corrupted by it. All right. My goodness. We are presently... Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh, let's, let's go ahead and, um, uh, look at this. We are six days, 19 hours, 55 minutes into the playthrough. We are running a custom class. Oh, boy. Uh, jeez, the, the hell joint disease is weighing down heavy on us. But, uh, we have, uh, blunt weapon, medium armor, restoration, conjuration, illusion, alteration, mysticism. So we're doing the spell blade thing, but... Instead of heavy armor, we're doing medium armor. And instead of doing a blade, we're doing blunt weapons. Of course, we have alchemy, mercantile, and block as well. So we're trying to do like a paladin style here. We're working on our tribunal temple quests. We got adamantium armor and a skirt that regenerates our stamina by um, uh, one, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, one point per second. 
My goodness. Alright. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I was reading what Smitty said and thinking, uh, well, thinking. Okay. So, we need to cast Panacea to get rid of our Hell Joint disease. There we go. Okay. We should be good otherwise. We are good to go. Yes. Wait. Oh, this is too easy. It is too easy. There you go. The Fraser is dead. Victory is mine. Okay. Mm-hmm. How come hearing uh, Marwin's soundtrack for a millionth time doesn't drive you mad? Yeah, pretty resistant to hearing the same soundtrack for a while, but let me, uh, uh, I mean, I play games for an obscene amount of time, so I think I'm just uh, very resistant to it. Let's say I opened up my Steam library. Um, and I were to look at Final Fantasy XIV, for example, and we were to say, oh, well, um, uh, how long have I played Final Fantasy XIV? And so that would be, if we, we look at the, the amount of time I spent on it, let's just go ahead and grab playtime here. And so, like... Yeah, I've heard the same song uh, song again and again and again, but... Eh? I mean... Yeah? What about it? And, uh... Yeah. You know, it's like, uh... What about the... The, the Warframe? Um... Let me see... What, what, what about the Warframe? How long have I played that? And, uh, again, like, uh, okay. So, uh, y y you know, like, uh, the same soundtrack obviously doesn't bother me at this point. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, running in the 90s? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Now, Morrowind time isn't being tracked because I'm not running uh, the Steam version. I'm running, uh, what do you call it? The open-sourced Morrowind engine, OpenMW. So. Do -do -do -do. Mm -hmm. This is going to be fun. Okay. Oh, you know... We were talking about different streamers, right? And, um... What do you call it? Uh, is, like, you know, VTubers are obviously a, a large demographic, but, uh... Um... There's a different, um... Channel, which is kind of funny. Um... What do you call it? Um... A A Angelica Tosh is, is pretty funny. I, uh, I I subscribed to her for her, uh, what do you call it, clothing in the World of Warcraft and Tamriel and stuff like that. Ha haven't seen the uh, all of them, but she, she does like fashion in the Elder Scrolls and music and hairstyles and shit. You know, uh, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, she she also has, um, uh, what, what do you call it? I, I ran these in the background while I was doing something else, but you can see she's 
playing Morrowind for the first time as of one day ago and 21 hours ago. Uh, how I found out about that was or I originally subscribed to her for the uh, for her fashion videos, but then I saw that she commented on my uh, new player guide for Marwin saying she was going to use the guide. Um, and I was like, okay, that's just kind of interesting, I guess. Yeah. And, and yeah, yeah. So as far as like a streamer goes, you were, you were talking about like VTubers and stuff earlier. Um, she's not a VTuber, but she is someone trying to get into Morrowind and she, she really likes Oblivion and Skyrim. So that, that's kind of cool, I guess. Um, have a good one. Anyway, just saying like that, that's, that's a person who's kind of interesting. I know a, a gamer, like a, a girl who plays games. That's, that's fucking nuts, I know. But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, she was, uh, talking about the fashion. And so, uh, whoops. You don't deserve Whoa, harpies. One of us will die. We have to destroy these harpies before we die. I'm paralyzed. I'm paralyzed. <sighs> I'm a, I may have pissed off Fargoth. I may have pissed off Fargoth by accident. No, they're paralyzing. They're casting paralysis. Oh no. No, I should run. I pissed off Fargoth. Yeah, I just, I, I just get to be paralyzed forever. Whoa! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, we need to be careful. We need to use calm. We may have hit Fargoth by accident. Did I go calm creature? Whoops, humanoid. There you go. He's not pissed anymore. We rest. We rest for three hours. <laughs> As you can see, we're fine. We need to heal ourselves. Okay. Being careful, restoring health. No big deal. We're almost done. Let's rest now for uh, another two hours. Okay, we're good. We are good to go. Back down south. We gotta go to Ghost Gate. We're going, uh, I'm looking at where we could potentially go. We're, yeah, we'll, we'll head around the Daedric Ruins. We don't want to go in them, but at the same time, we'll go check things out. Coffee nut. Ah. Uh, you should run. Definitely a, a, a nut for coffee, that's for sure. Oh, boy. But, yeah. I can't say I watch a whole ton of uh, gaming streams, though, mostly due to lack of time, so. Um, it's usually more I pop in and uh, condemn it to the third or fourth monitor before moving on. That's the, uh, the... The reality is I'm just not very active. I am what you would call a lurker. But that comes with just being busy. I think a lot of us are just plain busy while we run streams or whatever in the background. Okay. People get, uh... Oh, what do you call it? Whoops. That Yeah, it's a big dwarven titan. We're gonna skim around here. Yeah, I'm gonna try to skim around the dwarven ruin. Remember when dwarven ruins look like cool towers? I miss those times in Skyrim. Okay, we're gonna levitate up and over. I used to make time for Total Biscuit stuff. I think that was, uh... Yeah, well, uh, my schedule was a little more, uh... was a little different back then, so... Uh, but, but yeah, yeah, I'd, uh... Uh, I, I can kind of remember that. Yep. 
Am I in combat with something? I hear things. Spiders! Sp sp spiders! You chose the wrong Bosmer to mess with. Crazy. Lurkers make uh, the stream work. Yes. Too busy to constantly interact. Correct. Oh, this is too easy. Background material while listening. Warlocky's videos. I've seen like four of his videos, so I'd say yeah. Most of the time, someone will ask, "Do you like X videos?" I'm like, "I've seen two of them." <laughs> but no, I've I, I I've seen like four or five of his videos. He's got good videos. Um, him and uh, Strat Edgy, I've seen like videos of recently. Yeah. Or Lock Racy, something like that. Yes. Uh... Oh, boy. Let me see here. Huh. Okay. Mm hmm. Wait, what? Someone said a thing. You said uh, you've improved your language skills quite a bit. That's unfortunate. I uh, I do not have as much command of the English language as um, as I'd like. And um, being that that's my native language and simultaneously um, attached to my livelihood, uh, that's telling. If it weren't for editors doing their work, I, uh, I would be doomed. Let's put it like that. A haircut? Yeah. Yeah, my wife, uh, shaved it for me last night. Du -du 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 -du. Hmm. Yeah, Total Biscuit, uh... Originally started WoW Radio, and his wife got him into uh, YouTube. She became his manager, and her full-time job was getting him to, uh, like, getting him brand deals and shit, communicating, so that he he could do uh, his YouTube work, and she'd be the, like, she was his uh, his agent, base his manager. Yep. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. Hmm. Casual conversation is the best way I pick up grammar and usage. Yes. Whoop. I'm looking at that bridge. I'm going to go over to the bridge. I'm trying to circumnavigate ghost gate here, or sorry, the ghost fence. I'm trying to go around it completely. Um, like, have it filled in on the map. Not because I need to, just because I want to. I think it's fun. I like gotcha. filling in maps. Why I like Baldur's Gate so much. I mean, there are other reasons I like Baldur's Gate a lot, but... One of my most fav favorite activities is just filling in the map. Okay. Whoop. Uh, that is a corpus. A lame corpus. They're strong. Good work. The corpus weepings are mine. Mm-hmm. I haven't, like, I haven't done a complete playthrough of Baldur's Gate 1 in close to 20 years. That's why, um, um, what do you call it? Whoops. Um, that's why I'm so excited to play it again on Saturday. Even though, uh, like, I spent eight hours last time and didn't progress the main quest at all. I just explored. And that was really fun. 
people uh, were getting antsy, though. It was funny. Like, you haven't progressed the main quest at all. Like, no, no, I just explored for eight hours and was still running across new areas. I will very soon hit the point where I've explored everything that's not locked off by the main quest. It's very funny. I know, I remember Baldur's Gate 2, you can't do that. Um, like, you, uh, a lot of areas are gated behind uh, main quest progression in BG2. Uh, hello, sir, I'd like to speak to you, Mr. Warrior. Take that! Oh, God! Take that, he said! What if, what if instead we hit you with this? This is going to be fun. Yes. Now you're going to get it. Okay, we're getting, we need to eat this guy. Oh boy, num num. Isn't that what you're supposed to do before uh, playing an RPG? Yes. Mm -hmm. You said BG1 uh, aged very well, and BG2 is a lot less open ended. Yeah. Well, BG1's quests are like bite sized, quick little missions to do, like tiny little adventures. And, um, they don't last very long, but they're super enjoyable. I recommend you play Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 before 3. Nope. Baldur's Gate 3 is entirely standalone. There are references, apparently, in the final act that you will, uh, be able to pick up on if you played the original. But, uh, it is in no way required. Not even a little bit. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay, we need to summon a Dramora. This guy is extra tanky. I'm gonna kill that Cliffy Racer while we're here. Okay, that Cliffy Racer's down. But you can see this guy's getting his uh, ass kicked by uh, my minions. Yes. Paralyzed man dies. He's an Imperial Raider. Crazy. All right. Mm-hmm. So, we need to pick everything up. Which will over encumber... Oh, it didn't over encumber us. Interesting. Oh, well, we were in a rest for an hour. That's going to have us at full stamina. And then we're going to use these repair hammers to get everything in order. And that's how we very slowly work on our armor skill. Yes. Save the game. Uh, we're still going back down south, but... We're going around... This way. Through some ruined area. All right. <laughs> yep, yep. If you do force yourself to play one and two first, you might feel frustrated when you get into three because it has nothing to do with the first two games. Yes, exactly. Or exactly. Has a lot more in common with Divinity Original Sin, not story-wise, but like mechanically, than it does Baldur's Gate one and two. So you're not even gaining mechanical experience if you force yourself to play one and two first and it really is just completely divorced from it from the uh, earlier Baldur's Gate games it's uh, Larian Studios was you know kind of set to uh, make a Baldur's Gate game in their style I can't say it's terrible oh by the way that sixth house, Old Kulgaroon, now has banners and other shit. Like, this is the biggest dungeon in the game now. It's huge. Uh, well, actually, Dagothur might be bigger. The, the dungeon of Dagothur is gigantic now. But we aren't quite ready for that yet. Okay, we actually discovered Kulgaroon. Nice. All right. You should absolutely... My favorite thing to do personally is to pick up the Amulet of Kings and then afterward, uh, I'm sorry, deliver the Amulet of Kings, 
Then I go and, uh, oh, jeez. Uh, I deliver the Amulet of Kings. You chose the wrong Bosmer to mess with. Then I go to Kavach, and I pick up Martin Septum. And from then on, like, every five minutes, I get to hear about Twain and Priory then. And so, yeah, Sean Bean is our, uh, our hero. Uh, we, we like to have Sean Bean in our group. You can't escape me. Yep. Twain and Priory then. Okay. <sighs> oh, this is too easy. Kill it, Fargoth. Good work. I need to repair all of Fargoth's stuff the next time we have the opportunity. Okay. I'm going back down south, but uh more importantly, give me a sec to click through a few things. <laughs> okay. All right. We're at eight hours, everybody. That doesn't mean I have to go, but it does mean I have to take a break, get up, walk around for a little bit. So I'll see y'all in about five-ish minutes. And we'll be playing more of this for a little bit. Just just a, a little bit.
Almost back. I'm in the room now. Hmm. Okay, let me uh go ahead and hit the button. There we go, we hit the button. Very, very, very good. Yeah. If there's anything else we need to do. Moving some monitors around real quick. Let me test the swap button. Swap and swap. Excellent. Yeah, that should be about it. Don't imagine there's anything else we need to do. Uh, yes. So. That should be it. Ahem. <clears throat> Alright, we're back. So. Uh, we're gonna continue to run around Red Mountain. I believe Margan's there. Our fortress is there. We're gonna drop off all our alchemy ingredients at our fortress since we're getting over encumbered. We're gonna head up towards uh, Ghost Gate. Fight a, a couple Nyx hounds. Yep. Ow, ow. Very good. And this is the ghost fence. No, no, nothing for us there. What a shame. We've almost gotten all the way around the ghost fence. We missed this square, but that's because it was inconvenient. Still, the map is being filled in well. I imagine I'll have to finish the map once the ghost fence is gone. Moving along. Hmm. Ah, it's Ash Storm time. Cliffy Racer! You should run now. Defeated. Hey, does anyone know what Cliffy B's been up to since uh, Boss Key Studios got shut down? Whoop, here we go. I mean, uh, Lawbreakers was an unfortunate situation where uh, he was pitted against Overwatch, and Overwatch was in its, like, uh, at its height, you know? It had the most users of any uh, competitive shooter at that time. Fight, coward. Hmm. He did a Hail Mary to try to uh, sell a battle royale, which uh, didn't work either. You know, because uh, Lawbreakers was a failure. Even though the game didn't look that bad, it just wasn't really marketed well at all. And again, was going against Overwatch at the time. <clears throat> oh no. Where's Fargoth? Fargoth is running, and there's a cliff racer. Two cliff racers coming. No one can challenge me. Maybe BZ goes his worst enemy? Yes. You I think that he, uh. He very much tried to um, be. He tried to be conventional, and and uh, it didn't serve him in that case. But uh, um, wait, you asked, is it worthwhile to try to play Skyrim as a a fantasy game without dragons. Correct. I, I think it was like 140, uh, uh, like 140 hours before I got, dra uh, before I, like, hit the quest that made dragons appear. Uh -huh. Do you plan on keeping Fargoth through most of the playthrough? Yes. I mean, look at him. He's uh, amazing. He's incredible. Come adventuring with me, Fargoth. I mean... Keep in mind, we've already been playing for six days, 20 hours. That's a while. We're on day 226. I'm trying to finish up the tribunal so that we can 
Start the main quest. Ahem. <clears throat> All right. Alternate start mod Skyrim, yeah. I, uh, I usually let quite a bit of time pass before I, uh, activate the, uh, the dragons in Skyrim. But I also like using mods to change the way dragons spawn, usually greatly delaying their random spawns so you only get the ones, uh, on, uh, like mountain peaks and stuff. Yep. Hmm. The game really wants you to start fighting them soon so that you can start gathering those dragon shouts. I don't mind uh, the powers in Starfield. I just think that like the NPCs aren't equipped to deal with them at all. So unless you're playing with some extreme difficulty or something uh, and you're fighting higher level enemies... It's it's more like a cheat code than it is any kind of reasonable mechanic. Which is sad. Mm -hmm. Now, all of my uh, playthroughs, I usually wait about 100 hours before uh, finishing Bleak Falls Barrow. Or, uh, you know, delivering the Dragonstone to, uh, whatever his name is, Mr. Secret Fire. You need to see him without the hood. It's really funny. Oh, there's a dragon there. Hello. Uh, we're not going to fight the dragon. We're going this way instead. Ah, uh, Stealth Archer's pretty decent. It's just that, uh... You know, you end up one-shotting everything. And so, after the first time, it does get very boring. I do like the idea of tactically take... Uh, sorry. In a tactical fashion, taking down enemies. I think that's pretty cool. Unfortunately... Um... Yeah. Unfortunately, it uh, doesn't... Uh, I need to drop this one. Okay, Fargoth, get over here. I need to give you things. You've always enjoyed sniper in games? Okay, makes sense. Giving Fargoth a bunch of... Oh, jeez, he's almost over encumbered too. Scary. Uh-huh. Fallout 4 is the only game where you don't really delay the uh, main quest too much. Yeah, I get it. Damn. Oof is right. Crazy. Hold the sink. Get out here. We got him. All the hungerlings are dead. Give me your Daedra hearts. Not a single Daedra heart among them. That sucks. What a shame. We're going this way. He said, oh my god. A mercenary murdered my spouse and kidnapped my baby. I'm going to have to spend a few days doing the Minutemen work for them. Here, hold on. Oh, Just typing that. The bot should catch up in just a moment. Okay. Yep. Every time you play Fallout 4, you delude yourself into thinking the dialogue won't be bad. The dialogue's always bad. You just have to ignore it and make or make fun of it. One of the two. Starfield and Fallout 4 both suffer from terrible dialogue. Yes. Hmm. Advanced camera, yes. Advanced camera, as you can see, pushes the camera over here. Or over here, depending on, like, 
it, it instead of clipping through the world, it uh, it pushes the camera where it needs to be, um, but still, you know, it's over over the shoulder. And then it centers if you go to combat, so that you can shoot properly. All right. Mm -hmm. And to go into my stronghold. That is the entrance. Was the entrance right here all along? Okay. So something about uh, the friends you made along the way. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right. We're going to drop all our alchemy ingredients right here, I think. Yep. <clears throat> all our alchemy ingredients are going to get dropped. That exquisite robe looks pretty cool. Now, as I was saying, alchemy ingredients. We're going to keep our crab meat. And we're going to keep our cooked food, but everything else goes. Most alchemy ingredients don't have weight, but the ones that come from mods do. So, uh, that's just how it is. Didn't I play uh, Test 3MP to the quest work properly? Yes. Yes, they do. Um, you can actually set it up. Uh, there are two ways to set up Test 3MP. The first way is to have a unified quest journal where the entire world has the same quest journal. That is prone to not... Like, that That won't break. That will just, uh, as Todd Howard said, just work. But it means that if someone picks up a quest, everyone will have that quest. If someone completes a quest, everyone will complete that quest. That's the uh, way to make the game seamless. If you want to divide everyone's quest logs, that is a option in the uh, config file. If you do that, you're going to need some other mod, like a, like a Lua plugin or something, to make sure that the world resets periodically. Because otherwise, people are going, like, the quests are going to be uh, completed by one person and incompletable by other people. So if you split the logs, you're going to have to. Uh, uh, then, um, like, compensate for it some way. Either resetting the world yourself manually or using a plugin. So, the default way of having everyone have the same quest journal is the better way. But, like, for multiplayer servers that act like MMOs, um, monsters just straight up respawn and quests basically just reset. Okay. So, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. yes, that should do it. We're just dropping all our alchemy ingredients right now. It's gonna take a few minutes. It's worth it. Good, good. <clears throat> Yes. Almost done. Uh, uh, how many alchemy ingredients did you pick up? The answer's too many. But seriously, we'll be doing alchemy here later. I was populating my house in Caldera as a temporary uh, uh, situation before I got my um, stronghold. I will be doing more with the stronghold later. For now, though, we just gotta keep uh, putting stuff away. Scrolls and other things we're gonna have to deal with as well. But for now, the food is mostly dealt with. You can see we didn't uh, exactly have that much carry weight invested in it, but still. It was definitely a something. So, we got our barrels of pickled fish there. Put down a crate. 
Yeah, it's clipping with the tapestry, but I don't care too much. And then um, I'm going to put another chest in front of these uh, barrels if we can. Yeah, something a little closer to the corner. Better. Okay. Uh, anything else? Hmm. Contemplating. These 20 Dwemer coins. No wonder we're uh, having carry weight issues. I mean, it's a lot of this loot as well. <clears throat> but yeah, all the alchemy and grains have been put down. We're just going to drop all the potion bottles in the corner. Um, Like here. So... Keep the restore fatigues, but uh, let's go down this list. Oh shit, I don't have Cyrodelic Brandy on that table. Well, no wonder things are wrong. There we go, that's better. But uh, seriously, disease resistance, fire shield, I don't need those. So, fortify attack, hold on to those. Fortify endurance, don't need that. Yep. What do you mean we're going to be over encumbered forever and ever and ever? It's, it's fine, really. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Keep the fortify intelligence. We're going to abuse that later. But, uh, yeah. Inventory management? Yes. But that's the uh, consequence of how we play and set up the game. Uh, like, we did this to ourselves. Okay. <clears throat> Do they really glow? Uh, no. No, obviously not. Okay, there we go. It's all on a little control panel here. Yep. Literally uh, on my ear. Yep. Okay. Like, the best way to know if it uh, glows or not is if we do this, and it uh, you can see the color reflecting off of it. And then you can see the color fade and grow larger. See? There you go. Mm-hmm. Cyberpunk combat music, something like that, yeah. <clears throat> but no, these are, uh, if you want to look them up, uh, I, I changed panels, there you go. If you want to look them up, they're a, uh, they're, they're a uh, Yo Wu uh, Selkirk. Uh, G, so, yeah, G something, G three, G a uh, G three, yeah, Yo Wu, Yo Wu Selkirk, G three. Uh, they were a Christmas gift. I would not have sought out such a thing myself, but I like them now that I have them. Um, <clears throat> yes. Yeah, um, I'd say if I had to pick a favorite toy out of all these, it would have to be a Barrow Key Tier, my, my Barrow Key Tier bobblehead. Uh, second place, of course, would be, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, Ulfric Stormquack. Uh, you know, he's right here next to the Dova Duck. But uh, Ulfric Stormquack's one of the best there. They're all fun little toys. Of course, we got uh, a Vivek Funko Pop, but that's because Elder Scrolls Online had the Morrowind chapter. All right. Hmm. <clears throat> Let me see what else we got. Um, b -b 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 get rid of that one. That one's like, it's cheap. Yeah, cheap and bargain are awful, so I should just get rid of those. Rejuvenator, fine. That should do it. We should go do other things. I, I like how I just have a giant pile of potions here. Let's see. As far as the bigger potions go, those down there. Wait, hold on. Yeah, 
fatigued. That's that's fine. Got so many of these different shenanigans. Whoop, put those away. Yes. Okay. We can leave now. We've we've been we sorted our inventory well enough. We're gonna take all the items to Aldru nearby and sell them. Then we'll head on through to Ghost Gate. Unless of course you are a vendor. What you are an not a vendor. Unexpected surprise. Please go ahead, Outlander. You are a trainer. Bring me good fortune, Master. How may I bless and service? keep you, Master? Blessing of arms of ye, Master. They're all uh, adventurers. I could uh, add them to my group if I wanted to. I'm not going to, but uh, I could. Yes. Mm-hmm. Good, good, good. So, um, to uh, to Ald run don't you mean rune nah let's go we're traveling we are archmaster of uh uh house rhetoric but the best setup is obviously uh if you do this right there that, that that's the best setup right there yes okay here we go Run while you can. low armor getting my ass kicked disease kagaudi but yes do, 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 do. oh god it hurts a actually equip armor how about that and need the skirt for stamina regeneration Yeah, there it is. Couldn't see it for some reason. Damn. Fight, Thing is tanky. Next Mastiff is defeated. Excellent. Look, it's a cliff racer. Oh, never mind. Nix. You chose the wrong Bosmer to mess with. Good. We should be fine. Well, I mean, there are tons of houses in Morrowind, right? You know, uh, like, the great houses are few and far between. But there are tons of houses in general. Do, 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 do. Okay. Cliffy Racer! You chose the wrong Bosmer to mess with. Yes, a lot of them went boom with Red Mountain. However, any ones that may have existed, say, on this side of Marwind, were probably spared. If you if you think about it, like Vardenfell went kaboom. But the people in Blacklight over here were probably fine, and the people in the Telvanis district were probably fine. Uh, everyone down here got slaughtered by the Argonians, but that's a different matter. They kind of deserved that and weren't expecting, you know, a war. Okay. Mornhold was sacked, but a good chunk of the people got out. <clears throat> I'm not a huge fan of the uh, post Morrowind Morrowind lore, or the post Elder Scrolls Three Morrowind lore, but it exists, and it's worth looking at, especially if you're going to play Beyond Skyrim. Do, 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 do. Yep. When you say that, uh, you, you know, despite the rampant, uh, I was thinking of that, uh, that meme of the, uh, um, the, the, the guy and the girl, let's see, where, what was it, uh, everyone was calling it, uh, the, 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 it was Coffin something, it was the two portraits. Uh, s standing side by side. 
It, it was just those two portraits that kept uh, appearing on social media. The art style uh, ended up. Uh, it, it was it was a unique art style. God damn it. Uh, um, let me see here. Ah. I, I found the uh, the picture. I'm trying to make sure I don't uh, show anything on stream that's uh, that's otherwise um, inappropriate. Mm, yes. Okay. I got it. Show image in new tab. All right. That that's that that's the picture I was thinking of. Was uh, just them with like a Colovian fur hat on or some shit. You know. I actually like the character designs quite a bit, but I have no desire to ever play the game. That's why it took me so long to figure out, uh, you know, to grab the image. Because I'm like, what the hell was that game named again? Yes. <clears throat> the Dragonborn DLC in Skyrim ain't very good. Um, I mean, the actual, like, Apocrypha and uh, boss battle with Merak was pretty good, but... Uh, the, like, that version of Solstheim was disappointing. I, it was nostalgia bait, um, unfortunately. And uh, Raven Rock's way better in Morrowind. Elder Scrolls 3. They literally transported Aldrun to uh, Solstheim to, like, double up on the nostalgia hits. Then had a... Uh, a version of the Morrowind theme for uh, triple nostalgia. Uh, that, that, that was the whole purpose of it, was just to invoke nostalgia. Um, I thought the Raven Rock Mine was pretty cool. I liked the dungeons. I just don't think the overworld was very well executed. Yep. <clears throat> okay. The forest was practically non-existent because they replaced it with ash. Um. Uh, that Lalu would sell his own mother if the price was right. I see. Yeah. Anyway. We're going to go sell some stuff. Du -du -du -du. This, is, this uh, whole building is made out of a giant crab shell. Yeah. Okay. Hello. I've done everything I would ask and more. My thanks, Outlander. Yep, yep. What do you need, citizen? I don't think Skywind is coming with any expansion packs. Pretty sure it's going to be uh, vanilla Morrowind first, and then expansion packs later. Which makes a lot of sense. Considering the sheer amount of effort it takes to... They aren't lazily porting Morrowind into the Skyrim engine. They are remaking it from scratch and modernizing a lot of elements. As in, like, giving NPCs schedules and, um... You know, giving them actual beds to sleep in and stuff. So, like, every shop needs to have a residence attached to it. Otherwise, the NPCs can't go home, you know, and go to sleep at the end of the day stuff like that like if you think about it um the task of um skywind is a lot bigger than uh people give it credit for Whoop, hello. hello again what can i do for you yes but yeah i'm just gonna Sell as much of this metal armor as possible. At about 2,000. We uh, should be good to ask her for the rest of her money. Yep. No. We cannot do it. Hello again. Hello. What can I do for you? Uh, yes, I just want to go ahead and. Get this done. That's better. Now. That should do it. I believe that's enough now. 
Mercantile skill to 70! Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay. So we sold all those things. We need to sell the clothing now. Hmm. Ah. See, he hates me. Nine, nine percent. But then what we do is we tell him that it just works. And once he understands that, uh, he hasn't bought into the hype yet. He's only 66. No. 35. 100 out of 100. He bought into the hype. Now we can defraud him. That's the power of it. it just works. Yes. Mm-hmm. You remember some trader sleeping behind the counter in Oblivion? Yes. Well, uh, Sky Oblivion, uh... Well, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, um, uh, even Skyrim? I don't think so. I think in Skyrim they had, like, Bellathor has an upstairs, for example. Yeah, Bellathor has an upstairs. I'm pretty sure it's the same for most stores. There's an upstairs or a downstairs or a something. I'm kind of attached. Some NPCs will actually go home to a different place, but that's rare. And don't need expensive, only need extravagant. Yeah, exquisite is good and extravagant is good. Uh, what the hell, we'll, we'll get rid of exquisite. Extravagant is the one we need. Uh, do, 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 hooded robe. <clears throat> We're not done yet. Golden Saint Swords. Oh, geez, that's more than he had. Okay. Can't sell them a golden a both Golden Saint Swords. I'm going to grab those repair hammers and sell them these uh, helmets as well. I think that's about it. I'm going to ask for the rest of his money, see if he'll pay it. He did. Good. Mm hmm. Good. Good, good, good. We've taken care of most of the carry capacity issues. Uh, we need to go sell to the Enchanter. You are not the Enchanter. It's the other side. We're good. Down and around. This way. No, you have no manners. Ah, 6%. As you can see, he really doesn't like us. My selection of enchanted items is quite extensive. Shall I tell you about my trade? Or would you perhaps be interested in doing a little work for me? I don't think so. I think I should sell you all these Dwemer coins. <clears throat> and then uh, sell you this sword and shield. And after that... I think that's good enough. I think that's the best we're going to get. Yep. Let's go ahead and ask for um, some more money from him. Damn right. Yeah. Staying safe, I hope. Yes. We're out. Okay, we've uh, sold most of the junk we had. There is more to do, but we got to head back to Ghost Gate now. We've, uh, yeah, we finished it. We're still going back down south. That's what we're still doing. Almost there. We go go to Ghost Gate. We uh, turn in our quest. And I'm surprised we managed to get to the point now where we can do curate quests. Of course, they're going to want us to become, uh, you know... Cure it. Not quite yet. But we're getting there. The bonking is real. Hey, that lady who was on the road here, she's uh she's still at Ghost Gate, ain't she? That's fine. Mm, I believe you can delete spells. Yes, delete. That's it, you just click you, you click on the spell, you click delete. Right here. 
It's on the list. Yes. Okay. Um, hmm. I mean, because if you have a custom spell maker, you're going to need to be able to delete spells. Otherwise, things go horribly wrong, horribly fast. You know what I mean. Okay. Mm hmm. Let me see here. Okay, just need to check on a couple things. We're good. Let's keep going. Everything is fine. Bum, 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 bum. Apple and the EU has an iOS update to block the loading of third-party app stores. I mean, like, Apple has always loved their little walled garden, right? It's why I do not, um, it's why I don't have any Apple devices anymore. I had a first-generation iPhone, which was pretty cool, but when, you know, third-party apps started coming out for Android, I was like, nope, 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 um, yep, hmm. <clears throat> Is the Nerevar prophecy made up? Probably not. We are probably Lord Nerevar reborn. But it allow but literally Dagothur gives us the the question. Are you truly Nerevar reborn? You know, and if, if you say no, then um that's that. You know, it's kinda like um it's kinda like that their torment game where you they ask you, you know, are, are you the uh, the god? And you can say yes, at which point you are, or you can say no, in which case you aren't. You, you know, it doesn't impact the gameplay a whole lot, but you decide. The game literally gives you that option to tell, you know, um, and I think that's some of the the really the best uh, the best thing the game can do. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. You should the, run the Corpus Cure is scamming the prophecy? Maybe. But it comes down to if, um... Like, they said you'd be immune to disease. They didn't say how, right? And the real uh, deciding factor is, do you get instantly killed by, um, what do you call it? Um, do you get instantly killed by putting on the Nerevar ring? And considering the corpses that are in the, um, in Azura's little cave, um, you know... Were you lucky? Did you have some qualifying factor? Did Azura just decide to let you live? We don't know. All we know is that that ring is supposed to kill anyone who's not Lord Nerevar. And by wearing that ring, you get all the ordinators to try to kill you, right? That's a normal guar. It's fine. I thought it was a wild guar. Aldera's right over there, but I kind of want to go around. This way. Argos fast. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Very PC oriented. How the hell does the Xbox port handle it? Um mouse like your uh your controller controls the mouse. Like the stick. But if you're asking can uh can you play with a controller? Um, get, get, you know, OpenMW says... Mm, 
richer. So, yeah. OpenMW says yes. Okay. This way. Isn't great, but it works, yes. Well, you don't deserve to live. Bam. Look at him using that big old sword. Can't wait. Okay, let's go. Crunch. Heal. The rat is here. What the hell is that? It's a rat and a bat. At least a cat doesn't show up. Yeah, a rat and a bat, but no cat. Good to know. What's next? This way. Go down and around. We're almost to Ghost Gate. Let's do it. Almost there. Good. Something chasing us? Flippy Racer! I'll see you dead. Mm hmm. Yep. I don't use controllers for, uh, like, first person oriented games for the most part. Uh, but there are, like, 2D side-scrolling platformers and stuff I got my Xbox controller for. Like, anytime I emulate a, uh, Nintendo game. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, jeez. Uh, it, it, it's so hilarious right now that we got that, uh, there are just so, so many people online right now who are, uh, who are like this with Nintendo. You, you know? It's, uh, pretty damn funny. All right. Do, do, do. Hmm. I'm looking up something really quick. Oh, shit. Hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second. This is, uh... Uh, yeah. Remember I said Warner Brothers got rid of, uh, Rooster Teeth? So someone drew this. Hold on. Let me, uh, blow it up. Yeah. So someone drew that. That's, uh... Yeah. They, uh... Warner Brothers shut down Rooster Teeth. That's it. Gone. Next. And, uh, someone drew this, apparently. <laughs> Holy shit. Hmm. That's really sad. Okay. Do, do. Hmm. Yeah, but it's Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers uh, is going full in on live services, even though every live service that um, Warner Brothers has ever made has failed. <laughs> True. Warner Brothers has not had a single successful live service. And yet they are now, like, dropping everything that isn't a live service. Okay. 
Do, 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 do. What about DC Online? Uh, who runs DC Online? Let me see here. Game. Do, do, do. Dimension Inc. And uh, Daybreak is under Warner Brothers there. Let me let me look at this. Um oh. It was discontinued off of PlayStation 3, but it still runs on all other platforms. Okay. So you're right. DC Online is still running. Although it's technically under Daybreak Games and only licensed by Warner Brothers. It isn't a Warner Brothers first party game. It's a third party game. Oof. Let's go. You said that's actually good? Yes. <clears throat> da -da 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 -da. Uh, you're asking about Ubisoft saying we should get used to not owning our games. Um, well, I mean, obviously, people ha disagree with that. I certainly disagree with that. Te legally speaking, none of us own our games. We all license. We have an unlimited license to use them. But um, no, no. From a moral perspective, obviously, they can go fuck themselves. Let's go this way. Hello there. Did you I'm find very the hermit happy to make your acquaintance and deliver his food and drink? Did yes. Did you find the hermit send us Sathis and deliver his food and drink? Yes. You delivered the food and drink? Good. Yes, I did. Send us Sathis should have enough supplies at the moment. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Many sacred relics of the temple have been lost to the sixth house. I want you to recover a relic that I believe is in Lost Kogorun. Lost Kogorun. We've been by there. I do not know where Lost Kogorun is. One of our valiant ordinators, Feral Salmon, wore the hair shirt of St. Aralor. He was searching for Lost Kogorun, but is now lost himself. He is presumed dead, but if you can find him alive or recover the hair shirt of St. Aralor, the temple would be grateful. I see. Anything else? I do not know where Lost Kogorun is. One of our valiant ordinators, Feral Salmon, wore the hair shirt of St. Aralor. He was searching for Lost Kogorun, but has now lost himself. Okay. Presumed dead, but if you can find him... Uh, alive, let's go ahead. take a nap here. We should, uh... This is the Tower of Dusk. Uh, Dawn, I need to go to the Tower of Dusk. To go take a nap. <clears throat> well, I understand on an intellectual level that I don't own my games, but I'm damn well gonna make backup copies, that's for sure. <laughs> Uh. Mm hmm. Can I sleep here? The answer might surprise you. The answer is no. May you find me worthy of your. I'm hoping we can find a place to sleep. Lower level. We get. This one. Beds. Us, please. I will sleep here. Oh, someone's chest. Interesting. Okay, we are going to go ahead and take a 13-hour a nap, which is perfectly normal. Yes, we are completely refreshed. Let's see. You figure out why Fallout 4 was crashing on your system. You hate both Bethesda and NVIDIA now. NVIDIA cards randomly lose their marbles if the weapon debris setting is enabled in the game. Great. I see. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right. What must say here? Prepare everything. Very good. Fargoth! I must. Get your Fargothic longsword. Where is it? That ebony daikaton is pretty cool. But I actually need the Fargothic short sword. Yes. 
Okay, I'm gonna repair that. Oops, I didn't mean to equip it. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, there you go. We're gonna give him the Fargothic short sword back. There it is, right there. Mm hmm. And, uh, the Jink Blade. In fact, all the Jink Blades. Yes. All, all the Jinx. Good. Let's do it. That should work. Now we go Jink. And we're giving him all the Jinx. That's a Jink Blade. That's a Jink. I'm going to give him the Jink Sword, but not the Jink Blade. Because the Jink Blade is bad by comparison. Hmm. <clears throat> Are there dragons in the Dungeons and Dragons? For the most part. Just not every Dungeons and Dragons game has dragons. Depends on the game. Uh, let's see here. Do, do, do. What else? Oh. Seeing if there's anything else going on here. Um. Let me see. What else? Uh -huh. Well, let me see. Howdy, Harold. Good to see you. How difficult would it be to weave a shirt out of hair? Depends on how much hair you have. Blessing of Almsevi, Master. You're Blessing of Almsevi. Master. I like, how may I be of service? I like how this is garrisoned by Redoran people. Yep. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. so good to meet you. Yep. Yeah. Welcome, well, friend. I will probably get whatever the next Nintendo console is, provided um, it has a Mario Kart on it. And while I can simultaneously say Nintendo acts like scumbags every once in a while, I also value the fact that my wife and I have been playing Mario Kart together since, uh, you know, the olden days of the SNES. So, uh, no, like, whoops, uh... The hair shirt and lost Kogaru. Got it. You gotta go to Lost Kogaru. Outfits for twenty uh, more than twenty FPS. Yes. If it was a no physical media device, that's a very good question. Not sure about that. Yes. That's a, yeah, I did, act, like, I normally I don't buy Nintendo, uh, what do you call it, eShop software, but I did get the track pass for Mario Kart. So that is definitely something to think about, I suppose. Oh, uh, well. <clears throat> I think this is where we, alas, are going to call it quits. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, name the save file Lost Kogaroom. Because in about 20 minutes, I gotta be ready for dinner. So I'm gonna go. There is a chance I will be back, but if I am back, it'll be some weird other game. Um, expect on... Friday, Daggerfall, and Saturday, Baldur's Gate. That is currently, um, currently the plan. We'll see. Bye, everybody.